I actually awakened the most amazing EX level talent in history. But everyone around me mocked and called me trash, because my talent is death replication. Every time I die, I can replicate the talent of the person who killed me. But what's the use of replicating these talents after the person is dead? Until I got a mysterious diary. I was speechless when I flipped to the first page. Su Mu, I am you from 10 years in the future. If you are reading this sentence, it means that the human race has been annihilated. At first, I thought it was someone's prank, until my past and my desire to become the eighth saint of the human race gradually appeared on it. However, the words recorded later struck me like thunder. The future me wrote a sentence in blood. After the talent awakened, make sure Chen Bing kills you at the first opportunity, because his talent is SSS, and the answer to death. You can go back 12 hours after death. Su Mu's head buzzed and exploded. If he dies at the hands of Chin Bing, copy his answer to death. Then Su Mu can infinitely replicate talent. Become the strongest in history. The most useless EX level talent will become the strongest EX level talent. Of course, this is only the first step. The second step is to replicate successfully. Go back to before Chin Bing's awakening and kill him. Otherwise, Chen Bing will defect from the human race eight years later, then lead 100,000 aliens to break through the human battlefield defense line, causing the extinction of the human race. Looking at the things described in the diary, Sumu's fist gradually clenched. The traitor of the human race must be eliminated. The day before testing talents, Sumu secretly sent a message to Chen Bing using the school flower Fon Lin's phone. Let him awaken his talent and wait for him in the small woods behind the school. Then began the awakening of talent, accompanied by the sharp sound of the tester. A message appeared in Su Mu's mind. EX level talent replication after death. Able to replicate the opponent's talent after death. Along with the increase in strength, the range of replication can also continue to increase. The simple introduction made Su Mu's breathing steady. Sure enough, it's an EX level talent. Of course, this talent is just trash now, but it will be different soon. After the talent awakening, Sumu arrived at a secluded grove behind the school. Chen Bin was standing in the grove, wearing a smug expression. Su Mu, what are you doing here? Sumu didn't answer Chen Bin's question. Instead, he asked Chen Bin in return. Your awakened talent is death echo for 12 hours, right? Hearing Su Mu accurately stating his talent, Chen Bin's expression was shocked. How did you know? After getting Chen Bin's confirmation, Su Mu finally breathed a sigh of relief. He stared at Chen Bin intently. I also know the reason you transferred to our school. It's because you killed a classmate before. Even though you escaped the martial law punishment with the help of your family. But do you really think you can get away with it? Chen Bin's eyes suddenly turned red. He grabbed Su Mu's collar. You can't escape. I will expose your crimes to the warrior court, including your talent. When the time comes, you will be despised by everyone. Looking for death. Chen Bin looked at Su Mu with a ferocious expression, seeing the ripe opportunity. Su Mu handed the fruit knife to Chen Bin. You're just a clown who knows only how to escape. Without you, the family is nothing. Just someone like you. Fong Lin will never look up to you. Hearing this sentence, Chen Bin finally couldn't control himself. The next second, the white knife goes into the red knife. The intense pain caused Su Mu's consciousness to gradually dissipate. Awakening once again, Su Mu found himself lying in the bedroom of his home. There was an additional piece of information in his mind. Ding successfully replicated the SSS level talent of death resonance. Each death can resonate back to 12 hours ago. However, each resonance will have a certain impact on mental strength. If there are too many resonances when the mental strength is not strong enough, it is easy to cause a mental breakdown. Sumu glanced at the time. Indeed, it was successful. Next is to get rid of this traitor. According to the diary, Sumu came to the traitor organization of the human race, exchanged greetings and contacts, gave them the order to assassinate. They must kill Chen Bin tonight. Sumu couldn't help but sigh. The future self is really cunning. Let the whole family fight each other. The next day, the school playground is still the same as last time. One by one, they are waiting in line to awaken their talents. The only difference is, today I didn't see Chin Bin with his dyed blonde hair. It's soon Sumu's turn to awaken. When Sumu placed his hand on the device, the next moment, two pieces of information appeared in his mind. X-level talent death replicates SSS-level talent death echo for 12 hours. Sumu breathed a sigh of relief. 
It was indeed a success. After returning home, Sumu took out a diary from under the bed, as he expected, after he successfully awakened two talents. The next page of the diary can be turned again. What surprised Sumu was, a small groove appeared on the next page of the diary. Inside the groove lay a black bug the size of a fingernail. Sumu looked at the words on the diary. Congratulations, myself from 10 years ago. When you see this sentence, it means you have already completed all the previous plans. Now you should have two kinds of talents, and you no longer have any worries. The most important thing next, you must get into the Longjing Wudou University. Seeing another must appear. Sumu has already become accustomed to it. He continued to look down. He now wants to know what this bug is. I believe you can also see the bug I placed on this page. This is the intelligent insect race. Every member of this race will awaken the same SSS and talent. Book of Wisdom. The Book of Wisdom contains the memories accumulated by the intelligent insect race. This intelligent insect was obtained at the cost of countless strong members of the human race. In addition, I have made some modifications and restrictions to his talent for the Book of Wisdom. I have also made some modifications and restrictions, set some information that can only be known after reaching a specific level of strength, deleted all memories of the future 10-year battle between the human race and the myriad races. Some things can only be changed if not known. I believe you will like my modifications. After reading the words in the diary, Sumu pinched the insect in his hand. From the outside, the intelligent insect looks no different from an ordinary insect. Sumu directly pinched the intelligent insect, attached the front part of the crocodile to his own skin. It seems to be due to training. The wisdom insect bit directly on Sumu's skin. A tingling sensation came from the wound. As time passed, Sumu gradually lost consciousness in this feeling. When he opened his eyes again, he only felt a splitting headache. He was still holding the wisdom insect that had just bitten him. And in his mind, an additional piece of information emerged smoothly. SSS and the Book of Innate Wisdom have identification, analysis, storage, search optimization, simplified ability, can store all memories in the Book of Wisdom, and pass it on to the next generation through the power of bloodlines. That is, after this piece of information appears, suddenly, a mechanical voice sounded in Sumu's mind. Super AI Deep Blue is at your service. Hearing that mechanical voice, Sumu frowned. Could this be his transformation? What abilities do you have? Deep Blue originates from the SSS level gifted Book of Wisdom. It also possesses the memories of countless years of the intelligent insect race and the countless data of the human race stored later. It can help you better utilize the Book of Wisdom. Next, let me briefly introduce my abilities to you. 1. Identification and Analysis 2. Optimization and Simplification 3. Interface Display A series of introductions appeared. Sumu's mouth was almost dislocated from being agape. This deep blue is actually the golden finger system he saw in the novel. His future self turned the Book of Wisdom into a system. In shock, Sumu was becoming increasingly curious about his future self. What kind of role will his future self play in the future? And what kind of magical abilities will he possess? But as his future self said, he really likes this transformation of himself. A light blue interface appeared in front of Sumu. This is the character panel generated by Deep Blue based on his body data. Name, Sumu. HP, 0.72 body refining technique. No breathing technique. No weapons. No EX talent. SSS post-mortem replication. SSS death rollback. Book of Wisdom. Deep Blue is looking for body refining technique and breathing technique suitable for me. Ding is searching for you, ding selection successful. After searching, the most suitable body refining techniques for you at the moment are the 10,000 tribes body refining technique and the primordial embryo breathing method. The 10,000 tribes body refining technique comes from a powerful human ancestor. It is the supreme body refining technique derived from the cultivation methods of the 10,000 tribes. The primordial embryo breathing method is a supreme breathing technique created by a powerful ancestor of the 10,000 tribes. Long-term practice can not only enhance comprehension, but also significantly improve martial arts realm when combined with body refining techniques and weapons practice. It can also greatly elevate martial arts realm. According to Deep Blue's analysis of your body data, it is recommended to first practice the Great Strength Original Tribe section of the 10,000 Tribes Body Refining Technique, the Golden Bronze Tribe section and the Diamond Bull Tribe section. Sumu couldn't help but exclaim in amazement. Awesome. Then he began practicing the primordial embryo breathing method and the 10,000 tribes body refining technique. With the help of Deep Blue, he successfully mastered this powerful breathing technique. Just the first time using this innate prenatal breath technique, Sumu could feel his head clear. But the practice of the Wan Clan's body refining technique is not so simple. After practicing the three days body refining technique once, Sumu was already lying on the ground, 
panting heavily, lying on the ground, recovering strength. One hour later, Sumu gradually recovered, then opened the information panel. Name, Sumu, blood value 4.13, entering the inflow 5 diagram body refining technique, one clan's body refining technique. Breathing technique. The innate prenatal breath technique was just practiced once in the one clan's body refining technique. Sumu's blood value jumped from the original 0.721 to 4.13, although the increase may be relatively large due to it being the first practice, but it is also enough to prove the power of this complete body training technique. The next day, Sumu then had his first blood and energy test, the leading teacher said as they walked. A blood and energy value of 20 or above is required to reach the undergraduate line and enter a second-tier martial arts university. A blood and energy value of 40 or above is required to reach the minimum admission score for a top-tier 5-path university. A blood and energy value of 70 or above is required to reach the minimum admission score for a top martial arts university. So do not slack off. You still have a long way to go. As the classmates in front began testing, Sumu was surprised to find that as long as he focused on someone, a light blue character interface would also appear beside them. He tirelessly watched the classmates' physical data as they walked around the testing hall. It seems that there are very few with a blood and energy value exceeding 0.8. The highest one is only 0.91. It's their class flower, Fongling. I wonder what the teacher's reaction would be if he knew his blood value was 4.13. Just thinking, the door of the training hall suddenly kicked open. The next moment, then I saw more than 20 people wearing Nightwalker clothes quickly surround the entire training hall. They are the law enforcement officers of the Nightwalker tribe. But how did the Nightwalkers appear in the training hall? Sumu's forehead wrinkled slightly. I vaguely felt a little uneasy in my heart. This is a ponytailed woman wearing Nightwalker clothes. Walked into the training hall. Sumu looked at the ponytail in front of him. The next moment, the character panel of the ponytailed woman also appeared in front of him. Name unknown. Blood value 35,482.573. Close to 30,000 blood value among the top 5. This is the strongest person Su Mu has ever seen since childhood. It would be great to marry this woman and bring her home as a wife. This guy Li Xiangdong side by Su Mu's side. Su Mu glanced at him, smiled and said, you want to marry her and bring her home. Are you two quarreling? He can beat you to a pulp. Li Xiangdong heard this, suddenly felt uneasy. And at this moment, the woman with the ponytail finally spoke. I am Xia Ru, the captain of the first squad of the night patrol in the third safety zone. Now suspect that there is an escaped and severely injured by Yijio among you. So I hope everyone will cooperate with us in the capture. Xia Ru's words made everyone in the training ground feel a little uneasy. People from the human race's rear. There is not a single person who doesn't know the meaning of these three words. They are the nightmare of the human race. They are the snakes hiding in the rear of the human race seems to have sensed the emotions of the people present xia ru comforted everyone rest assured we will definitely do our best to protect everyone's safety now everyone please leave the training hall in order line up one by one don't be chaotic so as not to give the bai cultists an opportunity after hearing xia ru's words the students lined up one after another ready to be checked leave the training hall the line was about to reach sumu xia ru's expression suddenly changed not far away accompanied by Xia Ru's loud shout, Sumu suddenly felt a wetness on her face. Li Xiangdong, who had just been talking to her ear, suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood. In Sumu's line of sight, the tip of a black war blade pierced through Li Xiangdong's chest. His smiling face suddenly turned pale in the last second. Behind Li Xiangdong, a thin and weak middle-aged man with a scar on his face was grinning. He pulled the black war blade out of Li Xiangdong's chest. Then he held the blade against Fong Ling's neck. The sudden scene made the surrounding students scream in shock. Quickly moved away from the direction of the scarred middle-aged man. Take cover. Let him go. At this moment, Xia Ru had already rushed to the scarred man's front, looking at him coldly. As the middle-aged man with a scar and Xia Ru confronted each other, Sumu next to him was staring at Li Shandong's body in a trance. The brother who was just joking with him, the next second had already become a gradually cooling body. Don't worry, you won't die. Sumu took a long breath. His gaze fell on the scarred face not far away. At this moment, the middle-aged man with a scar was slowly walking towards the entrance of the training hall. Sumu quickly rushed towards the direction of the middle-aged man with a scar. The middle-aged man with a scar originally had all his attention on Xia Ling. He never expected that a student would actually rush towards him. When Sumu arrived in front of him, he just managed to react. Just as Sumu was about to collide with him, the blade in his hand slashed across Sumu's neck. Blood splattered directly onto Fong Lin's upturned face. Despite his throat being cut, Sumu didn't stop. 
Instead, he charged straight at Scarface. With force, he knocked Scarface to the ground. Before his consciousness dissipated, countless exclamations rang out, and Su Mu's vision gradually darkened. Replication successful. Congratulations on obtaining talent. Changing appearance can alter one's appearance. Physical form. As the fluctuations in breath and blood flow, a piece of information surged into the mind. Sumu suddenly sat up from the bed. He wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. He glanced at the time. Now it has returned to 12 hours before testing blood. He sat on the bed, deep in thought, trying to find a breakthrough solution. Suddenly, he remembered the words left by his future self. Some things can only be changed by not knowing. 12 hours later, inside the training hall, the homeroom teacher, Zhang Heliu, began to explain last year's admission scores to the students of class 5 again. Deep Blue, can you locate the position of the Bay religion follower? Sumo asked while secretly surveying the people around, while sneakily taking stock of the people around. Everyone be quiet. The same scene, the same words, the same woman with a ponytail. Very soon, the students inside the training hall began to line up for inspection just like the last time. Then they left the training hall one by one. Muge, encountering this kind of scene for the first time, why do I feel a little excited? As expected, Li Shangdong said the same thing as last time without any surprises. Hearing this, Sumu couldn't help but helplessly shake his head. In my heart, still feeling excited and complaining. If it wasn't for me, you would have come in later. Sumu pulled Li Xiangdong in front of him and said, Lao Li, let me switch positions with you. Suddenly, Sumu's mind also echoed with the voice of Xinlan. Master, quickly pounce forward. He's about to attack. Without hesitation, Sumu grabbed Li Xiangdong and pounced forward. At the same time, a slight sense of pain came from behind. Sumu could feel that his back had been cut by the Baiyi cultist's blade. But that's all it is. Scarface looked incredulously at Sumu, who had escaped from his hands. He did not launch a second attack. Instead, he quickly retreated. He grabbed Fong Lin who was beside him. At this time, Xia Ru had already held a weapon and stood in front of Sumu and the others. Li Feng, let him go. Captain Xia, you think I'm stupid? Are you going to let him go? Aren't I the one who's going to die? The same words were spoken from Scarface's mouth. Fan Lin in his arms was so scared that he was almost crying at this moment. Just at this moment. But Su Mu spoke. Uncle, let's make a deal. How about you exchange me for the girl in your hands? He slowly stood up. The sound is particularly clear in the vast training hall. Sumu was talking as she approached the blood and energy testing device. And approached the blood and energy testing device. She took a drop of her own blood and dripped it into the blood and energy testing device. The next moment, the device emitted a mechanical sound. The blood and energy value is 4.13. As soon as this value was displayed, the entire training hall suddenly fell silent. What does this mean? All the students present had just awakened their talents yesterday. The initial values are mostly between 0.6 and 0.8. Anyone with a bit of blood and energy value is a rare top genius. Even in the entire human race, 4.13 would definitely be considered a top tier, peerless genius. Uncle, do you think that holding me hostage would be much more valuable than holding the girl in your hand? Su Mu's words instantly brought everyone who was still in shock back to their senses. Xia Ru was the first to react. Absolutely not. A genius like Su Mu, that is definitely the person the Night Walkers must protect at all costs. Xia Ru's reaction immediately excited Scarface as well. If we can hold such a genius hostage, he will be even more confident in escaping successfully. If you come over, I'll let him go. The middle-aged Scarface looked at Su Mu. Su Mu slowly walked towards Scarface and just a few steps away from him. Scarface suddenly pushed Fong Lin aside. Then he grabbed Su Mu's hand and pulled him into his arms. The blade was placed against Su Mu's neck, realizing that he had actually taken Su Mu hostage. A smile unconsciously appeared on the middle-aged man's scarred face. But I don't know if it's just my imagination. In the moment of the handover, he seemed to feel his legs go weak for a moment. He looked smugly at Xia Ru not far away. Captain Xia, what should we do next? I'm sure I don't need to remind you, right? But just at this moment, he suddenly felt dizzy and disoriented. And in Su Mu's mind, who was held by him, a deep voice also sounded. Master, the fragrance of the sword bone has erupted. Su Mu pushed away the weapon in the middle-aged man's scarred hand, and then shouted. Captain Xia, take action. At the moment Xia Ru saw Su Mu push away the weapon in the middle-aged man's hand, she had already dashed to the front of the middle-aged man with a scar. The next moment, Scarface clutched his throat, collapsed weakly on the ground. Immediately after, Xia rushed to Su Mu's side in a flash. Classmate, are you okay? Xia crouched down slightly, trying to help Su Mu up. 
but then seemed to smell something. A hint of surprise flashed in Sumu's eyes. This is cartilage incense. No wonder you were able to push away his weapon just now. Just as Sumu was being pulled up by Xia, the surrounding classmates also gathered around. Seeing this gave Sumu a faint smile. I'll come and treat you later. You should rest for a while now. Li Xiangdong hurried over, holding Su Mu's hand. Mu Gu, no, Mu Dad, from now on, you make me go east, I will never go west. If it weren't for you, I'm afraid we would have been in trouble. Feeling Li Xiangdong's gradually changing gaze, Su Mu punched Li Xiangdong on the shoulder. Stop saying those pretty words. Just invite me to a big meal next time. Su Mu, thank you. If it weren't for you just now, I wouldn't know what to do. It's Fong Lin speaking. His complexion is much better now, although his hair is a bit messy. But he's not as scared as before. No need to be so polite. We're all classmates. Sumu smiled indifferently. After a while, Xia Ru called Sumu aside. Classmate Sumu, I have a few questions here. I wonder if you could help me with some answers. You're just a regular high school student. Why would you carry expensive bone-seeking incense with you? Xia Ru's question made Sumu slightly stunned. But fortunately, when this plan was formulated, he had already anticipated this scene. Sumu said, That's how it is. Captain Xia, my family is not considered wealthy. The cheapest blood tonic sold in the market costs 5,000 yuan per pair. Relatively speaking, the medicinal materials and such will be cheaper. I'm about to start practicing soon, so I was thinking of seeing if I could buy some medicinal materials myself and prepare some qi and blood medicine, but accidentally ended up preparing something similar to a cartilage incense. Originally, I was thinking of taking it to the market after the test to see if I could make some money. I didn't expect to run into this kind of thing, so I ended up using that thing. Sumu's explanation is half true and half false. The cartilage incense was indeed prepared by him purchasing medicinal materials, but the formula is a simplified version of the cartilage incense given to him by Shenlan. Xia Ru looked at Su Mu with some surprise. Not only do you have such high talent in martial arts, but also in the field of potion research. However, it's better not to take the self-prepared qi and blood medicine indiscriminately. Like this. This time, we're going to arrest the Bai Zhao cult members. Su Mu, you deserve credit for this. I'll try to apply for a bravery award for you. Captain Xia, may I ask how much the reward is? It's probably around 150,000. Su Mu looks excited. 150, 000, 000, 000 is more than their annual income. Then we'll trouble you, Captain Xia. Captain Xia waved his hand. Just call me Sister Ru. When you intern in the summer, you can consider joining our third safety zone's night patrol. I'll personally take you then. By the way, someone with your talent should practice more. Practice physical skills and breathing techniques. You can check out the Dasha Dancer's official website. You can buy some better techniques there. Or any exercises can also be sold on it. Sumu's eyes gradually lit up. There are countless exercises in deep blue memory. In that case, wouldn't he make a fortune? Just said goodbye to Xia Ho. Sumu was called into the principal's office again. Sumu thought to himself, it's really not a good thing to stand out. Sumu walked into the office. The principal gestured for Sumu to sit on the nearby sofa. I really didn't expect that. It turns out that our high school also has geniuses like Sumu. Obviously, the news of Sumu's blood test result of 4.13 has spread to the principal at a rapid speed. Hearing that the principal did mention this matter, Sumu was also well prepared in his heart. He smiled at the principal. All of this is the school's cultivation. The principal chuckled. Okay, little guy, I won't waste my time talking to you. Considering your test results and your performance just now, the school has decided to award you a one-time special scholarship of 150,000. We hope you, Sumu, can make good use of this money. Work hard to improve yourself. Prepare for the college entrance examination six months from now. Originally, upon hearing about the Night Walker's award for bravery, he was already extremely happy. He didn't expect the school to also reward him with 150,000. Sumu stood up and said, Thank you, principal. I will definitely not disappoint the school's expectations. After receiving the money, Sumu didn't immediately go home. Instead, he chose to go to a nearby herbal medicine store to buy some herbs. The deep blue database contains a large number of potion formulas. Sumu still has the body of a wisdom insect in his hand, combined with some medicinal materials. You can configure some mechanical medicines, if the effect is good. Sumu even feels that in the future, he won't need to buy those blood and energy medicines in the market. After returning home, Sumu quickly signed up online to join the researcher union. 
Sumu gave himself a name of savior. Because he just joined the researcher union, he is currently still a level zero researcher. If I use Deep Blue to answer the questions of the 10,000 races section as much as possible, then publish a large number of potion formulas and five doses in the potion section and the five path section, what will happen? Sumu suddenly had an idea in his mind. Nowadays, his mental strength has fully recovered, enough to support him in answering death questions, if it's really feasible. He said he might be able to get rich overnight with this. No need to worry about not having enough funds for cultivation anymore. And even if there really is a problem, Sumu can also choose to answer with a suicide response at any time. The death response gave Sumu unlimited trial and error possibilities. Just do it. Sumu immediately started using the Savior's account to answer questions in the researcher forum's 10,000 races section, as well as publishing some potion formulas, body refining technique, breathing technique and five elixirs. In less than 10 minutes, Sumu had already become a first-level researcher. Another 10 minutes, Sumu became a second-level researcher. 15 minutes later, Sumu became a level 3 researcher. It took less than 4 hours in total. Sumu went from being a level 0 researcher at the beginning to becoming a level 9 researcher, the highest level in the researcher forum. There were as much as tens of billions of Dasha coins lying in his personal account. All of it was the income he obtained by answering posts and uploading potion formulas and body refining techniques. And all of this happened in just a few hours. At the same time, the entire researcher forum was also shaken. Oh my goodness, am I witnessing the birth of a legend? I just went out for a meal and came back. The savior has reached level 9. There are only a few level 9 researchers in the entire human race, right? Where did this big shot come from? And at this moment, suddenly, there was a hurried knock on Sumu's door. Open the door. Several people in battle armor are standing outside the door. Is this the home of Researcher Su? We are the highest secret guards of the Researchers Union. We are here to escort Researcher Su and his family to the central farm and the night safety zone is ordered. At this time, Sumu also heard the commotion outside. As soon as she stepped out of the room, she saw the appearance of the man in battle armor at the door. The man in battle armor also saw Sumu. His face lit up with joy. Researcher Su, I am the highest secret guard of the Researchers Union. I am ordered to take you and your family to the central farm in the night safety zone. Are you calling me? Sumu seemed to understand something. It seems to be something he stirred up at the researchers forum. The man in battle armor nodded. Researcher Su, no time to lose. Please quickly bring your family and come with us to the night safety zone. To be honest, with your status, you and your family are not safe in the third safety zone. Sumu nodded, suppressing the excitement in his heart. Originally, he just wanted to experiment. What consequences will there be if he quickly rises to level 9 researcher in the researcher forum? But now it seems like it's a bit of a mess. Sumu directly summon deep blue start checking the information of the armored men in front of him name unknown life force value 143,927. 000 preliminary warrior stage body refining technique true dragon body refining technique breathing method dragon absorption decision talent daphne she sumu's eyes are almost popping out seven stage warrior that's a seven stage warrior on regular days, Sumu probably doesn't even have the qualifications to meet such a strong person. Such a person is now respectfully called Researcher Su. I'm afraid Sumu himself doesn't realize his own value now. With what he has shown on the research forum, he is definitely an important figure who can promote the development of the entire human race. Not only does he understand various weaknesses of all races, he also holds a large number of potion formulas in his hands, body refining technique, breathing techniques and martial arts. Therefore, Sumu has shown himself on the research forum. After quickly advancing from level 0 to level 9 researcher, immediately caught the attention of the researchers union headquarters we immediately dispatched the highest security team nearby to take sumo and his family to the ninth safety zone two cars were speeding along the road why suddenly take me and my family to central dragon city it's like this researcher su according to the intelligence we've received given your current importance staying in the third safety zone is very unsafe the armored man replied. In fact, it's not just the third safety zone. In fact, none of the various safety zones for the human race are safe. The safest place in the building right now is probably only Central Dragon City. As he was speaking, the armored man suddenly paused. Researcher Su, Li Ming's level. There's no need for me to keep some things from you. As far as I know, there are currently issues within the human race. The words of the armored man stunned Sumu. Just at this moment, a huge sound came from outside. The armored man's face slightly changed. Dixie, just as the armored man finished speaking, in front of their two cars, suddenly, 
a towering flame appeared. It seemed like something exploded. Damn human race trader. The armored man muttered under his breath, then kicked the car door open. The armored car of special metal was as fragile as paper under the man's strength. Researcher Su, I'll escort you to a nearby safe location first. With that, he grabbed Sumu. Then he lightly tapped his foot on the seat. Then he left the armored vehicle in high-speed motion. Under the power of the armored man, Sumu, was caught in his arms like a little chick. Just as he left the armored vehicle, the armored vehicle they were in was directly split in half by a sword energy from the sky. The entire ground was torn in half by the terrifying sword energy. A level 9 researcher is still so young, perhaps he has awakened some extraordinary talent. A figure stood in mid-air, with a cold and proud gaze, looking down at the armored man and Sumu below. No wonder those waist below would go to the extent of asking me to take action personally. Seeing that figure in the sky, the armored man's pupils shrank at the sight. I can't believe there's a heretic like you hiding in the rear of the human tribe. The figure in the air sneered, by ye religion, don't compare me to those waist. The man in battle armor frowned slightly. He protected Sumu behind him. The battle armor on his body began to slowly shrink. Finally, it turned into a bracelet. He pressed the bracelet onto Sumu's arm, transferring the entire line. As he spoke, the bracelet immediately fastened to Sumu's arm. Researcher Su, this S-level battle armor can withstand attacks from 7th level warriors, and it can greatly increase speed and strength. We're very close to the 7th safety zone here. I've already notified the nearby night travelers. Run in that direction. It shouldn't be long before we meet them. I'll hold this guy here. The armored man pressed Su Mu's bracelet. The next moment, the bracelet immediately turned into armor, enveloping Su Mu's entire body. The figure above also heard what the armored man and Su Mu said. He sneered at a level 7 forbidden warrior. Who gave you the courage to stop me, an 8th level warrior? The armored man ignored it. Instead, he forcefully pushed Sumu forward. He looked towards the figure in the sky. Then he took out a syringe from his pocket and suddenly stabbed it into his own arm. Seeing the syringe the armored man took out, the figure in the sky looked somewhat surprised. After injecting the fatal needle, it can significantly enhance strength. I'll be dead in just 10 minutes. So desperate. Is it worth it for this damn human race? The armored man didn't answer. The veins on his face were bulging, obviously enduring unbearable pain. But correspondingly, his breath was constantly increasing. Interesting. After 7, this fatal needle is really useful. The figure in the sky sighed. At the moment of their conversation, Sumu was also staring at the figure in the sky. His only thought now is to figure out the identity of this damn human race traitor before he dies. Unfortunately, his whole person is shrouded in darkness. Even his movements can't be seen clearly, let alone his figure. The armored man's eyes are bloodshot at the moment. In the line of sight, it seems that only the figure in the sky is left. That figure is also interested in looking at the armored man below. You are quite a respectable guy, but that's all. The armored man snorted coldly. With a flip of his hand, a black long spear appeared in his hand. He held a long spear, slightly bent his leg. The next moment, the whole person was like a sword leaving its sheath, flew towards the figure in the sky. The figure in the sky seemed to notice that Sumu did not leave, so Xianxin also fought against the armored man in front of him. The long spear and the long sword collided. It's hard to imagine the seemingly powerful blow from the armored man. It was easily caught by that figure. The aerial battle between the two. It's so fast that you can only see a blur. Two beams of light constantly colliding. Sumu looked from below, full of shock in his heart. From his perspective, although the details of the two people's battle are not clear, but you can clearly see the space where the two are fighting. Space is occasionally torn and damaged, and the scene immediately recovers. And during the battle, the armored man finally noticed. Sumu actually stayed in place. His heart suddenly panicked. That figure also decisively sees this flaw of his. A sword pierced the abdomen of the armored man. The man in armor, pierced through the abdomen, suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood. His breath immediately weakened. In the end, there was still a slight difference in strength. You want to fight with me? Let ye foam come over. His gaze fell on the person below, Sumu. It's time to end this now. He swung his long sword towards Sumu. A sharp sword energy rushed towards Sumu. Just as the sword energy was about to hit Sumu, the man in armor disregarded his own injuries, swiftly turned into a black light and stood in front of Sumu. The man in armor was already seriously injured. Taking this blow, he fell to the ground immediately. After falling to the ground, he still struggled to crawl towards Sumu. Run, run fast. Looking at the armored man on the ground, 
Sumu gritted his teeth tightly, he said sorry with some guilt. If it weren't for him wanting to test what it's like to upgrade to a level 9 researcher, I'm afraid the armored man wouldn't have faced such a hopeless disaster. But everything will return to its original state. The figure in the sky seems to enjoy this cat and mouse game. The overwhelming strength made him not worry at all that Sumu would escape from under his nose. In fact, Sumu never thought of escaping. His gaze was fixed tightly on the figure in the sky. I will kill you. You will definitely hear Sumu's words. The figure in the sky seemed to have heard a huge joke. Kill me. Why do you have the right to kill me? After laughing for a while, it seems he has had enough of laughing. All right. The monkey tribe's bunch of trash is probably on their way too. Hope they won't be too sad when they see your bodies. He laughed heartily. The long sword in his hand turned into a white light. The sharp sword energy seemed to descend from the sky like a beam of light. Split the entire ground in half. Vaguely, Sumu seemed to see the angry gaze of the armored man not far away. Sumu's vision gradually darkened. The deep blue voice rang in his ears again. Ding. You have been killed by the traitor of the human race. Replication successful. Congratulations on obtaining the SSS level talent sword Heart Kong Ming. Awakening again. Sumu looked somewhat frightened at the interface on the computer that joined the researcher guild. The reverberation of death brought him back to the moment when he had just chosen to join the researcher guild. The experience of those 12 hours seemed like a dream to him. He recalled the words of the armored man. There are problems within the human race. The voice of the nearly invincible figure standing in the air appeared in his mind. In his view, the armored man was already the strongest person he had ever seen. In front of that figure, he felt like he was being toyed with like a mouse. Sumu could clearly feel that Octane Dancer didn't even use his power. If he really goes all out, how terrifying it will be. And from his various behaviors of hiding his identity, he is very likely a high-level member of the human race. Thinking of this, Sumu felt a wave of fear. Before having enough powerful strength, his book of wisdom must not be exposed. After realizing this, Sumu also sat up straight, summoning Deep Blue to summon Sword Star. Spiritual introduction, SSS level talented Sword Heart has unparalleled talent in the way of the sword. All swordsmen can achieve perfection in a very short time. The speed of sword practice increases by a hundredfold. The leadership ability in the way of the sword increases by a hundredfold. The power of the sword increases by a hundredfold in the hands. A long list of introductions. I never expected the replicated talent to be so powerful. If the 12 hour death echo is the ceiling for SSS class auxiliary talents, then this star communication device is simply the ceiling for SSS class combat talents. Possessing this SSS class talent, Sumu can't even imagine what level he would reach if he cultivated and built it himself. Sumu once again turned his gaze to the computer interface in front of him. It's not advisable to rapidly increase levels in a short period of time, but one thing is certain. Posting and answering questions can indeed bring in a lot of profit. Sumu randomly chose to join the researcher guild. Sumu still gave himself the name of the savior. Sumu let Xinxiao choose a middle path. Intermediate. Top level potion formulas and esoteric body training techniques. Posted on the forum. Later, Sumu used the purchased medicinal materials to prepare 30 sets of bone strengthening and chicken feeding umbrellas. He then sat cross-legged on the ground. He began to take the bone strengthening and chicken feeding umbrellas for cultivation. He took a mouthful of bone strengthening and chicken feeding powder. But in just a moment, he felt a powerful medicinal force spreading to his limbs and body. Sensing this power, Sumu's face lit up. He began practicing the 10,000-foot body strengthening technique without hesitation. A month quietly passed by. Sumu picked up the towel beside him and wiped the sweat off his forehead. A light blue interface appeared quietly in front of him. Name. Sumu's blood and energy value. 101.75. Enter the dancer's former wife's body strengthening technique. The powerful source clan, the golden eagle clan, the golden bull clan, and the breathing technique of the 10,000 tribes body refining art. The innate fetal breath technique. 5G talentless EX level post-mortem replication. SSS level death resonance, the book of wisdom, the sword heart's insight, and the change of appearance. One step into the dancer. Finally, I can truly step into the five paths in one picture. Sumu skillfully logged into his researcher forum account. During this month's time, he has published several articles on body refining techniques and breathing again. Now his researcher account has reached level 1. At the same time, there are nearly 600,000 prawn cakes lying in his bank account.
Sumu suddenly found an extra message in his researcher backstage. Hello, Savior Researcher. I am the prescription authorization negotiator of Danfang Pharmaceutical Company. My name is Gu Qian. We at Danfang Pharmaceutical Company are very interested in the prescription formula for the bone strengthening and nourishing powder that you released. Are you interested in licensing the prescription formula? We can offer you a substantial licensing fee. The quote is approximately between 4 to 5 million. We can discuss the details in more depth. Sumu pondered for a moment. It's already late today. Tomorrow, the school will be conducting monthly tests. I also have something to discuss with the homeroom teacher. I probably won't have much time. How about the day after tomorrow? As for the location, let's meet at the cafe on 7th Avenue. Close the chat interface. Sumu sighed deeply, feeling a little excited inside. He had thought about licensing out his prescription formula. It can sell for a good amount of money. But when the other party offers a high price of 4 to 5 million, his heart can't help but skip a beat. His heart can't help but skip a beat. Skip a beat. Sumu sat cross-legged on the ground. He's getting ready to start. There are many benefits to practicing visualization. As a warrior, if you have strong mental power, it will be twice the result with half the effort in both practice and combat. Because strong mental power means your reaction speed and observation skills will be far superior to the opponent. In addition, Mental power itself is also a form of attack. There is another major benefit. That is, it can support him in continuous resonance. With his current mental power, he can resonate consecutively up to two times at most. So Sukue has always wanted to improve his mental strength as much as possible. The improvement of mental strength means that he can perform continuous and uninterrupted resonance. Sukue began to try the visualization method that Shunlan found for him which is called the Divine Demon Visualization Method. It is a visualization method created by Shinlan based on the visualization method of two naturally spiritual races in the Wan clan. The Divine refers to the Tiani Divine clan. Their clan's visualization method is pure and stable. Although their attack power is not that strong, they have extremely strong recovery ability. The Demon refers to the Purgatory Demon clan. Their clan's visualization method possesses terrifying and ferocious attack power. It also has a certain erosion power, and the divine demon visualization method adapted by Shenlan. The main thing is to cultivate the spiritual power of both their mentalities at the same time. Using the spiritual power of the purgatory demon clan to continuously erode their own spiritual power. Then, using the spiritual power of the heavenly winged god clan to continuously rebuild their own spiritual power. In the continuous erosion and rebuilding of spiritual power. Gradually strengthening the spiritual power. Finally possessing spiritual power that simultaneously possesses both characteristics and is incredibly resilient and powerful. The cultivation process of this divine and demonic mentality. In fact, it has many similarities with the reverberations of Sumu's own death. It can be said that this divine and demonic mentality is the most suitable mentality for Sumu. However, the difficulty of cultivation is quite significant. Sumu not only needs to constantly find the path to cultivate the spiritual power of the heavenly winged god clan, but also needs to find the path to cultivate the spiritual power of the purgatory demon clan. In the end, it still needs to be worn out and rebuilt in two kinds of mental power, experimenting with a cultivation path that may not even have a 1% chance. Immediately, Sumu then sat cross-legged, started practicing. The next day was the monthly awakening test conducted by the school. When Sumu arrived at the school, it was already around 9 o'clock in the morning. Brother Muli Shangdong greeted Sumu with a happy face. Haven't seen each other for a month. The blood and energy value is only this much. In Sumu's line of sight, it's natural for Sumu to see Li Shangdong's blood and energy value at a glance. But it's only 4.24. Test the blood and energy value later. Wait for me in the classroom. Sumu felt that he could help Li Shangdong. While Sumu and Li Shangdong were chatting casually, Fan Lin, at some point, also arrived in the classroom. As soon as he entered the classroom, Fan Lin's gaze began to wander around. Finally settling on Su Mu, his eyes immediately lit up. Just as Su Mu was about to walk towards the classroom door, suddenly felt something poking him. He turned around and realized it was Fong Lin. Su Mu, here, this is for you. He was holding a small pink cloth bag. My parents asked me to give this to you. Thank you for saving me. This is a token of appreciation. After saying this, he quickly walked out of the classroom. Su Mu looked at the cloth bag in his hand, shaking his head with a wry smile. He opened the cloth bundle and took a look. Inside the cloth bundle were some blood tonifying medicines. There was also a data disc. It looks like it's used for storing body refining techniques and breathing methods. All these things added together, at least worth tens of thousands. For a moment, Sumu didn't know whether to accept it or not.
not. He first stuffed the cloth bundle into his drawer. Then he used his own school bag to cover the cloth bundle. Sumu then quickly walked outside the classroom. He soon arrived at the training hall. The scene was similar to last time. But this time, everyone seemed a bit more excited and expectant. Some people had excitement on their faces, while others seemed a bit disheartened. Basically, their blood and energy values were between 2 and 8. The highest is still Fongling, reached 15.86. When reporting Sumu's name, the whole training hall suddenly quieted down. Sumu's first blood value test reached a terrifying score of 4.13. Everyone wants to see how far he has come now. Suddenly, the extremely quiet training hall heard a number that made everyone somewhat unbelievable. 101.75. Everyone's eyes were filled with deep shock. They thought that Su Mu's blood value improvement speed might be terrifying, but they never expected it to be this terrifying. In just one month, it increased by more than 90 points. For many, reaching the level of a dancer is an unreachable height in their lifetime. When he came down from the blood testing device, and with classmates constantly casting admiring glances at him, Mu Gu, you're too awesome. After you get admitted, I'll hold on to your thigh. Li Shangdong fawningly approached Su Mu. Su Mu looked at him disdainfully. Su Mu was about to give him a piece of her mind. But Lu Jiangho walked over. Principal Su Mu wants to talk to you about something. Come with me. He followed Zhang Ha and Lu back to the principal's office they had visited a month ago. As soon as they entered the office, Su Mu saw three cups of tea already prepared on the table. The principal invited Su Mu and Zhang Ha and Lu to sit on the sofa. It's quite obvious, compared to last time. This time, the principal's attitude towards Su Mu has obviously improved a bit. Congratulations to you. In less than a month, Student Sumu has entered as a dancer named Sumu. You came here mainly for a few things. One of them is that I discussed with the leaders in the school. Considering your cultivation speed, Sumu, you are fully qualified to win the first prize scholarship for six months. That is a total of 180,000. We have decided to advance the first prize scholarship to you directly. In addition, the testing of your vitality for the next five months. You don't need to come for it. Another thing, our great Xia has several top martial arts universities. Authorized by the great Xia woman to establish a top training camp. Those who perform exceptionally well in the genius training camp will be exempted from taking the college entrance examination, directly admitted to the top martial arts university in Dashia, and you can also get a full scholarship for new students and various preferential conditions directly. It is said that the highest can even reach 10 million. Of course, compared to the ordinary college entrance examination, the Genius Training Camp has a very high elimination rate. In the last session, three quarters of the Genius Training Camp members were eliminated and there is also a certain chance of death because you will come into contact with the foreign student Sumu. Our school now has a quota to report and participate in the Genius Training Camp. But I already told you about the elimination rate and danger of the Genius Training Camp. Do you want to participate? Participate in the Genius Training Camp of which top martial arts university? I hope you can think about it carefully. Sumu, however, did not hesitate and said no need to consider it. Principal, I want to participate in the Genius Training Camp at Longjin Martial Arts University. Sumu thought, what am I afraid of if I can respawn infinitely? He can't wait to die multiple times, and then brush up on talents and such. The higher the difficulty, the easier it is to die. It actually suits his taste even more. Moreover, Longjin Martial Arts University is not only a requirement in the diary, but also the university where Gu Yinchi is the principal. Seeing Sumu's attitude so determined, speaking of which, then I will help you report it. The genius training camp will start in a month. Be sure to report on time then. Sumu nodded, then thought of something. Thing. By the way, principal, I have something I want to ask the school for a favor. You also know that I have already become a first level warrior. It's time to start practicing martial arts formally. But I think just practicing with the people from the martial arts hall doesn't have a great improvement effect. So I want to go to the alien hunting ground. The alien hunting ground is located behind the human race. It is an area bordering the battlefield of the 10,000 races. There are a large number of aliens inside. Some of these aliens were originally here. Here. Some were intentionally captured and raised there. Among these aliens, there is no extremely powerful existence, mainly used to hone some skills, not yet sufficient for the battlefield of the 10,000 races, but for the human race who wants to gain experience in fighting the 10,000 races. One condition is that you must be at least a first level warrior for more than three months. However, there is some room for maneuver with this condition, because some students in certain schools have exceptional talent. After obtaining the school's recommendation letter, it is possible to waive the three-month requirement, 
which is also what Sumo hopes to ask the school for help with. Sumo quickly mentioned this to the principal. The principal didn't hesitate for long before nodding. After bidding farewell to the principal, Sumo then took the 180,000 yuan reward from the school back to the classroom. Only Lixiangdong was left in the classroom waiting foolishly for Sumu. Mu Gu, you finally came. Lixiangdong smiled and greeted Sumu. Sumu knowingly patted his shoulder. He took out a notebook from his backpack and quickly started writing and drawing on it. After about half an hour or so, Sumu just closed the notebook, then handed it to Li Xiangdong. Inside is a body training technique, a breathing technique. There's also a potion formula. Li Xiangdong, who just received the notebook from Sumu, is still wondering what Sumu wrote to him. But then he heard what Sumu said. He almost dropped the notebook in his hand out of shock. Mu Gu, this is too precious. I can't accept this. Li Xiangdong frowned. Seems like he's so moved he's about to cry. Stop it. Quickly accept it, said Su Mu. Take it and practice well. In five months, if you don't get into a martial arts university, you'll let me down. Mu Gu. No, Dad Mu. Li Xiangdong hugged Su Mu tightly, but Su Mu pushed him away forcefully. Under Li Xiangdong's lecherous expression, they left the house. They arrived at the nearby fire martial arts hall. After stepping into the martial arts hall, in addition to the daily physical and breathing exercises, the practice of weapons also needs to be included in the schedule. Moreover, Su Mu already had a recommendation letter from the school. It was perfect for obtaining a pass to the exotic beast hunting ground at the fire martial arts hall due to the recommendation letter the pass was quickly issued without much time due to the recommendation letter after doing all this sumu finally rented a practice room at the martial arts hall entering the practice room sumu was starting a new round of physical training the breathing technique doesn't need to change but sumu's practice of the wanzu body refining technique requires a more advanced chapter According to Shenlan's statement, after each major realm advancement, it will be based on different personal body data to practice different chapters of the Wanzu body refining technique, so that practitioners are at the top level in every realm. realm. After reaching the first warrior level, Sumu only has two days to practice the new chapter. The Da Di Xiong and Wen Yun who tribes are known for their strength and defense. Their system is also considered unique in the first warrior stage. While the Wen Yun who tribe is known for strength and speed, the system is the same. Among the Wanzu in the first warrior stage, they can be called the best. After choosing the body refining technique, Sumu quickly started practicing in conjunction with the breathing technique. Drops of sweat fell on the floor of the training room. I don't know how long passed. Sumu finally collapsed to the ground. After resting for a while, Sumu stood up again. Enduring the exhaustion in his body, he began practicing martial skills in the choice of weapons. Shen Mu had already prepared for Su Mu. All are most suitable for Su Mu at the current stage. Also the best martial skill he can practice. There are a total of three martial skills. The weapon for attack. Furious Wind Sword Shadow. Furious Wind Sword Shadow was created by a martial artist named Furious Wind Sword three years later. Relying on the skill of the Furious Wind Sword technique, almost unmatched before reaching the third level of the warrior. The sword technique is fierce, extremely fast speed. The swordsman can seal the fierce sound of the wind. Each epic sword strike is as fast as the next. The sound of the wind it stirs up is getting stronger and stronger, like a raging wind in giant waves. As for the footwork technique, there's the Ji Chi Sword Step. The Ji Chi Sword Step is a close range combat technique created by a human swordsman five years later. It allows for continuous movement within an extremely short distance during close combat. There is also a sonic weapon, the Spy Wave Sword Shadow. The Butterfly Wave Sword Shadow is a sonic weapon created by a human swordsman three years later. By deliberately controlling the common collision shock during the battle process, it creates a sword camp. Inflict damage to the enemy through sword play. These three weapons were chosen based on Sumu's own characteristics. With his SSS level talent in the sword heart insight, training with weapons related to swordsmanship is undoubtedly the best choice. And when combined with the Gale sword technique and the straight ruler sword manual, the extremely fast speed and remarkable attack power are enough to become an unstoppable nightmare for everyone's enemies. Selected three martial skills, Sumu also quickly began training. In the training room, you can occasionally hear the common sound of breaking the air. After a moment, looking at the devastated training room, Sumu collapsed on the ground because of his SSS level talent. Assisted by the sword heart insight, martial skills in the three swordsmanship areas, Sumu has already mastered it thoroughly in just a few hours. Next is to apply them in action. 
actual combat. But it's already too late today to go to the exotic hunting ground. Let's try the weapons at the exotic hunting ground tomorrow. Early in the morning, Sumu took the special car arranged by the Lifelong Martial Arts Hall, arrived at the area of the exotic hunting ground managed by the Lifelong Martial Arts Hall. He has an appointment with the Danfeng Pharmaceutical Company in the afternoon. The daytime is just right. Come to the exotic battlefield to hone your skills. After the person in front finished explaining some precautions of the exotic hunting ground, he led Sumu and this group of people to the area of the exotic hunting ground, a vast forest forest. More than 10 people entered the exotic hunting ground together this time. Basically, they are all formed into teams of two or three. Only Sukmu is alone. Kid, you're exploring this alien hunting ground alone. It's really not safe. How about temporarily joining our team, so we can look out for each other? It seems that seeing Sukmu alone, a bearded uncle from the team spoke up. Sukmu shook his head. Thanks for your kindness, uncle, but I still want to try it alone first. He naturally already knew about the spiritual talents of the aliens in this area. He naturally already knew about it. What he wants is to die. If you join the team, it's too safe. It's not good to be seen. Sukmu refused. The bearded uncle smiled awkwardly, but I didn't mind. On the contrary, the woman with the big chest next to me seems a little unhappy. Sarcastic. Dao, bro. Stop being so kind-hearted. You're willing, and they're still ungrateful. But it's okay, so as not to bring along a third wheel. When mentioning the word third wheel, he deliberately emphasized the tone. Sumu on the side could only smile helplessly. The stubbled uncle blared fiercely at the big-chested woman. But this action only made the big-chested woman more dissatisfied. He pouted and looked at Sumu beside him, ignoring the busty women over here. Instead, quickly heading towards the inside of the forest. After entering the forest, the breeze blows by, the leaves rustle. The air carries a hint of earthy fragrance. This surprises Sumu, as he operates the innate western law. It runs smoother than usual. Even the blood and chi in his body are stirred up. Sumu quickly shuttles through the woods. Based on his own experience, as well as the deep blue, he quickly finds traces of a different race. These traces should be from the fong-toothed rat. Sumu looks at the traces left by the creature crawling on the ground, and the next moment, he swoops directly towards the fong-toothed rat. Without a doubt, he will find the fong-toothed rat's trail. It seems the sharp-toothed mouse is still fighting with another alien race. Sumu immediately recognized the other alien race as the spotted snake clan. The strength of the spotted snake clan is about the same as that of the sharp-toothed mouse clan. Watching the two alien races fighting, Sumu directly used the ruler arrow step to arrive next to the two alien races. The next moment, the gale sword technique. It descended upon the two alien races like a fierce wind and rain. Although Sumu was currently only at the one path five standards level, but the gale sword technique he cultivated is an extremely powerful martial art in itself. Coupled with Sumu's clear understanding of the sword heart, it increases the power of swordsmanship and martial arts a hundredfold. The strength of the two races in the early stage of one realm. They couldn't even withstand a single blow in front of Sumu's gale sword technique. With my current strength, I'm afraid facing a late stage alien is not a big problem. Looking at the bodies of two aliens in front of him, Suki has a simple understanding of his current strength. It has to be said that Jinshin's talent is really powerful. As long as it is a martial art related to swordsmanship, he can master it completely in a very short time, and can also exert its power a hundredfold. No wonder that figure was so proud at first. Look down on others. With his strength reaching the level of an eight prohibition warrior, with the help of Jianxin's extraordinary talent. Presumably, his combat power has also reached a quite terrifying level. Walking quickly in the woods, Suki suddenly smelled a very strong smell of blood. His brow furrowed slightly, quickly ran towards the source of the bloody smell, ran for a few minutes. The scene in front of him made him feel a sudden scalp tingling. Just saw not far away, a dense group of red-tailed foxes gathered on the ground full of some dismembered limbs. There seemed to be splattered blood on the nearby trees. Sumo roughly surveyed. There are at least a hundred red-tailed foxes in front of him. What made Sumo feel even more uneasy was that the dismembered limbs on the ground seemed to have died not long ago. In theory, warriors entering the hunting ground of a different tribe, even if they encounter dangers they can't handle, as long as they press the rescue button on the wristband in time, a protective shield will immediately form around them, and the people from the Fire Martial Arts Hall will also arrive at the location of the person in need within five minutes. But the fragmented bodies on the ground now clearly indicate a message to Sumu. They didn't even have a chance to press the distress button. It's at this moment, a voice suddenly interrupted Sumu's thoughts. 
Run! Sumo looked in the direction of that voice. The person making the sound was none other than the busty woman he had encountered when he first entered the forest. The busty woman at this moment was covered in blood. A large chunk of flesh had been bitten off her right shoulder. She looked completely bloodied and mangled. If it weren't for her extremely recognizable figure, Sumo probably wouldn't have been able to recognize her at first sight. Behind that busty woman, several red-tailed foxes are pouncing towards him. It's obvious that he can't escape. The reason for making a sound, probably also because they saw Sumu's appearance. So they exerted their last bit of strength to warn Sumu. Splash bottle. Don't be stunned. Run quickly. The busty woman recognized Sumu. Immediately shouted even louder in Sumu's direction. The next moment, he was then pounced on by the red-tailed foxes behind him. A sharp-toothed red-tailed fox tore off a large piece of flesh from his body. Sumu's face flashed with a hint of anger at the sight. The damn clan leader's sword shook and then rushed towards the busty woman woman. The sword energy falls lightly on the bodies of the red-tailed foxes like a violent storm. The powerful force instantly kills several red-tailed foxes. Sumu looks towards the busty woman. The busty woman seems to have one breath left at this moment. He looks up and sees Sumu actually saving him from the mouths of those red-tailed foxes, a hint of surprise flashing in his eyes. But it is quickly replaced by an anxious look. Run fast. After saying this, there is a spiritual talent. The busty woman seems to finally be unable to bear the pain. Closes her eyes. Sumu also froze for a moment after hearing the busty woman's words. Spiritual talent. This time he came to a hunting ground. Just to see if he could get lucky and find a different race with spiritual talent. And it was at this time. Behind that group of red-tailed foxes. Suddenly, a sharp sound rang out. Sumu felt as if a heavy hammer had struck his mind. And the next moment, he felt dead. Dizzy. Just as he was distracted like this, several red-tailed foxes had already launched an attack on him. Just as several red-tailed foxes were about to pounce on him, Sumu swung his long sword and quickly stabbed in the air a few times. Several red-tailed foxes were instantly killed by Sumu. Then Sumu swiftly moved closer, and in a flash, he had already rushed into the group of red-tailed foxes. Amidst the flashing of the sword, bright red blood flowed on the ground like a small River. Sumu headed straight towards the sneering figure and killed him all the way. Soon, Sumu then arrived at the center of the red-tailed fox group. Just then, not far away, a double-tailed red fox, obviously larger than the other red-tailed foxes, stood there. That red-tailed fox seemed to have noticed Sumu too. A hint of human-like doubt flashed in its pitch-black eyes. Eyes. Sumu also saw the information of this red-tailed fox in front of his eyes. Race, red-tailed fox, HP, 7951, near the five fingers, late-stage talent, spiritual temptation. Seeing the red-tailed foxes pouncing at him from all around, Sumu, however, was not afraid at all. After resolutely driving back the surrounding red-tailed foxes with a strong wind, he went straight towards the two-tailed red fox. He saw Sumu actually rushing towards him. The red fox was also furious. He let out a scream. Sumu suddenly felt dizzy. And the next moment, the red fox also pounced on Sumu. Seeing that he was the one attacking himself, Sumu also did not continue to resist. Only feeling a sharp pain attacking his neck, his vision also gradually turned dark. Sound effect. You have been killed by the red fox. Replication successful. Congratulations on obtaining the talent spiritual beguilement. A level talent, mental manipulation mental manipulation, by using sound waves or eye contact, temporarily control the actions of others. The duration of control depends on the strength of the mental power. Ha! Sumu suddenly sat up from the bed. In his mind, the miserable death scene of the bearded uncle and the busty woman was still vivid. To be honest, this was the first time Sumu had witnessed such a bloody and terrifying scene of cannibalism by the alien race. After calming down a bit, Sumu began to examine his current character panel. Name, Sumu Life Force, 101. 75, early stage 1 realm warrior, mental power, 11. 52, average value for ordinary humans without cultivating or awakening mental talents is 0. 5, body refining technique, all race body refining technique, earth bear clan, cloud tiger clan, breathing technique, innate embryonic breath technique, visualization technique, divine demon visualization technique, martial arts, gale sword technique, inch step sword technique, wave stacking sword chant talents, ex level, post mortem duplication, sss level. Death Rewind 12 Hours, Book of Wisdom, Sword Insight, A Level, Change of Appearance, Mental Manipulation It seemed that after copying the mental talent of the red-tailed fox, his mental power had reached a considerable level. Therefore, this time, Sumu's character panel specifically added a measurement for mental power. Looking at his current mental power on the character panel, a hint of joy appeared on Sumu's face. The average value for ordinary humans was around 0. 0.5. 
Previously, due to several rewinds, he had reached a maximum of around one. But now, because he had awakened an A-level mental talent, his mental power had increased dramatically to 11. 52. With this level of mental power, he should be able to try practicing the divine demon visualization technique again, right? Without hesitation, Sumu immediately began practicing the divine demon visualization technique. To his surprise, as he expected, the practice of the technique went unexpectedly smoothly. In just half an hour, he successfully cultivated the mental power of the Skywing Divine Clan, and then, in a very short time, cultivated the mental power of the Purgatory Demon Clan. After refining the mental powers of both races, Sumu continuously used these two types of mental power to constantly erode and rebuild his own mental power. Ah! Just a slight erosion of his mental power made Sumu unable to help but let out a muffled groan. This kind of mental pain was much stronger than physical pain. It was like slowly cutting off your soul with a knife. After a few hours, Sumu's face had become completely pale. When he opened his eyes again, they were filled with undeniable exhaustion. And the result was quite pleasing. Just by practicing the divine demon visualization technique once, Sumu's mental power had skyrocketed from the original 11. 52 to 31. 85. It had increased by about 20 points. Indeed, the improvement of mental power is much faster than the improvement of life force. Sumu had already made some guesses about this from the information given by Deep Blue. The cultivation methods for mental power and life force were completely different. The cultivation of life force mainly involved continuously tempering and infusing energy into the body, and then using the absorption of this energy to constantly strengthen the body and enhance life force. To some extent, the cultivation of life force was constantly relying on external forces to improve oneself. Body refining techniques and breathing techniques were just mediums to help assimilate external forces. On the other hand, the cultivation of mental power was completely different. It does not rely on external forces or mainly rely on external forces. Looking at the ideas of all races, they basically start from their own spiritual power and imagine something to train their own spiritual power. Therefore, the cultivation of spiritual power requires a high demand for one's own spiritual power. This is also why spiritual talents can enhance spiritual power. Because the power of talent also comes from oneself, at the moment of awakening, in order to ensure that your talent can be used smoothly, your spiritual power will be enhanced with the help of your talent. And also because of this special way of cultivating spiritual power, as long as you can bear this kind of pain and constantly train your spiritual power, the speed of improving spiritual power will be several times faster than the speed of improving chi and blood. At this rate, it is uncertain that after a month, the realm of my spiritual power will surpass the realm of chi and blood. Su Mu's heart was delighted to come to this conclusion. This is definitely good news for Su Mu. After all, sometimes chi and blood can be judged by some experts through certain methods. But spiritual power, unless you encounter a few people with special talents, otherwise, as long as you don't use it, ordinary people can't tell the strength of your spiritual power at all. This also means that Su Mu will have an extremely powerful hidden trump card. At critical moments, using spiritual power to attack others can definitely cause unexpected fatal blows to others. Su Mu's heart was delighted to have successfully cultivated the divine demon visualization method. However, it is not a time to relax next. After the improvement of spiritual power, Su Mu also needs to test how many times he can rewind now. When Su Mu opened his eyes again, he silently sat up from the bed. After the improvement of spiritual power, with the help of those aliens in the alien hunting ground, he rewound seven times. A total of seven talents were copied. And through these seven rewinds, Sumu roughly figured out how many times he can rewind. With the improvement of spiritual power, Sumu can roughly estimate that he can rewind more than 50 times now. Moreover, he found that as the number of consecutive rewinds increased, it seemed that more and more spiritual power was consumed. According to Sumu's current situation, it is easy for him to continue rewinding. However, he did not choose to continue rewinding. On the one hand, because he has already figured out the number of rewinds, on the other hand, because he has copied almost all the talents of those aliens in the area controlled by the Lihua Martial Hall, there is no need to rewind anymore. Sumu's mind moved. His character panel appeared in front of him again. Name, Sumu, Chi and Blood Value, 101. 75, Early Stage Martial Artist, Spiritual Power, 41. 52, Fourth level martial disciple, body refining technique, all race body refining technique, earth bear clan, cloud tiger clan, breathing technique, innate fetal breath technique, visualization technique, divine demon visualization technique, martial arts, furious wind sword art, ji chi sword steps, stacked waves sword chant, talents, ex level, death duplication, sss level, death rewind 12 hours, 
Book of Wisdom, Sword Heart Clarity, A Level, Change of Appearance, Mental, Manipulation, True Sight, Healing Light, Enhanced Five Senses, Crimson Flame Bloodline, B Level, Mental Strengthening, Wood Manipulation, Wind Manipulation, Close the Panel. A cold light flashed in Sumu's eyes. It's time to settle the account with that red-tailed fox. Kid, you became a martial artist at such a young age. Your awakened talent and aptitude should be pretty good, right? Although the foreigners in this foreign hunting ground are not as powerful as the foreigners on the battlefield of the 10,000 races, some of them still have considerable power. Even in the area managed by the fiery martial hall, there are foreigners with spiritual talents. It's not very safe for you to explore alone in this foreign hunting ground. Why not temporarily join our team and take care of each other? At the entrance of the foreign hunting ground, the bearded uncle invited Sumu again. Looking at the kind-hearted bearded uncle, who would have thought that shortly afterwards, he would become the soul of the double-tailed red-tailed fox? Holding onto the things mentioned in the diary, only by not knowing can things change. Sumu still chose to refuse the bearded uncle's kindness. This time, although his main goal was to kill the double-tailed red-tailed fox, the bearded uncle was a decent person, and the busty woman by his side, although a bit sharp-tongued, was not a bad person either. If possible, Sumu still wanted to save these two people from the mouths of the red-tailed foxes. Brother, can you stop being so kind-hearted? Even if you're willing, they won't appreciate it. But it's fine this way, so we don't have to bring along a burden. The busty woman still had a sarcastic tone. Hearing the same words, Sumu could only shake his head helplessly, just like last time. After separating from the bearded uncle and the busty woman, Sumu did not follow the previous route, but checked the talents he obtained from the seven rewinds while slowly killing the foreigners, moving towards the direction where the bearded uncle and the busty woman died in the previous rewind. In the seven rewinds, Sumu obtained a total of seven talents. Among the seven talents, three were B-level talents and four were A-level talents. Among the B-level talents, wind manipulation and wood manipulation were relatively common elemental talents. If used well in battle, they could greatly enhance one's combat power. Moreover, when using martial arts, one could choose martial arts that match these elemental talents, often unleashing tremendous power. There was also a talent that was also a spiritual talent. Sumu was pleasantly surprised by the acquisition of this talent. At that time, Sumu was just trying to use mental manipulation to manipulate a large number of foreigners, testing the power of mental manipulation. Unexpectedly, among the manipulated foreigners, there was a spotted snake that was not affected by his manipulation. Based on its behavior and the judgment of the Book of Wisdom, Sumu finally concluded that its talent was mental strengthening. So he decisively made this spotted snake contribute its talent. In addition to the three B-level talents, the four A-level talents were the biggest gains of Sumu's journey. First of all, there was the Eye of True Sight, which could see through talents that were not above A-level. Previously, Sumu had to observe the behavior of others to judge their talents through the Book of Wisdom in his mind. But now, as long as the opponent's talent level was lower than S-level, Sumu could directly see through their talents with the Eye of True Sight. Even if he couldn't see through the talent, it could still indicate that the opponent's talent was at least S-level, so there was no need to hesitate too much. When it's time to die, just die. It can be said that this Eye of True Sight greatly improved Sumu's efficiency in replicating talents in the future, and at the same time, it could anticipate the enemy's moves and play a significant role in real battles. The second A-level talent was the Light of Healing. This ability was of no use to Sumu personally. For Sumu, who had the talents of post-death replication and death rewind, he wouldn't even replicate defensive talents or practice defensive martial arts. The purpose was to die faster when the time came. The main reason for replicating this light of healing was to be able to conveniently heal others when needed. After all, Sumu cannot rewind every time someone dies or gets injured. In the future battles with the Wan clan, it is inevitable that there will be injuries and deaths. Having the talent to heal others will undoubtedly help Sumu solve many problems. The third A-level talent is Super Enhanced Senses. Super Enhanced Senses can be activated and deactivated at any time, and they can also help Sumu enhance his combat power in battles. They can also be used for detection in normal times. The last A-level talent is the Crimson Flame Bloodline. This Crimson Flame Bloodline can enhance the power of fire-based martial arts by 50%. It can also attach the Crimson Flame to weapons in various parts of the body, making it difficult to extinguish unless special means are used. Ordinary water and sand cannot extinguish the Crimson Flame. These talents are basically a good batch of talents responsible for the Liwa Martial Hall in this area. Sumu doesn't just copy talents randomly because sometimes having too many talents can prevent certain abilities from being developed to the extreme. In addition to his own ideas, he also listens to Deep Blue's advice when selecting talents. As Sumu slowly approached the previous rewind point, 
the location where the bearded uncle died was also moving. On the other side, brother, are we going to die here? At this moment, the bearded uncle and the busty woman were back to back. Around them, a group of red-tailed foxes were watching them intently. In the center of this group of red-tailed foxes, there was one with two tails. Under that red-tailed fox's feet were two hand rings. The bearded uncle looked at the hand rings under the feet of the two-tailed red-tailed fox and clenched his teeth. They were originally hunting in this foreign race hunting ground, hoping to kill some foreign race bodies to exchange for money. They were quite happy when they saw the red-tailed fox because the fur of the red-tailed fox could be sold for a good price. But as they chased after the red-tailed fox, they unexpectedly found themselves surrounded by the red-tailed foxes. After realizing that they were surrounded, the two of them were about to press the distress button on their hand rings. But at this moment, a sharp sound came. They were momentarily stunned by the sound. It was only when several red-tailed foxes attacked them that they snapped out of it. But after recovering, they were horrified to find that their hand rings had been thrown under the feet of the two-tailed red-tailed fox. Now they had no way to press the distress button. Faced with a dense group of red-tailed foxes ranging from early stage to late stage 1 realm warriors, the bearded uncle felt his scalp tingling. His strength was only at the late stage of 1 realm warrior, so he could deal with a few red-tailed foxes, but with such a large group of them, not to mention that he also had to protect his sister behind him. Could it be that we're really going to die here today? A look of despair flashed across the bearded uncle's face. Gao Jing, I'll help you break through later, take the opportunity to run away. Brother! Upon hearing the bearded uncle's words, the busty woman's nose immediately felt a tingling sensation. If you encounter people, tell them to run quickly and press the distress button immediately. The bearded uncle instructed. That beast must have awakened a mental talent. It is with this talent that it led so many red-tailed foxes to survive the purge by the Lihua Marshall Hall. If these red-tailed foxes are allowed to develop further, they might pose a threat to the human race in the rear. So we must find a way to pass on the message. Upon hearing the bearded uncle's words, the busty woman also seemed to realize the consequences of these red-tailed foxes developing. She wiped away her tears. I, I understand, brother. Get ready! The bearded uncle shouted. But it was at this moment that they suddenly heard a sword chant coming from a distance. They looked in the direction of the sword chant and saw that not far away, behind the red-tailed foxes, it seemed as if a tiger had rushed into a flock of sheep. The heads of the red-tailed foxes were soaring into the sky one by one. Brother, what's happening there? Uncle Lusehu's eyes flashed with a hint of red, and in the next moment, a look of astonishment appeared on his face. That's a person. Just as the two were discussing, the encirclement formed by the red-tailed foxes had already been broken through. At this moment, Uncle Lusehu and the busty woman next to him finally saw the appearance of the person. They saw Sumu wearing a set of ordinary armor issued by the fire marshal hall, holding a long sword that had already been slightly blunted. The burning armor seemed as if it had been burned by fire under the sunlight. Sumu, like a war god descending from the sky, appeared in front of Uncle Lusehu and the busty woman. Little, little brother. Uncle Luseha recognized Sumu at a glance as the lone little brother they had encountered at the entrance. The busty woman next to him also clearly recognized Sumu. Seeing Sumu attacking so aggressively, her mouth couldn't help but open wide, looking at the scene in disbelief. Are you both alright? Sumu glanced at the two. Although they had some minor injuries, overall they were fine. We, were fine. Uncle Lusehu obviously hadn't recovered from the shock, but Sumu ignored him. After confirming that the two of them were not in danger, Sumu turned his gaze to the double-tailed red-tailed fox protected by several red-tailed foxes not far away. I've found you. After seeing the double-tailed red-tailed fox, a cold light flashed in Sumu's eyes. In the next moment, his figure flickered. Inch step sword technique. In just a moment, Sumu had already arrived not far from the double-tailed red-tailed fox. When the double-tailed red-tailed fox saw Sumu, this killing god charging towards it, a hint of panic flashed in its eyes. It let out a sharp scream. Sumu could clearly feel that this scream carried a wave of mental power fluctuations. Obviously, this was the attack method of the double-tailed red-tailed fox. Previously, Sumu might have been briefly stunned when faced with such an attack. But now, Sumu not only possessed the same mental charm talent as the double-tailed red-tailed fox, but also had a mental strengthening talent. He had also cultivated the divine demon visualization method, and his mental power had already reached the level of a martial disciple fourth layer. The double-tailed red-tailed fox's attack was like tickling to him. A mere trick, and you dare to show off? Sumu sneered. He lightly flicked his finger on the long sword in his hand. Ding! A strange wave spread from the long sword, like waves, towards the double-tailed red-tailed fox and the surrounding red-tailed foxes. Ding! Ding! Sword chants, like layers of waves, one after another. 
This was also a good method that Sumu discovered to use mental charm. Mental charm was nothing more than using talent to temporarily control the opponent by spreading powerful mental power. Sumu stacked wave sword chant, through layer upon layer of overlapping sword chants like waves, could completely maximize the spread of mental power. The surrounding red-tailed foxes didn't even have time to react. Sumu had already appeared in front of them. Gale sword technique, like the autumn wind sweeping fallen leaves. Several red-tailed foxes hadn't even awakened from Sumu's mental charm and had already turned into a pile of broken bodies. The double-tailed red-tailed fox was the same. When Sumu rushed in front of it, it let out a fearful scream, and in the next moment, Sumu's long sword fiercely pierced its forehead. Poochi. The long sword, accompanied by a fierce gust of wind and rain, almost effortlessly pierced the forehead of the double-tailed red fox. In the previous second, the double-tailed red fox was still alive, but in the next moment, the light in its eyes gradually dimmed. The double-tailed red fox was dead. And at the moment the double-tailed red fox died, the surrounding red foxes seemed to have lost their backbone. The circle that had surrounded Sumu and the others scattered in an instant. Sumu easily dealt with several red foxes before reaching Uncle Lusehu and the busty woman. The way you are now, I'm afraid it's not suitable to stay here anymore. Let me escort you out. Looking at the two people standing in front of him, Sumu felt a sense of accomplishment in his heart. He wasn't the kind of person who sacrificed himself to save others, but if he had the ability, he was willing to save his compatriots from the hands of the other races or bad people. Is it convenient? Uncle Luceho looked at Sumu with some disbelief. He couldn't believe that a young man who didn't even look 20 years old had such terrifying strength. The double-tailed red fox alone had at least the strength of the later stage of the First Order. There were still so many red foxes around, but in front of this young man, they were completely like chickens and dogs. One strike and they collapsed. How powerful was this young man's strength? Or perhaps, what kind of powerful talent had he awakened? Uncle Lusehu didn't ask further. In the human race, talents were generally personal secrets, and even some high school students who had just awakened their talents would be instructed by their teachers not to tell even their closest relatives. So Uncle Lusehu naturally didn't offend by asking, he just looked gratefully at Sumu and said, Little brother, thank you so much this time. If it weren't for you, my sister and I would probably have died here. You are truly our savior. He pulled the busty woman next to him and said, Gao Jing, come and thank our savior. At this moment, Gao Jing looked at Sumu with a slightly flushed face. She remembered that she had called him a burden before, but now it seemed that she was the real burden. The feeling of being slapped in the face so soon made her face flush, and she couldn't face Sumu directly. It took her a while to squeeze out a sentence. Thank, thank you. Sumu smiled indifferently, we are all members of the human race. I believe that even if someone else encountered this situation, they would lend a helping hand. Who could have expected that a double-tailed red fox with a awakened mental talent would appear here, secretly gathering so many of its kind? But fortunately, you're all safe. Let's go, I was just about to go back. I'll take you back on the way. It seems like your wristbands are broken, it's not safe to stay here any longer. Under Sumu's lead, the siblings safely returned to the entrance. Along the way, Sumu also learned their names and some basic information. Uncle Luceto's name was Gao Shan, a veteran who had returned from serving on the battlefields of various worlds. He usually relied on hunting and killing some other races in the alien hunting grounds and exchanging their bodies for money. The busty woman's name was Gao Jing, who had just graduated from the martial arts university not long ago. Her intention was to return to the third safe zone and join the Night Walkers team but she had not yet passed the Night Walker's assessment criteria, so she could only follow Gao Shan to hunt and earn money in the alien hunting grounds. Sumu, my little brother, I really want to thank you this time. In the future, as long as you need my help, even if it means going through fire and water, I will definitely assist you. Gao Shan patted his chest. Gao Jing, who was usually talkative, remained silent for once. Then, Gao Shan seemed to remember something. He searched his body and finally took out a small box from his pocket. Sumu, I don't have anything valuable on me, but this is a tiger blood pill that I recently obtained through an auction. Please don't reject it. Without waiting for Sumu's response, he directly stuffed the tiger blood pill into Sumu's pocket. Gao de Gu, this is too precious, Sumu wanted to decline. He knew that the tiger blood pill was made from the blood of a species called the striped tiger, and its effect in replenishing blood was more than 10 times that of ordinary blood tonics. It was considered a precious medicine. One pill was worth 10,000 yuan. Seeing that Gao Shan and Gao Jing didn't seem particularly wealthy, Sumu guessed that the tiger blood pill, worth a hundred thousand yuan, was probably the most valuable thing Gao Shan had, even keeping it close to his body. Just as Sumu was about to refuse, Gao Shan said, Precious? 
Is it more precious than my life and my sister's life? Sumu, you saved our lives. Compared to your kindness to us, this thing is nothing. If you don't accept it, we will feel guilty. Gao Jing also nodded in agreement, please accept it. Seeing this, Sumu no longer refused. However, I have something to say in advance. Since I have taken this tiger blood pill, I won't accept the money from selling the red-tailed fox corpses later. Sumu thought Gao Shan was a good person and didn't want them to suffer too much. If you don't agree, then I really can't accept this tiger blood pill. The money from selling the red-tailed fox corpses, plus the one with two tails, would amount to 70 to 80,000 yuan after deducting the handling fees. For Sumu at the moment, this money was optional, but for Gao Shan and Gao Jing, it was definitely a huge sum. Gao Shan's eyes flashed with gratitude at Su Mu's behavior. He wanted to say something else, but Su Mu waved his hand and quickly walked away. When did our third safe zone produce such an outstanding genius? Watching Su Mu's figure disappear into the distance, Gao Shan couldn't help but sigh, he's only 18 years old, and his awakened talent is less than 2 months old. 18 years old. Is that true, brother? But, but don't you need to be at least a first realm warrior to enter the alien hunting grounds? He just awakened less than 2 months ago and he already has the strength of a first realm warrior. It's not wrong. You know my talent allows me to see some details that others can't. I can be sure that Sumu is 18 years old, just awakened his talent, and has been practicing martial arts for no more than two months. This, this is too monstrous. Not only that, he also has strength far surpassing a late first realm warrior. Such talent is truly astonishing. Kao Jing, we must keep this a secret. If the heretics of the human race's rear find out, they will definitely eliminate him without hesitation. However, if he enters the martial arts university, I'm afraid no one will be able to suppress his growth anymore. Gao Jing's eyes were filled with shock. What was she doing at 18 years old? Still struggling to break through to the first stage warrior? How could there be such a huge difference between people? For some reason, Gao Jing suddenly remembered that she had once called Su Mu a burden. She couldn't help but blush with embarrassment. Who is the drag bottle after all? At the same time, on Su Mu's side, after putting the tiger blood pill into his backpack, he quickly returned home. After changing into a new set of clothes, he headed towards the agreed location with Gu Qian, the negotiator authorized by Danfeng Pharmaceutical Company for the prescription. When Su Mu arrived at the agreed location, Gu Qian had already arrived early. What surprised Su Mu was that Gu Qian didn't seem much older than him. She tied her hair in a ponytail, looking youthful and lively. When Gu Qian saw Su Mu, she was obviously surprised. You, are you the savior, sir? After Su Mu sat down, Gu Qian couldn't help but ask. Su Mu nodded, surprised? Gu Qian didn't deny it, indeed. I didn't expect that the person who created the formula for the bone strengthening and muscle nourishing powder would be someone so young, a high school student? In my daily life, I like to study some formulas myself. Su Mu briefly explained this point. Let's officially discuss some details. Sumu didn't waste any more words and began to introduce the effects of the bone strengthening and muscle nourishing powder to Gu Qian. According to your introduction and the various values detected by our company, they basically match, so I can offer you a price of about 4. 5 million on behalf of the company. Take a look, are you satisfied? If you are satisfied, we can immediately sign the contract. At that time, I will trouble you, the savior, to take down the formula from the forum. 4. 5 million yuan? Miss Gu. What if I hope to have long-term cooperation with your company? Sumu had already prepared for this negotiation. I have a better potion formula than the bone strengthening and muscle nourishing powder. Moreover, this formula has not been published on the researcher forum, which means your company can completely purchase the publishing rights of this potion formula and even claim externally that this potion formula was independently developed by your company. Whether it is to improve the level of your company's researchers or enhance the company's reputation, it will undoubtedly have a significant impact. Saying that, Sumu placed a piece of paper in front of Gu Qian, I hope your company won't make any unwise moves. Although I haven't published this formula yet, the draft is reserved in the draft box on the forum. When Gu Qian saw the paper handed over by Sumu, she was stunned for a moment. Then she said, Savior, may I take a picture of this formula and send it to our company's professionals for evaluation? Please. Sumu nodded and looked out the window with his arms crossed. If everything goes well, with this formula and the formula for the bone strengthening and muscle nourishing powder, he might be able to achieve financial freedom directly. Soon, Gu Qian received a reply from their company's evaluators. The content of the reply obviously surprised her. It wasn't until she sat down that she slowly recovered from her astonishment. Savior, our company's professionals have finished evaluating it. Your potion formula is of great value. Gu Qian bit her lip and said, 
I really didn't expect that a high school student like you could come up with such a high value potion formula. Here's the deal, as long as you are willing to sell the full rights of this potion formula to our company, we can raise the price of your bone strengthening and muscle nourishing powder potion formula to 5 million. This is only the authorization price for the bone strengthening and muscle nourishing powder potion formula, and it won't be related to the acquisition price of your new potion formula. You can rest assured. As you said, we also hope to have long-term cooperation with you. Su Mu nodded. This price was similar to what he discussed with Shenlan. As for the acquisition price of your new potion formula, we can continue to discuss it. Excuse me, Mr. Savior, do you have any conditions? Gu Qian's attitude towards Su Mu has changed significantly since the beginning. At first, she may have thought he was just an ordinary high school student who happened to come up with a potion formula. But now, based on the information from the professionals at the company, the value of Su Mu's second potion formula far exceeds the first one. I have a few conditions. First, I can sell you the potion formula, but in terms of price, I want 20 million yuan plus a 40% profit share. Hearing Su Mu's words, Gu Qian frowned slightly. However, she did not interrupt, but waited for Su Mu to continue. Su Mu praised Gu Qian with a glance and continued, Second, as an exchange, I will provide you with a potion formula every year that is no less valuable than the previous one, but the profit share for each new formula remains the same, although the acquisition price needs to be negotiated separately. Third, I hope to have a special channel to purchase medicinal materials from your company, at a price at least 50% cheaper than the market price. Hearing Su Mu's conditions, Gu Qian hesitated for a moment before saying, to be honest, Mr. Savior, the price is a bit high. According to your conditions, the highest price we can offer is 15 million yuan plus a 30% profit share. This is considering the possibility of future cooperation with you. If you are unable to provide us with a potion formula of equal value in the future, we have the right to cancel the profit sharing agreement. As for the other two conditions, we have no problem with them. Hearing Gu Qian's response, Su Mu nodded. These conditions were mostly proposed based on the information he had obtained from Deep Blue. As for the price, he intentionally set it higher. His original expectation was 10 million yuan plus a 20% profit share. But he didn't expect that the price offered by Danfang Pharmaceutical Company would be even higher than his expectation. Okay, let's sign the contract. Without much hesitation, Su Mu agreed directly. And it seemed that Gu Qian had no intention of refusing either. She quickly took out four contracts from her bag, made some modifications, and handed them to Su Mu. Two of them were authorization contracts for purchasing the bone strengthening and muscle nourishing potion formula, and the other two were purchasing contracts for this new potion formula. By the way, Mr. Savior, since you are selling all the rights to our company, we may need to sign an additional confidentiality agreement. As you mentioned earlier, our company may need to claim that we developed it ourselves. Gu Qian took out two confidentiality agreements from her bag. In fact, Sumu was quite pleased with this. If this potion formula was continuously developed and released by an individual, it would inevitably attract the attention of some interested parties. Before having enough strength, Sumu didn't want to expose himself so quickly. But if it was released by a company, the significance would be completely different. No problem. Sumu quickly signed all the contracts and confidentiality agreements. Well, here's to a pleasant cooperation. Gu Qian stood up and reached out her hand to Su Mu. At this moment, she finally had the opportunity to carefully observe the young man in front of her. He looked young, with a handsome appearance and a mature temperament. It was hard to imagine that a young man who looked like a high school student could casually produce two impressive potion formulas, and it seemed that he still had several other formulas that were no less valuable than the one just mentioned. Young as he is, to achieve such success is truly extraordinary. Thinking of his unreliable younger brother, Gu Qian couldn't help but have the urge to rush home and give him a good beating. Nice working with you, Su Mu nodded towards Gu Qian. Then, he turned and left. Shortly after he left, he received a message on his phone from Danfang Pharmaceutical Company confirming the payment. After deducting some transaction fees, Su Mu received a total of about 18 million. 18 million. Su Mu's parents probably never saw so much money in their entire lives. And there would be additional profit sharing in the future. By then, Sumu's annual income would easily reach tens of millions, which was a piece of cake. Sumu could also shift his focus away from making money for a long time. Even after buying a house, there would still be a substantial amount left from the 18 million. Thinking of this, Sumu didn't go straight home. Instead, he headed straight to a nearby sales office. After a while, Sumu came out of the sales office with a satisfied smile on his face. Just now, he spent 15 million to buy a large villa in the central area of the third safety zone. 
Next, he would bring the whole family to the villa. Back at home, brother, you finally came back. Su Yang was always the most excited when Su Mu returned home. Su Mu's parents started to busy themselves in the kitchen. Mom and Dad, don't be busy for now, I have something to announce, Su Mu said. Hearing Su Mu's words, Lu Yufen and Su Dashin came out of the kitchen. What's wrong, son? Do you need money? Mom will get it for you. Lu Yufen's first reaction upon hearing that Su Mu had something to announce was that he didn't have enough money. Su Mu couldn't help but laugh and cry, No, Mom, you guys come here first, I have something to tell you. When his parents and Su Yang were ready, Su Mu said, Mom, Dad, I bought a villa in the central area of the third safety zone. What? As soon as Su Mu spoke, the three of them had expressions of disbelief on their faces. Su Mu looked at their expressions and felt an inexplicable sense of accomplishment. He took out the property certificate and purchase contract from his backpack and handed them to the three of them. The three of them immediately started to look at them. 15 million. Son, where did you get so much money? Su Dashin widened his eyes, son, although we are poor, there are some things we can't do. Lu Yufen gave Su Dashin a glare. What are you thinking about your son? How could our son do something bad? But son, how did you get this 15 million? Tell mom and dad, otherwise, we won't feel at ease. Sumu said, dad, mom, just rest assured, this 15 million is the money I earned from selling medicine prescriptions. Afraid that they wouldn't believe him, Sumu specifically took out the contract from his bag. After reading the contract, the three of them finally believed Sumu's words. Brother, you're amazing. Does that mean we can live in a big villa in the future? Su Yang didn't understand those things, he only knew that he might have his own big room in the future. Sumu smiled and patted his head, of course, not just you, there are many rooms in that villa, you can have your own big room, and I'll set up a game room for you, but the condition is that you have to improve your grades. Su Yang, upon hearing this, was so happy that he almost jumped up. Brother, I love you. I will study hard. Lu Yufen, seeing this, joked, you only know how to spoil your younger brother. My brother, I don't favor anyone, especially this kid, I think he can still do well with some effort. Sumu smiled and said, also, mom and dad, I will give you some money later so you don't have to work so hard anymore. Just stay at home and enjoy life, take care of Su Yang, but won't you be too tired? Su Dashin said. Lu Yufen also looked at Sumu with some concern and said, more, you've really worked hard. Mom and dad, what are you talking about? I'm not tired at all. The money I earn is actually quite easy. I just sell a few formulas for medicine. It's you guys who shouldn't do those tiring and exhausting jobs anymore. I'm telling you, if you get injured or something, the money spent on medical bills will be more than what you earn from working. It's better to just enjoy life at home. Sumu paused for a moment and continued, Besides, I have become a first-stage martial artist now, so your task is to focus on nurturing Su Yang. Originally, Su's parents were still immersed in the surprise of Sumu buying a big villa and hadn't come out yet. Su Mu's words made their hearts skip a beat. More, what did you just say? Su Dashin looked at Su Mu in disbelief. Lu Yufen also looked at Su Mu, seemingly wanting to confirm the answer from his mouth again. Su Mu could only repeat, the second thing I want to say is this, I have already become a first stage martial artist. A first stage martial artist. Su's parents couldn't sit still anymore. The surprise of the big villa just made them happy that Su Mu had grown up and could share the burden at home. But now, Su Mu said he had become a first stage martial artist. This was a real surprise for them. What could make parents feel more excited and happy than seeing their child succeed? That's great, that's great. Our Su family has finally made some progress. Su Dashin walked around excitedly. Lu Yufen, on the other hand, wasn't as excited as Su Dashin, but she was still very happy. Good, good, good. Brother, you're amazing. Although Su Yang was still young, he understood the value of a first stage martial artist. In his impression, a first stage martial artist was a very powerful person. And now, his brother had become a first stage martial artist. He had already thought about how to brag to his group of friends at school. Mom and dad, there's one more thing. Next month, I might participate in the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University's Genius Training Camp. If I can achieve excellent results in the camp, I can directly skip the college entrance examination and be admitted to Dragon Capital Martial Arts University through recommendation. Dragon Capital Martial Arts University. Genius Training Camp. Recommendation. Each word made Su Dashin and Lu Yufen react slowly. They could only keep repeating good, good, good in their mouths. After a while, Lu Yufen finally reacted and asked with some worry, Moore, is the genius training camp dangerous? Sumu smiled and said, Don't worry, mom. The people who enter the genius training camp are geniuses from various safe zones. They will naturally protect everyone, so there won't be any danger. 
Worst case scenario, I'll just come back and take the college entrance examination again. It won't delay anything. Hearing Su Mu's words, Su's parents looked at each other and finally felt relieved. Seeing that they didn't doubt him, Su Mu also breathed a sigh of relief. Actually, he wasn't completely lying. Although there was a small death rate in the genius training camp, the danger for someone like him who was basically invincible was close to zero. Alright, dad, mom, let's finish eating and pack up the things in the house. We're ready to move to the new house. I've already made an appointment with the moving company. Okay. The family started to enjoy their meal happily. A month's time quietly passed. In the underground training room of a villa, drops of sweat fell to the ground. Sumu stood on the ground in an extremely strange posture. After a moment, he collapsed and lay down as if paralyzed. In front of him, a light blue interface gradually appeared. Name, Sumu, Chi and Blood Value, 295. 75, Early Stage Martial Artist of the First Realm, Spiritual Power, 365. 58, Mid Stage Martial Artist of the First Realm, After a Month of Cultivation, Sumu's Chi and Blood Value had soared to 295. 75, Not Far from the Mid Stage of the First Realm. What surprised him even more was his spiritual power, which had now reached 365. 58. With such spiritual power, he was fully capable of supporting hundreds of consecutive rollbacks. In other words, he could now even roll back continuously to before awakening his talent. Perhaps due to the increased number of rollbacks, Sumu's feeling of death had become increasingly faint. Life and death seemed somewhat mundane to him. In addition to the improvement in chi and blood value and spiritual power, Sumu had also made significant progress in martial arts. The most obvious was his use of the Gale Sword Technique. In this month's time, Sumu not only completely mastered the Gale Sword Technique, but also gained a hint of the Gale Sword intent from it. The Gale Sword Technique with the Gale Sword intent was several times more powerful than before. Now, even when facing a martial artist of the Second Realm, Sumu could fight against them. After lying on the ground for a while, Sumu stood up. Instead of returning to the first floor hall, he went to a restroom next to the training room. He felt around inside the restroom and pressed a tile. Suddenly, a door opened in one of the walls of the restroom. After walking through the door, he found himself in a secret room of several dozen square meters. In the center of the secret room, there was a safe. Sumu entered the password to open the safe. Inside the safe was his diary. I wonder if I can turn to the next page once I obtain the admission quota for the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University? Sumu still hadn't figured out how his future self had restricted this diary. But since his future self could even modify talents, setting restrictions shouldn't be too difficult. The conditions given in the diary to unlock the next page also made Sumu quite curious. Currently, the unanswered questions he could get from the diary mainly revolved around Ning Yi, mentioned on the first page, and the person from the 10,000 races who caused Chen Bin to betray the human race. What were the identities of these two people and what kind of impact would they have on the future extinction of the human race? These were the things Su Mu had been thinking about. With his personality, he would definitely write the answers to these questions at the back of the diary. Unfortunately, he needed to pass the entrance exam for the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University in order to unlock the next page. What would be on the next page? Su Mu didn't know. But based on his guess, it should be closely related to the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University. Shaking his head, Sumu put the diary back into the safe. Although no one else could open the diary except for him, it was still better to keep it in a hidden place. After leaving the secret room and the restroom, Sumu returned to the first floor hall. It was dinner time. The whole family was gathered in the living room, waiting for Sumu to eat. Brother, you finally came out. Su Yang was the happiest to see Sumu. He quickly turned off the TV. Lu Yufen and Su Dashen started to busy themselves in the kitchen. Ever since the family moved into the villa, Lu Yufen and Su Dashen had a peaceful life for half a month at Su Mu's request. However, they quickly became bored again. Lu Yufen was fine, buying groceries and chatting with the market vendors. But Su Dashen felt uncomfortable. Maybe it was because he had nothing to do all day. Su Mu couldn't bear to see this, so he arranged a leisurely job for Su Dashen through Gu Qian's side. With his current cooperation with Danfang Pharmaceutical Company, it was an easy task. At the dining table, Sumu ate various exotic meats. Since becoming rich, there was no shortage of exotic food at home. Even Su Yang had gained weight. Dad, Mom, I'm going to take the high-speed train to the ninth safe zone tomorrow to attend the genius training camp. Be careful on the way, Moore. Su's parents were obviously still worried about Sumu's safety. But Sumu waved his hand. Don't worry, when I come back, I might already be a freshman at Longjing Martial Arts University. Brother, if you get into Longjing Martial Arts University, 
Remember to take me to your school cafeteria for delicious food. Su Yang waved his chopsticks. Sumu said, All right, you guys wait at home for my good news. After a quick dinner, when the first ray of sunlight fell on the earth, Sumu had already boarded the high speed train to the ninth safe zone. Sumu bought a second class seat. Maybe because of his ordinary background, even though he had money now, Sumu still knew when to spend and when to save in certain places. After putting his luggage on the shelf, Sumu began to practice the divine demon visualization method and the innate fetal breathing method with his eyes closed. But soon after he started practicing, a slightly loud voice came from beside him. Little girl, are you also going to the ninth safe zone to attend a cram school? What a coincidence, my son and I are also going to the ninth safe zone for a cram school. The cram school my son is attending is organized by a group of top students from Qinghuan Martial Arts University. It's very difficult to get in. Not only do you have to pay 300,000 yuan per month, but there are also requirements for the participants' qualifications. Fortunately, my son is outstanding. His qi and blood value has reached the triple martial warrior level, and he was immediately noticed by the person in charge of the cram school, who even gave us a discount. Which cram school are you attending, little girl? When we arrive at the ninth safe zone, you can make an appointment to meet my son. He's a bit shy, but I'll introduce you to each other. Sumu opened his eyes and looked over. He saw a beautiful girl in a floral dress sitting next to him. And next to the beautiful girl was a middle-aged woman who looked to be in her 40s or 50s. Faced with the middle-aged woman's words, the beautiful girl could only smile awkwardly and respond perfunctorily. Obviously, the middle-aged woman's son and the beautiful girl were both attending a cram school in the ninth safe zone. This was a common occurrence on the eve of the college entrance examination, especially in a place like the ninth safe zone, where top martial arts universities were gathered. Often, students from top martial arts universities or first-class martial arts universities would open some cram schools in their spare time. They would teach some students preparing for the college entrance examination and earn some living expenses. The path of martial arts was the most expensive. Not everyone could casually produce a prescription worth a fortune like Su Mu. The schools also turned a blind eye to this kind of thing. After all, these cram schools could indeed impart some experience to others, and some could even help the schools recruit talented students in advance. For the schools, students, and those attending the cram schools, it was all beneficial and harmless. However, the quality of the cram schools organized by students from different schools varied. Qinghuan Wudao University is one of the top martial arts universities in Dasha. Although it is at the bottom of the rankings, it is still a top martial arts university. The tutoring classes organized by the students inside are naturally more powerful than those organized by students from ordinary martial arts universities. It's no wonder this lady can't help but show off. It seems that she has noticed Su Mu's gaze. The beautiful girl glanced in Su Mu's direction. Their eyes met. Su Mu could see the helplessness in the girl's eyes. He shrugged helplessly. The girl playfully wrinkled her nose at him. Su Mu's awakening also caught the attention of the lady. Young man, are you also going to the ninth safety zone? Ha! Huh? Su Mu was obviously stunned when the lady suddenly turned the topic to him. The beautiful girl next to him couldn't help but cover her mouth and laugh. Um, yes. Sumu smiled awkwardly. That's too coincidental. The lady's eyes lit up. Young man, what are you going to do? Are you also attending tutoring classes? What kind of tutoring classes did you sign up for? The lady's series of questions made Sumu pinch his nose in a headache. He suddenly regretted not sitting in the business class. Um, I'm not attending tutoring classes. I'm going to the genius training camp. When the lady heard about the genius training camp, a puzzled expression appeared on her face. It was the beautiful girl next to her who seemed surprised. What is the genius training camp? I've never heard of it, the lady asked with confusion. It was normal for the lady not to have heard of it. Some information is only accessible at a certain level. It's probably a place similar to tutoring classes, Sumu explained helplessly. He was worried that the lady would continue to ask endless questions. Fortunately, at this moment, the lady's phone suddenly rang. Son, stay in the business class and don't move. Mom will come find you soon. It was probably a call from her son. The lady immediately stood up and moved towards the front carriage. Sumu breathed a sigh of relief when the lady left. At this moment, the beautiful girl next to him spoke. The genius training camp is different from tutoring classes. Sumu sighed and said, the more you say, the more troublesome it becomes. Don't look back or that lady will ask endless questions. Ha ha ha. The beautiful girl covered her mouth and laughed. You're right. She reached out her delicate, snow-white hand to Su Mu. I never expected to meet a genius who was attending the genius training camp. Hello, I'm Zhao Meng, from the third safety zone, Huangting High School. Hello, I'm Su Mu, also from the third safety zone, Bailan High School. 
Huangting High School is quite famous in the third safety zone. Those who can afford to attend Huangting High School are either extremely talented or come from wealthy families. Sumu's neighbor, Gu Yanshi, is from Huangting High School. After introducing themselves, the two of them chatted briefly. Then they stopped talking. Sumu closed his eyes and began to practice the Shinma visualization method and the innate embryonic breathing technique. After about an hour, a high-speed train finally arrived at the station. Fortunately, during this time, the lady seemed to be taking care of her son and didn't return to her seat. Only when they were about to disembark did she come back with a young man who looked about the same age as Sumu to retrieve their luggage. The young man looked a bit listless, reluctantly following behind the middle-aged woman. However, this reluctance disappeared instantly when he saw Zhao Meng standing next to Su Mu. Young lady, young man, this is my son Wu Peng. Isn't he talented? Why don't you exchange contact information? We'll all be in the ninth safety zone later, so we can take care of each other. The middle-aged woman spoke in a familiar manner, walking out of the high-speed rail station with Su Mu and Zhao Meng. Su Mu and Zhao Meng exchanged a helpless glance. No need to trouble yourselves. The ninth safety zone is so big, we might not even run into each other. Su Mu declined. Zhao Meng quickly added, Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's okay. Even if we don't meet, we can still be friends. After my son Peng Peng gets admitted to Qinghuan Martial Arts University, he might be able to help you. The middle-aged woman didn't catch the hint of refusal in Su Mu's and Zhao Meng's words and continued, By the way, where are you going? The staff from our tutoring center will come to pick us up by car. If it's convenient, I can ask them to give you a ride too. No need to trouble yourselves. I have someone coming to pick me up as well. Sumu waved his hand. To be honest, faced with such excessive enthusiasm from the middle-aged woman, Sumu, a high school student traveling far from home for the first time, was a bit overwhelmed. Zhao Meng seemed to feel the same way. The group walked all the way to the exit. Under the middle-aged woman's persuasion, her son Wu Peng finally managed to add Zhao Meng's contact information, albeit reluctantly, and also added Sumu's contact information. At the exit, the middle-aged woman, with sharp eyes, spotted a tall male student holding a Blue Sky Tutoring Center sign for Qinghuan Martial Arts University. Hey, that's the person who's here to pick us up. The middle-aged woman's face lit up. Then she looked at Su Mu and Zhao Meng and said, The person who's supposed to pick you up hasn't arrived yet, right? Why don't I ask them to give you a ride as well? Don't be polite. She ran over to the tall male student with her son Wu Peng. I don't know what she said, but the tall male student walked towards Su Mu and Zhao Meng. Initially, he had a serious expression, but when he saw Zhao Meng next to Su Mu, he paused for a moment and then put on a smile. Hello, I heard you're also here for the tutoring center? Which university's tutoring center is it? If it's on the way, I can give you a ride together. Thanks, but no need to trouble you. I just sent a message, and the car that's picking me up should be here soon. Zhao Meng smiled apologetically, sensing that the tall male student was talking to her. It's alright, no trouble at all. Who knows, maybe our tutoring centers are right next to each other. The tall male student laughed. At that moment, the middle-aged woman appeared with her son. Don't be polite, young lady. Instructor Lu is a very nice person. The middle-aged woman smiled and said, Instructor Lu, these young lady and young man are just a bit shy. They're both here to attend the tutoring center in the ninth safety zone. The young lady seems to be attending the Qianlong tutoring center. The middle-aged woman started to reminisce. Instructor Lu, who was standing nearby, heard the mention of Qianlong Tutoring Center and his expression changed slightly. He looked at Zhao Meng with a different expression. Qianlong Tutoring Center? That's organized by Longjing Martial Arts University students. Instructor Lu said. Longjing Martial Arts University. Both the middle-aged woman and her son Wu Pang were surprised. You see, even among top martial arts universities, there are different levels. Qinghuan Martial Arts University belongs to the third tier of top martial arts universities and is considered to be at the bottom of the list. But Longjing Martial Arts University is at the top tier, in a completely different league from Qinghuan Martial Arts University. I never expected that you, my junior, would actually be a student at the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University's Hidden Dragon Remedial class. I heard that the remedial class is extraordinary, and every year they spend a lot of money to invite outstanding camp members from the Genius Training Camp to teach there. Instructor Lu exclaimed, Genius training camp? Upon hearing this, the middle-aged woman seemed to remember something. On the other hand, her son, Wu Peng, looked puzzled. What is the genius training camp? Lu glanced at Wu Peng and explained, The genius training camp is organized by top martial arts universities. Only geniuses from various safe zones can participate. If they achieve excellent results in the camp and become outstanding camp members, 
they can directly enter top martial arts universities without taking the entrance exam. Our Qingwan Martial Arts University doesn't even have the qualification to hold a genius training camp. The chief instructor of our remedial class, Senior Chen Hao, almost entered the genius training camp of Dragon Capital Martial Arts University back then, but unfortunately, he fell short. As he spoke, instructor Lu suddenly pointed in a direction. Look, over there is the team from Dragon Capital Martial Arts University specifically welcoming the camp members of the genius training camp. They have dedicated personnel and vehicles for pickup and drop off. Just as he was speaking, the suit clad man that instructor Lu pointed at turned his gaze towards them. Then, he actually walked briskly in their direction. Seeing the group approaching, instructor Lu's face immediately changed. Oh no, we've offended them. Cold sweat broke out on instructor Lu's forehead. The several suit clad men were about to reach them. Instructor Lu hurriedly stepped forward, wearing an apologetic expression. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. But before he could finish his sentence, the suit clad man brushed past him. In the astonished gazes of Instructor Lu and Wu Peng's mother and son, the suit-clad men went straight to Su Mu's side. Su Mu, we finally found you. Please come with us, we'll take you to the camp area. Watching Su Mu's gradually disappearing figure, Instructor Lu and the others felt as if they were in disarray. Even Zhao Meng looked somewhat surprised. She knew that Su Mu had come to participate in the genius training camp, but she didn't expect that Su Mu would participate in the genius training camp of Dragon Capital Martial Arts University. It should be noted that even among the genius training camps, the difficulty level varies. As the top martial arts university among top martial arts universities, the difficulty level of Dragon Capital Martial Arts University's genius training camp is beyond comparison with ordinary genius training camps. Sumu's choice of such a genius training camp either showed that he was ignorant and arrogant or that he was confident in himself. However, no matter what, being able to participate in the genius training camp already proved Sumu's talent. If Sumu could achieve excellent results in the genius training camp of Dragon Capital Martial Arts University, it was possible that he could truly become the existence they admired. I didn't expect this young man to be so amazing. The middle-aged woman's face showed some disappointment. She had thought that her son was outstanding enough. But compared to the young man just now, the difference was too great. Her son still had to go through the trouble of attending the remedial class at Qingwan Martial Arts University. Others had already joined the genius training camp of Dragon Capital Martial Arts University. The middle-aged woman suddenly remembered that she had been boasting about how amazing her son was in the car. Now it seemed like her face was burning with pain. Wu Peng, who was beside her, felt the same way. He had been enjoying the feeling of superiority that his mother had boasted about in front of the beautiful woman. He had never even paid attention to Su Mu beside him. But he never expected that not only did the girl attend a remedial class that was better than his, but it was also the hidden dragon remedial class, which was even more difficult to get into. Even the seemingly ordinary boy had gone to a genius training camp that was far beyond his reach. In this moment, he felt like a clown. He looked resentfully in the direction Su Mu Yuan had gone. Even if he goes to the genius training camp, it doesn't necessarily mean he'll be admitted early. He might just be there to keep up with the others. His words reached instructor Lu's ears. He watched Su Mu Yuan's figure disappear and his face flushed slightly. He never expected that the ordinary boy he didn't even bother to look at would turn out to be a member of the genius training camp. He remembered how he had been scared and quickly apologized to the staff from Longjing Martial Arts University. He suddenly felt embarrassed. In order to salvage his image a little, he continued with Wu Peng's words, Indeed, only a few of the people who join the genius training camp each year can become outstanding members. Many of them are just there to keep up, and there's a small portion. Instructor Lu paused and said, there's also a small portion who go to their deaths. Upon hearing Instructor Lu's words, Wu Peng was stunned. People actually die in the genius training camp? Of course, the people in the genius training camp have to face the foreign races on the battlefield. Even for top martial arts universities like ours, facing the foreign races on the battlefield is something that happens in our second year. You haven't seen how terrifying those foreign races on the battlefield are. He seemed to recall something unpleasant, and his face turned grim. The foreign races on the battlefield are in a completely different league from the ones in the hunting grounds. He looked at Wu Peng and his mother, and his gaze unintentionally glanced at Zhao Meng beside them. He straightened his chest and said, Don't think that it's a good thing for ordinary people to join the genius training camp. The camp is filled with geniuses, and even then, there's still a certain death rate. If ordinary people go in, it's basically sending themselves to their deaths. Upon hearing instructor Lu's words, Auntie's face immediately showed relief. It's a good thing you weren't chosen for the genius training camp, Peng Peng. If something were to happen, what would I do? 
On the side, Zhao Meng, who had been listening to Instructor Lu and Wu Peng's conversation, frowned slightly. She could naturally sense the bitterness in Instructor Lu's words. However, she had to admit that what Instructor Lu said was indeed true. For ordinary people, the death rate in the genius training camp was indeed high. She looked in the direction Su Mu Yuan had left and sighed softly, I hope you'll be safe. Just as she was thinking this, a fragrant breeze entered everyone's nostrils. Mang Mang. A figure appeared in front of Zhao Mang, seemingly out of nowhere. Wu Peng and the others also turned their heads towards the source of the voice. Not only instructor Lu and Wu Peng, even Auntie couldn't help but freeze in place. The woman in front of them was wearing sunglasses. She had a small oval face, fair skin, and thin lips that were as vibrant as a rose. When she smiled, two rows of neatly aligned teeth were revealed. She wore a black leather jacket on her upper body, with a white camisole underneath, and light blue jeans on her lower body. She had an outstanding temperament and a hot figure. If Zhao Mang was still a budding flower, then the woman in front of them was a fully bloomed, vibrant rose. Yan Chi's sister. Zhao Ming's face lit up with a smile upon seeing the woman. Sorry, there was something at school, so I arrived a bit late. Are these your friends? The woman looked at Wu Ping and the others. We met on the car. You could say we're car buddies. Zhao Meng replied. Hello, everyone. The woman nodded slightly towards them. At this moment, Instructor Lu seemed to recognize the woman's identity. His face was filled with disbelief and uncertainty as he looked at her. You, your goddess Gu? Gu Yenchi glanced at Instructor Lu in surprise and smiled. It's all just rumors. Who are you? Oh, I am Lu Dali, a sophomore at Qingwan Wuda University. Goddess Gu, you may not know me, but I saw you once at the intercollegiate competition. With just one move, you defeated our senior student Chen Hao. You are truly amazing, Instructor Lu said, with a flattering tone. Gu Yenchi smiled lightly and said, Oh, it's nothing. Chen Hao is just being considerate because I'm a girl. She looked at Zhao Meng and said, If there's nothing else, shall we go? Okay, okay. Instructor Lu nodded repeatedly. Gu Yenchi also nodded at him and then left with Zhao Meng. Wu Peng, who was standing on the side, was still staring at Gu Yenchi's figure in a daze. He had thought that Zhao Meng was the most beautiful girl he had ever seen, but now he realized that he was completely wrong. Instructor Lu shook his head when he saw Wu Peng's expression and said, Stop looking. She's not for you. Goddess Gu is the dream girl of almost all male students in our top martial arts universities. Her elegance in the previous intercollegiate competition was simply stunning. I bet the people who pursue her could circle the entire ninth safety zone. Instructor Lu looked at Gu Yenchi's gradually disappearing figure and couldn't help but sigh. I wonder what kind of person is worthy of Goddess Gu. Yenchi's sister, thank you so much. If it weren't for you, I probably wouldn't have been able to join this dragon class, Zhao Meng said excitedly, looking at Gu Yenchi beside her in the car. Gu Yenchi smiled faintly, it's nothing. It's your own ability. I just helped you get in touch with senior Xiao Long from the dragon class. Unfortunately, I'll be going to the 10,000 clan battlefield in a while. Otherwise, you wouldn't have to attend that cram school. I could personally train you for a few months, Gu Yenchi said. Hearing Gu Yenchi's words, Zhao Meng worriedly said, Yenchi sister, are the foreign races on the 10,000 clan battlefield very dangerous? You must be careful. Gu Yenchi smiled and said, it's not that bad. Students from our dragon capital Wudao University, even on the 10,000 clan battlefield, are elites. They won't assign you tasks that you can't handle. She paused for a moment and continued, besides, if one day we can die in battle on the 10,000 clan battlefield, it would be the best ending for us warriors, wouldn't it? Zhao Meng lowered her head and said, but I don't want anything to happen to you, Yenchi's sister. Gu Yenchi touched Zhao Meng's head and said, don't worry, your sister Yenchi is very strong. Aha! Zhao Meng nodded, in my heart, Yenchi's sister is the most powerful. By the way, Yenchi's sister, let me tell you something. I met a boy on the high-speed train who was going to participate in the Dragon Capital Wudao University's genius training camp. Before you arrived, he was taken away by a group of people in suits from the university. Yenchi's sister, what level of ability do you need to reach to participate in the genius training camp at Dragon Capital Wudao University? Upon hearing Zhao Meng's question, Gu Yenchi said, the genius training camp. The boy you met on the train is quite impressive. To enter the genius training camp, you need to be in the top three of your high school. If your high school is not as good, you may even need to be the top student. At that point, you will have a chance to enter the genius training camp. Once you have the opportunity, you will need to choose which specific school's genius training camp to apply for. Your information will then be entered into the information database of the school you choose, and that school will screen and determine if you are qualified to participate in their genius training camp. The boy you mentioned should be a genuine genius. 
In recent years, the requirements for our school's genius training camp have become increasingly high. To enter our school's genius training camp, one must at least be at the seventh level of the martial disciple realm. The seventh level of the martial disciple realm. Zhao Meng's mouth dropped open in astonishment. Is this requirement really that high? It's only been about two months since awakening one's talent, and there are already people who have reached the seventh level of the martial disciple realm. Gu Yanshi nodded. Never underestimate others. There are indeed many who have reached the seventh level of the martial disciple realm within two months. Moreover, as far as I know, there is someone from your year who has already become a martialist in the first realm. A martialist in the first realm. Zhao Meng was too shocked to find words. She then lowered her head in disappointment. Yenshi, I feel like I don't deserve to go to Longjing Martial Arts University. Gu Yenshi comforted her, saying, Silly girl, most people can't compare to those geniuses. Besides, they are aiming for the genius training camp, which is a completely different track from yours. Don't worry too much. Meng Meng, you have to believe in yourself. With your talent, it's not very difficult to enter Longjing Martial Arts University if you work hard in the next four months. Yes, I will definitely work hard. Zhao Meng clenched her small fist. Meanwhile, on Su Mu's side, he quickly arrived at the location of the training camp with the help of a private car. The training camp was located inside Longjing Martial Arts University. On the way there, Su Mu could see the statues of the seven saints of the human race erected by Longjing Martial Arts University, as well as many tombstones of human martyrs. Longjing Martial Arts University can be said to be the largest martial arts university in the entire Dashia Empire. Dashia has invested a large amount of resources into top martial arts universities, and Longjing Martial Arts University naturally receives the most resources. Finally, after reaching the destination of this trip, Sumu got off the private car. Led by a man in a suit, Sumu arrived at a closed fortress. The fortress looked like a huge helmet from the outside, with a semicircular metal barrier and the statue of one of the seven saints of the human race, Zhou Alon, who was also the honorary principal of Longjing Martial Arts University, right in front of the main gate. Above the gate, the words Genius Training Camp were cast in a dragon and phoenix pattern. Sumu, from now on, you have to rely on yourself for the rest of the journey. Good luck to you. The man in the suit escorted Sumu to the entrance of the main gate and then turned and left. Alone, Sumu carried his backpack and arrived at the entrance of the main gate. There were rows of warriors in battle armor standing at the gate, and their imposing aura made Sumu feel a bit breathless as he passed by. Although they couldn't compare to the highest ranking secret guard Sumu had seen before, they were much stronger than Xia Ru, a martialist in the third realm. As he approached, Sumu could see that there were specialized personnel responsible for checking documents and conducting a series of extremely complex tests to prevent anyone with ulterior motives from infiltrating the genius training camp. These tests covered various aspects, even down to hair and DNA. The process was so strict that even if someone had the talent to change their appearance and bloodline, they would not be able to pass smoothly. After confirming Su Mu's identity, the personnel at the gate signaled for him to enter the genius training camp. It was at this moment that Su Mu felt the pressure from the rows of warriors at the gate completely disappear. It turned out that these warriors had already focused all their attention on Su Mu as soon as he appeared. Once there is something wrong with Su Mu, he will probably be caught by them in the first place. Just entering the genius training camp, Su Mu saw a large square. There were already many people standing on the square. Some people seemed to have formed teams of two or three. When they saw Sumu appear, a young man in a blue short-sleeved shirt walked up to Sumu with interest and said kindly, Hello, classmate. Where are you from? What's your name? Would you consider joining us? I heard that there will be an assessment as soon as you enter the training camp. If you fail the assessment, you will be kicked out of the training camp. If we team up, the chances of passing the assessment will be much higher. Hello, I am from the third safety zone, Bailan High School. My name is Sumu. Sumu politely responded, shaking hands with the friendly young man. However, after he mentioned Bailan High School, the young man's face became somewhat strange. Before he could speak, a tall young man with a tilted head behind him sneered, Bailan High School? Never heard of it? Now any high school can participate in the genius training camp. It seems that the quality of our genius training camp this year is not high, or is it that Longjing Martial Arts University has lowered its standards? Beside the tall young man, a woman with a slightly raised chin and dyed blonde hair looked Sumu up and down. In the genius training camp of Longjing Martial Arts University, most of them are geniuses from top high schools in various safety zones, and some of them even come from the same high school. Because of this, they, who are already in top high schools, inevitably feel superior to students from ordinary high schools. For Sumu, a student from an ordinary high school that they had never heard of, they seem to have a sense of arrogance. 
It's probably because he awakened some blood talent and unexpectedly reached the seventh level of martial artist. He managed to get in by luck. But when it comes to the entrance assessment, there won't be any faking it. The young man with a tilted head mocked Su Mu with a glance and then ignored him, turning away. It's not surprising that he would have such an attitude. The gap between top high schools and ordinary high schools is quite huge. Because of the difference in teaching staff, daily training, and even food, among other things, the top high schools are far superior. Sometimes, the top student in an ordinary high school can't even make it into the top 20 in a top high school. It is for this reason that there have been many cases where students who ranked around the top 10 in top high schools transferred to ordinary high schools after awakening their talents for a month. They took advantage of their overwhelming performance in ordinary high schools to enter the genius training camp that they couldn't have entered otherwise. It was a way to exploit the selection mechanism of the genius training camp. However, later on, the Great Sia Martial Alliance prohibited this and issued a ban, prohibiting students from top high schools from transferring to ordinary high schools after awakening their talents. Of course, it still makes sense for students from ordinary high schools to transfer to top high schools after awakening their talents, but it doesn't have much significance. Sumu didn't pay too much attention to the mocking words of the young man and the somewhat scrutinizing gazes from the people around him. It was like when you are exceptionally good-looking and someone says you are ugly or not good-looking, you wouldn't care at all because you know it's just because they don't understand, and you wouldn't question your own attractiveness. But if you are really ugly, at that time, when someone says you are ugly, you might feel somewhat embarrassed and angry because what they say is true. Sumu, as someone who knows death countless times and knows that the human race will perish in 10 years, has long placed himself at a very high level. Regarding the mocking words of these people, Sumu only finds them boring. It is an immature behavior to make judgments about someone you are not familiar with, and it is even more foolish to look down upon them and underestimate their abilities. After the young man finished speaking, the young man who originally came to greet Sumu silently returned to his own team. It can be seen that although he did not mock Sumu like the previous young man, he probably also felt that Su Mu's strength was not good and was not planning to invite Su Mu to join his team anymore. This is exactly what Su Mu wanted. After obtaining the ability to rewind death, Su Mu deliberately chose to travel alone, not wanting to involve too many people around him. On the one hand, Su Mu's talent for death rewind destined him to do some reckless actions at times, and having too many companions would be inconvenient. If you want to die and your companions don't know and insist on saving you, causing unnecessary sacrifices, and miraculously saving you, what's the point? On the other hand, the more people he knows, the more Sumu will try to save them at times, but in fact, some people are not worth wasting a rewind opportunity to save. Future Self has also reminded him of this in the diary. The use of Death Rewind is not to make Sumu show kindness and save everyone. In the battle with the Wan clan, death is inevitable, and the sacrifice of some people is necessary. Sumu has long been adapting to this. Sumu wants to save the entire human race, his family, and friends, the people he cares about, not those irrelevant and worthless people. If he saves them one by one, Sumu himself would probably be the first to be exhausted. Sumu is not a cold-hearted person, if he can save them easily, he naturally won't stand by. But he is not a saint who must save everyone. If the overall development of the situation already meets Sumu's expectations and only a few unimportant people die, Sumu will not rewind death again because of those few people. While others were observing Sumu, Sumu's gaze also fell on the people in the square. As his gaze swept over, their information appeared one by one in front of him. Name, unknown, blood and chi value, 90. 57, ninth level martial disciple, body refining technique, heavenly wind body refining technique, breathing technique, wine breath art, talent, B-level, wine manipulation, name, unknown, blood and chi value, 78. 57, seventh level martial disciple, body refining technique, mad bear body refining technique, breathing technique, earth breath art, talent, A level, earth power, name, unknown, blood and chi value, 88. 57, eighth level martial disciple, body refining technique, pure yang body refining technique, breathing technique, sun breath art, talent, to be analyzed, it has to be said that these are the people selected for the genius training camp. Sumu glanced roughly. Among this group of people, the lowest blood and chi value is at the seventh level of martial disciple. The highest even has the existence of a one realm warrior. Each of them has practiced body refining techniques and breathing techniques, which are quite good. As for talents, the lowest is B-level, and as for the high ones, Sumu's true vision I cannot see them. At least it is an S-level. Although this group of people is a bit arrogant, they do have the strength to be arrogant. With this kind of talent, they would definitely be among the top in any high school in a safe zone. Sumu placed his backpack on the side of the square, where everyone put their backpacks, 
and found a corner to start practicing visualization and breathing techniques. The people on the square began to whisper and discuss. Hey, let me tell you guys, my uncle also participated in the quota review this time. I heard that the top combat power of our talented training camp this time is the highest ever in history. Not to mention the ninefold martial artists, even the first level martial artists, there are three of them. Three? Is it true or not? It's only been about two months, and there are already people stepping into the first level martial artist? That's insane. Of course, I don't know about the other two, but I know one of them is the little princess of the G family. The little princess of the G family? No wonder. If it's from the G family, then it makes sense. Sometimes, people really make others feel frustrated. Back in our place, I hardly have any opponents. But here, my confidence has been completely shattered. Fortunately, there's that guy from Bylon High School at the bottom. Ha ha ha, true. Now that you mention it, I think that kid from Bylon High School is pretty good. While everyone was chatting, several figures appeared on the square without anyone noticing. Is everyone here? An old man with white hair looked at a middle-aged man beside him. Except for the little princess of the G family, everyone else is here. The middle-aged man slightly bowed. For the little princess of the G family, I heard from the G family that she will be personally escorted to the assessment location by them. I see. The old man was not surprised by this information. Well, the people are all here, let's begin. There are still too many people in the training camp, we need to eliminate some. The old man finished speaking and took a step forward. In the next moment, he suddenly disappeared from the square. After hearing the old man's words, the middle-aged man did not hesitate. He also flashed and appeared in the center of the square. His gaze swept over the people present. Then he coldly shouted, Everyone, gather. His voice was not loud, but it clearly reached the ears of everyone present. Sumu, who was still practicing visualization, was also interrupted by this voice. He looked in the direction of the middle-aged man. The information about the middle-aged man immediately appeared in front of him. Name, unknown, chi and blood value, 43. 92 million, mid-level 6 realm martial artist, body refining technique, 9 apertures body refining technique, breathing technique, full body chi circulation, talent, to be analyzed, mid-level 6 realm martial artist. This level of strength, apart from the highest secret guards that Sumu saw when he became a level 9 researcher, seemed to be the highest. As for the human trader, Sumu couldn't even see his panel, so he didn't include him. It can only be said that the teachers of Longjing Martial Arts University are worthy. In general martial arts universities, with this level of strength, they could probably become the principal. Sumu stood in a few rows with the crowd. After seeing that everyone was in position, the middle-aged man slowly said, I believe many of you already know that before entering the camp this time, everyone must go through an entrance assessment. Only after passing the entrance assessment can you officially become a member of the talented training camp. Are you ready? We're ready. When the middle-aged man mentioned the assessment, everyone's hearts were filled with joy. Good. You have 10 minutes. The middle-aged man crossed his arms. You can go to the entrance of the training camp and store your luggage. After 10 minutes, gather here. I will distribute the assessment wristbands and weapons to you. Now, let's get moving. As soon as the middle-aged man finished speaking, the camp members in front of him began to move quickly. 10 minutes later, everyone returned to their original positions. Several middle-aged people in suits appeared next to the middle-aged man and began registering and distributing wristband weapons to everyone. At the same time, the middle-aged man began introducing the content of this training camp assessment. Next, I will take you to an exclusive assessment location opened by our genius training camp. Inside, there are the aliens we recently captured from the 10,000 races battlefield. The wristbands distributed to you have only one function, which is to automatically record your points when you kill aliens. The more aliens you kill, the stronger your strength, and the more points you will earn. The top 10 scorers will be displayed on the projection screen in the sky. Here's a reminder, the wristbands cannot protect your safety. The only thing that can protect you is the weapon in your hand. If you can't handle the aliens in front of you, the best way is to escape. If you can't estimate the gap between yourself and the enemy, even if you die, it will be in vain. Don't expect anyone to come and save you. The middle-aged man's words made the people below slightly stunned. No one will come to save them, and they are facing aliens from the 10,000 races battlefield. Although they had known that the genius training camp had a certain death rate, no one expected death to come so soon. For a moment, the originally excited crowd suddenly became calm. All right, now those called by name, come forward to receive your wristbands and choose your weapons. Sumu quickly selected his own long sword. The weapons issued by the Dragon Jing Martial Arts University were not bad. They at least met the standards of D-grade weapons. 
It was much better than the sword he used at the Lihua Martial Arts Hall before. Touching the long sword in his hand, Sumu let out a sigh. Although he had the talent of sword insight, he still hadn't found a long sword that suited him. Finding a suitable long sword was not a simple task. However, even an ordinary long sword would do. Every time he held a long sword in his hand, Sumu felt a surge of power stirring in his heart. Soon, everyone picked up their wristbands and weapons. The middle-aged man didn't waste any more words. He waved his hand, and a bus drove into the training camp. A group of genius camp members had their eyes covered and were taken onto the bus. The rumbling sound of the bus echoed in Sumu's ears. With his super senses, Sumu could clearly feel every route the bus took. In his perception, when the bus had been driving for about two hours from the school, it finally stopped. Sumu got off the bus with the rest of the camp members. When he opened his eyes, Sumu saw a huge forest. It was truly impressive that Dragon Jing Martial Arts University could open such a large forest as an exclusive assessment site within the Ninth Safety Zone. Sumu could sense that this place was still within the Ninth Safety Zone. During the journey, the bus stopped several times and dropped off groups of people each time. Due to sitting towards the back, Sumu and a few others were the last to be dropped off. After Sumu and his group were dropped off, the middle-aged man left on the bus. It was at this moment that Sumu noticed a huge screen suddenly projecting in the sky. Points ranking. First place, none. Second place, none. Tenth place, none. Everyone, the assessment has begun. Hold tightly onto your weapons and protect yourselves. An old voice echoed in everyone's ears. At the same time, Sumu could clearly hear a roar not far from where they were through his enhanced senses. Sumu furrowed his brows slightly and temporarily shielded his enhanced senses. At the same time Sumu and the others were released, in a certain part of the forest, a girl with a frosty face and an aura like an iceberg slowly walked into the forest. Xinghan, from now on, you will have to rely on yourself. Dad has only one request, protect yourself. Okay. Indeed, the difference between the aliens on the battlefield of the 10,000 races and the aliens in the alien hunting ground is too great. And they said no one would save you, but when you were really about to die, someone actually came to save you, really. At this moment, Sumu walked in the forest. There were already traces of blood on his body. In the past moments, Sumu tried two things. One was to experience the difference between the aliens on the battlefield of the 10,000 races and the aliens in the alien hunting ground. Secondly, he wanted to see if he could be killed by those aliens in this assessment and gain some talents. The results of the attempts left Sumu speechless. First of all, it could be confirmed that the aliens on the battlefield of the 10,000 races were indeed much stronger than the aliens Sumu had encountered in the alien hunting ground before. Even a martial master at the ninth stage of the martial path could use the terrain to dodge Sumu's attacks, hide their own figure, and attempt to deliver a fatal blow to Sumu. If it weren't for Sumu's enhanced senses, he would have really fallen into the hands of that alien. According to Sumu's observation, the biggest difference between the aliens on the battlefield of the 10,000 races and the aliens in the alien hunting ground was that the former had higher intelligence, more understanding of the human race, and would respond accordingly based on the behavior of the human race. This result was not much different from what Sumu had guessed. What really made Sumu speechless was that when he was on the training camp square just now, he thought it was really as the middle-aged man said, that no one would care if you encountered danger in this assessment area. But when he deliberately wanted to die at the hands of an alien, someone immediately came to save him. When he woke up, he found himself in the hospital, and his qualification for the genius training camp was directly revoked. If it weren't for his ability to rewind time after death, he would have really been tricked by that middle-aged man. However, Sumu thought carefully and felt that it was normal. If the assessment site of the genius training camp was on the battlefield of the 10,000 races, it might really be impossible to rescue them. But since the Genius Training Camp specifically set up an assessment site in the Ninth Safe Zone and put some aliens captured from the battlefield of the 10,000 races inside, the purpose was naturally to assess these camp members while ensuring their safety. For Sumu and the other camp members, they had not officially joined the Genius Training Camp yet. Naturally, they had not yet faced the threat of death. The reason why the middle-aged man said this was probably just to make everyone alert. After figuring out this answer, Sumu directly rewound to the present time. For ordinary people, it is a good thing when someone comes to save you in danger. At least even if they are eliminated, their lives are still saved. But for Sumu, this is not good news. With the increasing number of times he rewound after death, Sumu has slowly become accustomed to death, and even started actively seeking death in order to obtain more talents and information. Faced with an assessment where he won't die, all Sumu can do is try to kill more aliens and perform better. Intuition told him that this entrance assessment not only determined whether he could officially enter the genius training camp, 
but also had a certain impact on whether he could become an outstanding camper in the future. Su Mu was determined to become an outstanding camper. If he could become an outstanding camper, Su Mu would be able to enter the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University ahead of time and also learn the contents of the diary earlier. In that case, I can only do my best. Su Mu narrowed his eyes. In the next moment, a map of the surrounding 100 meters seemed to quickly appear in his mind. Information about different races appeared before him. Race, Silverback Wolf Tribe, Blood Chi Value, 135, Early Stage Martial Artist, Talent, Grade A, Moonlight Silver Thorn, Habit, Lives in the Battlefield of the 10,000 Tribes. Weakness, Waste. Race, Azure Bull Python Tribe, Blood Chi Value, 235, Early Stage Martial Artist, Talent, Grade A, Giant Coiling, Habit, Lives in the Battlefield of the 10,000 Tribes. Weakness, 7 Inches. Race, Crimson Flame Lion Tribe, Blood Chi Value, 286, Early Stage Martial Artist, Talent, To Be Analyzed, Habit, Lives in the Battlefield of the 10,000 Tribes. Weakness, Eyes. A Silverback Wolf can be encountered by walking about 25 meters in the 12 o'clock direction. An Azure Bull Python can be encountered by walking about 78 meters in the 7 o'clock direction. A Crimson Flame Lion can be encountered by walking about 85 meters in the 3 o'clock direction. The directions of each race were marked in Su Mu's mind on that map. With the help of his super-sensitive five senses and the deep blue, Su Mu's surroundings within a hundred meters were completely restored. Then, let the slaughter begin. Su Mu's figure quickly disappeared into the forest. At the same time, the rankings in the sky were also changing rapidly. First place, Ji Ching Han, 20 points. Second place, Fang Chiu Chiu, 18 points. Third place, none. Tenth place, none. Note, the minimum score to make the list is 10 points. Oh my god, are these two people monsters? They killed the aliens so quickly. I can't even defeat an alien weaker than me by several small realms. Exactly. Oh my god, it's only been a short time, less than half an hour. And killing a martial apprentice at the seventh level only gives zero. One points. How did the top two get so many points? I can't believe it. When a group of people took a break and occasionally looked up at the screen in the sky, they felt a strong sense of despair. They worked so hard to kill a martial apprentice at the seventh level, but only got zero. One points. But when they looked up, others already had 18 or 20 points. This was simply overwhelming. It must be the second of those three martial artists, right? I guess only by killing a martial apprentice at the ninth level can you get so many points? Only those three martial artists at the early stage martial artist level can kill a martial apprentice at the ninth level in such a short time, right? Is that so? Besides the little princess of the G family, there is another martial artist who reached that level, and his name is Fong Chiu Chiu. Well, I can only say that appearances can be deceiving, and his name is ordinary, but his strength is extraordinary. Wait, there should be one more martial artist, right? I wonder who it is. He's here, he's here, the third place, oh no. Not the third place, Fang Chiu Chiu dropped to third place. It's not just Fang Chiu Chiu, even the little princess of the G family dropped to second place. Who is the third martial artist? Actually suppressed the little princess of the G family. Everyone looked towards the first place. They saw that the first place on the leaderboard was written with a few words. First place, Sumu, 325 points. 325 points, my god, and in such a short time. This is the strength of the third warrior. I thought the little princess of the G family was already amazing, but now it seems that she is crushing us, and that Sumu, the third warrior, is crushing the little princess of the G family. Who is this Sumu? Have you heard of him? Which high school is he from? Why haven't I heard of this name before? It's terrifying, I suspect that Sumu is cheating. After Sumu's name appeared at the top of the leaderboard, it immediately caused a discussion among the talented training camp members. It was because Sumu's results were too shocking. In just over half an hour, even the famous little princess of the G family only had 20 points, while he had over 300 points, the difference was too great. It wasn't just a few people who were surprised. In a certain part of the forest, a young man wearing a blue short-sleeved shirt had just teamed up with his companions to kill a ninth-level martial artist from a different race. After their meager points were divided among them, each person only got a few points. Even so, it consumed most of their energy. They were all panting heavily. The different races on this battlefield are really different from the ones in the different race hunting grounds. They are so clever and even ambushed us. That's right, it was just a ninth-level martial artist from a different race, and we had to join forces to barely kill it. I don't know what we would do if we encountered a martial artist level different race. What should we do? We can only stick together, but unfortunately, there are no big shots in our team. I just took a look. The first place is the G family's young miss, 
She hasn't appeared from beginning to end, the second place is a guy named Fong Chiochio, he should be one of those three warriors. We can't compete for the G family's young miss, but I don't know which one Fong Chiochio is. It would be great if I could get him into our team. Who knows, but they said there are three martial artist level individuals in our batch. The G family's young miss and that Fong Chiochio have already made it onto the leaderboard, but where is the other one? Could it be a useless person, having the bloodline of a martial artist level but not the strength of a martial artist level? You're thinking too much. Even the worst martial artist level person is not someone we ninth level martial artists can provoke. Martial artist level individuals can learn martial arts. Oh, the leaderboard has changed. Fan Chiochio is now in third place. What the hell? The G family's young miss is now in second place. First place. Su Mu. Who is Su Mu? Is he the third martial artist level person? Damn, over 300 points, this guy must be cheating. He's directly crushing all of us. The young man in the blue short sleeved shirt, who was resting on a tree nearby, heard the name called out by his companion. He was momentarily stunned. Then, he couldn't believe his ears. What was the name of that first place you just mentioned? Su Mu. Why does this name feel familiar? A hint of unease flashed across the young man's face as he looked up at the leaderboard projected in the sky. Then, he revealed a bitter smile. Do you remember when I went to recruit someone and found out that he was from a high school whose name I hadn't heard before, so I gave up on him? He's called Su Mu. The words of the young man in the blue short-sleeved shirt made the people next to him freeze in place. Su Mu? The young man frowned slightly when he saw that name. What's wrong, Xiao Chiu Chiu? Beside him, a golden-haired woman followed his gaze. When she saw that the person ranked first on the leaderboard had over 300 points, her expression changed. This guy is a monster. But why does this name feel somewhat familiar? Ah, I remember now, isn't he from that trash high school? The golden-haired woman covered her mouth, seemingly unable to believe that a camper from a trash high school not only was one of the three one realm martial artists, but also had completely crushed the little princess of the G family and reached the top of the leaderboard in less than half an hour. The young man beside her snorted coldly, I told you not to call me by that name. That guy just got lucky, probably stumbled upon some trick to earn points. Obviously, the young man named Chocho did not acknowledge that Su Mu had a strength surpassing his own. Let's go, there's a one realm martial artist level steel fong pig up ahead. At the same time, in a corner of the forest, a tall girl tightly coiled a long whip around a silver-backed wolf not far away. She wore a light blue robe that didn't seem as light and fragile as it appeared, but instead occasionally shimmered with golden light in the sunlight. If one observed carefully, they would notice that the surface of the robe was embroidered with light golden threads, densely connected together providing decent defense for the seemingly ordinary robe. However, even with this special material robe, the girl still seemed somewhat disheveled. She brushed her loose hair in front of her forehead to the side of her ear. Her icy gaze fell on the silver-backed wolf that was gradually ceasing to struggle not far away. Indeed, it's much stronger and smarter than the other races I usually encounter. She retracted the whip. The girl looked at the bracelet in her hand. 108 points, it seems that the one realm martial artist level of the other races is divided into more detailed points based on strength. She looked up at the leaderboard projected in the sky. With over a hundred points, she should be able to firmly hold the first place on the leaderboard, right? With her identity, it would be effortless for her to enter the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University. Just her surname, G, would be enough for the university to recruit her in advance. However, she didn't like this approach, just like she didn't like some of the aunts and sisters around her who would protect her even if she got hurt, simply because she shared the same surname. She wanted to rely on herself. She wanted to see if she was truly worthless without her surname. This time, she came to the genius training camp for the sake of being first. But when her gaze fell on the leaderboard, she felt as if she had been slapped in the face. First place, Sumu, 325 points. Sumu, Ji Qinghan's pupils contracted. This Sumu, is he the genius from Bailon High School? Not bad at all. He actually managed to surpass the little princess of the G family with overwhelming force. At this moment, in a room, a group of people stood in front of a wall full of screens. The leader was an old man with white hair, and standing beside him was the middle-aged man who had just announced the rules to Su Mu and the others. Bring up his video. The old man nodded in satisfaction. With his command, the screens on the wall in front of them immediately started playing Su Mu's battle footage. The middle-aged man beside him spoke at this moment. At first, before he entered the camp, we thought that his awakened talent was the ability to quickly improve his chi and blood, but now it seems that our judgment was wrong. He has a strong talent in swordsmanship. The old man glanced at Su Mu on the screen and said lightly, he reminds me of the younger generation of the Song family. 
At his age, he is similar to him. The old man narrowed his eyes and paused for a moment before uttering two words, sword intent. Sword intent. The middle-aged man next to him was shocked to hear the two words uttered by the old man. Are you saying that he has already comprehended sword intent? Not just sword intent, the old man said, his swordsmanship and body movement, even with my eyesight, I can't tell where they come from. I think there is a great possibility that he created them himself. Created them himself. How long has he awakened his talent? How old is he? The middle-aged man looked incredulous. The old man looked at Su Mu on the screen, pondered for a while, and said, put him ahead of Ji Ching Hun. Upon hearing the old man's words, the middle-aged man was also stunned. Originally, the first place in their genius training camp was Ji Ching Hun, almost without any dispute. And Ji Ching Hun's talent destined her to be unbeatable no matter who came. But now, the old man actually said that Su Mu should be ranked above Ji Ching Hun. This immediately made the middle-aged man extremely puzzled. At the same time, he became extremely curious about Su Mu. Do you really think highly of this kid, Su Mu? The middle-aged man couldn't help but ask. Hmm. I hope I didn't make a mistake, the old man replied. Gurgle, gurgle. Su Mu drank the water in his cup in one gulp. The long battle had made him feel a bit tired. He leaned against a big tree and let his hand hang down. The bracelet on his hand displayed a long string of numbers 8,259. Over 8,000 points. Such a score was simply terrifying. Ji Ching Han, who was in second place, had just over a thousand points. The difference between her and Su Mu was nearly tenfold. I wonder when this assessment will end, Su Mu sighed as he looked at his name at the top of the rankings in the sky. Just as he sighed, a sudden burst of noise erupted around him. Assessment over. Everyone, gather at the location where the beam is projected within five minutes. The voice of the middle-aged man echoed throughout the forest. At the same time, a beam of light suddenly descended in a certain area of the forest. The massive beam was like a giant pillar of light. No matter from which angle in the forest, the beam could be clearly seen. Finally, it's over, Sumu breathed a sigh of relief. In the next moment, he quickly rushed towards the direction of the beam. When Sumu arrived at the location of the beam, there were already many people gathered there. They were discussing their scores and rankings, wondering if they would be eliminated or not. However, when Sumu appeared in everyone's sight, all the discussion stopped. All eyes turned to Sumu. This scene reminded Su Mu of when he first entered the genius training camp. But compared to the last time, there were clearly more people looking at him this time. So he's Su Mu, ha. Huh? Don't underestimate him just because he came from a high school we've never heard of. His strength is not to be underestimated. I never expected this. I thought we were all competing for second place, and G family's little princess should have been the definite first, but I never expected that such a dark horse would emerge. Not only did he surpass G family's little princess, but also so many others. It's so terrifying. He looks harmless, but why can he kill so many different races? Look, his clothes are stained red, probably with the blood of those different races, right? The discussion of the crowd reached Su Mu's ears, making him somewhat helpless. He looked at his clothes. Indeed, his original clothes were now dyed red with blood. He looked like he had emerged from a pool of blood. The people discussing, just like last time, didn't come near Su Mu. Last time, they probably thought Su Mu, a student from a trashy high school, wasn't worthy of being with them. But this time, they probably felt unworthy of being with Su Mu, a killing star. Su Mu didn't mind. He stood aside on his own. However, while he was moving, he also noticed two pairs of eyes that had been staring in his direction. He looked towards the gaze and found that the owner of the gaze was actually a beautiful and cold-looking girl. The girl was wearing a light blue robe, with delicate features, but exuded an aura that kept people at a distance. Just being stared at by her made Su Mu feel like the surrounding air had dropped a few degrees. He furrowed his brows. The girl's information interface also appeared in front of Su Mu. Name, Ji Ching Han, Life Force, 253. 58, Early Stage Martial Warrior, Body Refining Technique, Xian Yuan Body Refining Technique, Breathing Technique, Xian Yuan Internal Breathing Technique, Talent, Unable to View, Apparently, Because Her Features Were Too Prominent, Deep Blue Directly Guessed the Girl's Identity. Obviously, this girl was the little princess of the Ji family, Ji Ching Han. Deep Blue's speculation was similar to Su Mu's guess. What surprised Su Mu was the talent section of Ji Ching Han. Previously, most people could be analyzed, and after being observed by Deep Blue for a while, their talents could gradually be analyzed by Deep Blue. But now, this Ji Ching Han was unable to be viewed. This undoubtedly revealed two pieces of information to Su Mu. First, Deep Blue was probably aware of Ji Ching Han's talent. Second, Ji Ching Han's talent might be important to the extent that his future self had set some restrictions on Deep Blue, preventing Su Mu from knowing Ji Ching Han's talent. 
Yes, only his future self, who could transform the Book of Wisdom into deep blue, could make it display as unable to view. Although he was curious about Ji Qinghan's talent, Sumu already had his own way of dealing with his future self's actions. He suppressed his curiosity. The people under the pillar seemed to have gathered. Just at this moment, Sumu suddenly heard a loud shout. Sumu, I challenge you. The loud voice immediately attracted the attention of everyone present. Everyone turned to look at the speaker. It was the young man who had mocked Su Mu as a trashy high school student before. The young man's eyes were bloodshot, and he looked somewhat exhausted. His clothes had long been soaked in blood, and the weapon in his hand seemed to have become slightly dull from repeated hacking. Who is he? Why does he want to challenge Su Mu right away? Don't you know? He is, hey, come closer, I'll whisper it to you, don't let him hear, he is Fong Chiu Chiu. Fong, Fong Chiu Chiu? Ha, huh, I thought Fong Chiu Chiu was a fat guy, but I didn't expect. I didn't expect. Ha, ah, this name is so strange on him, isn't it? Keep your voice down. He hates it when people call him that. The reason I know his name is because I heard before that anyone who called him by his name in high school was beaten up by him. The worst one was said to have been bedridden for more than three months. Oh my, let's keep our voices down. At this moment, Fang Chiu-Chiu's information also appeared in front of Su Mu's eyes. Name, Fang Chiu-Chiu, Blood and Qi Value, 189. 56, Early Stage Martial Warrior, Body Refining Technique. Clear wind body refining technique, breathing technique, clear wind breath art, talent, to be analyzed, obviously, among the three early stage martial warriors, Fang Chiu was undoubtedly the weakest. However, he had a lot of courage. And he seemed quite reckless. Sumu, I don't believe you can kill so many members of the alien race in such a short time. I refuse to accept it. If you're a man, fight me fair and square, otherwise I won't acknowledge your achievements. Fang Chiu stared at Sumu intently. He could accept that the little princess of the Ji family was ranked ahead of him. After all, she had the Ji family as her backing. But he, who had always been superior to his peers, who came from the top high school in the 8th safe zone, couldn't accept a student from a trashy high school that he looked down upon, surpassing him. Actually, he knew deep down that Sumu might indeed have some strength. But he just couldn't swallow his pride. He just couldn't accept Sumu. That's why he publicly challenged Sumu. Chiochio, what are you doing? The blonde woman next to him frowned when she saw Fang Chiu openly challenging Su Mu. Although she didn't think highly of Su Mu, who came from a trashy ordinary high school at first, he had already proven his strength in the previous assessment. She wasn't as reckless and brainless as Fang Chiu She had her own pride, but she could still accept the fact that someone else was stronger than her, even if their background might not be as good as hers. Mind your own business. Fang Chiu coldly glanced at the blonde woman. Then he looked at Su Mu again. Seeing Fang Chiu seeming a bit anxious, Su Mu could only smile helplessly. Compared to his maturity and composure, these kids were still too young after all. He was about to speak, but a voice interrupted him. I witnessed his achievements from start to finish, and I personally verified their authenticity. Whether you acknowledge it or not, he is still the first. The one speaking was the middle-aged man who had brought them here earlier. The middle-aged man coldly swept his gaze over Fang Chiu and finally landed on the others. If you want to fight privately, you'll have plenty of time after you enter the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University in the future. But for now, stand in line. The middle-aged man's voice made the remaining members of the Genius Training Camp shiver, and they quickly stood in line as the middle-aged man requested. When everyone was in position, it became clear that there were originally about a hundred members in the Genius Training Camp. Now, there were only about fifty or sixty left. About half of them were missing. Many people looked at the empty spots in the lineup with lingering fear speculating whether they had already died at the hands of the aliens. Only Sumu knew that most of these people had probably been rescued and kicked out of the training camp. Based on his experience, there probably wouldn't be any casualties in this entry assessment. Alright, everyone's performance was very good. Congratulations, you have successfully joined our Dragon Capital Martial Arts University's genius training camp. The middle-aged man's tone softened, which was rare. Let me introduce myself. My surname is Ding, and for the next two months, I will be your instructor. You can call me Instructor Ding, but I prefer the nickname given to me by some of your predecessors, Ding Yen Wang. Instructor Ding's gaze swept over the people present. The people who were scanned by his gaze couldn't help but shiver. I won't say much unnecessary words. What I can tell you is that the alien races you are facing now are just appetizers. Even if they come from the battlefield of the 10,000 races, they are still different from the true alien races on the battlefield but don't be too curious. After entering the training camp, you will have plenty of time to face and experience the terror of these alien races from the 10,000 races. Instructor Ding said, waving his hand towards them. 
On the side, a bus was slowly approaching them. All right, you can go back and rest for today. The content of the genius training camp will officially begin tomorrow, he said as he walked towards the bus. The bus stopped in front of Instructor Ding. The door just opened. It was at this moment that a beam of light hit the bus with a bang. Boom! The bus suddenly exploded. Instructor Ding, who was closest to the explosion, was thrown out by the powerful blast. Pying! Instructor Ding! The explosion was dazzling, but many people still saw the scene of Instructor Ding being blown away. Several people exclaimed in shock. They ran towards the direction where Instructor Ding fell. But just as they took a few steps, they noticed several figures appearing around them. These figures were dressed in black clothes and wore various masks that looked somewhat ferocious. Just as everyone was trying to figure out what was happening, they saw in the distance that Instructor Ding, who had been blown away, had just gotten up. His chest was suddenly pierced by a battle blade. Instructor Ding. Poochie. Instructor Ding suddenly spat out a mouthful of blood. Already blasted once, he was now subjected to such a surprise attack. Instantly, his face turned extremely pale. His blood-stained face was covered in black ashes. Bye, bye heresy. How, how could you? Run. Run for your lives. Go, go seek help. It seemed like he had used up his last bit of strength. Instructor Ding shouted loudly. Poochie. The battle blade was pulled out of his body. Instructor Ding's body collapsed with a loud crash. The person who killed Instructor Ding leisurely wiped the blood off the battle blade. Then, he looked at Su Mu and the others who were surrounded. TSK TSK TSK, so many good talents. If they all die, I guess De Xiao will be heartbroken, right? Everyone looked towards the person who spoke. That person, like the people surrounding them, was dressed in black clothes, but his figure was obviously much taller, and he also wore a ferocious demon mask on his face. Has the heresy infiltrated to this extent? Sumu frowned as he looked at the people in black clothes around him. You should know that this is the ninth safe zone. In theory, it should be the safest place in all of Dixia. But now, in the place where their genius training camp was conducting assessment training, a group of heretics appeared. They even killed their training camp instructor right in front of them. This was not good news for the entire Dixia, or even the entire human race. Sumu had considered that the infiltration of the human race might be very serious, but he didn't expect it to be this bad. The figure he encountered when he became a level 9 researcher, and now these heretics appearing in front of him. Sumu frowned. He suddenly understood why the human race would be extinct 10 years later. Just as Sumu was contemplating, the group of heretics surrounding him and the others had already surrounded them. Although these foreign worshippers only appear to be a dozen or so people, each one exudes a powerful aura, especially the leader. Su Mu's gaze fell on the tall and strong man leading the group. Name, unknown, blood energy value, 236,436,000, early stage of the Seven Realms martial artist, body refining technique, profound heaven body refining technique, breathing technique, profound heart profound mystery, talent, to be analyzed, a Seven Realms martial artist. Su Mu could only feel a headache after sensing the strength of the strong man. It was no surprise that this wave of death rollback was inevitable. However, what Su Mu needed to consider was how to prevent this outcome from happening. Should he report to the instructor in advance? That was not very realistic. If only he had some kind of identity. Currently, he was just a camper with slightly better talent. Even if he told someone about this, there was a high probability that they wouldn't believe him. Moreover, judging from their posture, it was obvious that they had already figured out their actions, and it was even possible that they had people inside the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University. In this case, even if Sumu informed the instructor and the higher-ups of the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University in advance, persuading them to change the assessment location, there was a good chance that this group of people would still appear at the new location. While Sumu was contemplating how to maximize the effect of the death rollback, the leader of the foreign worshippers spoke. I didn't expect there would be a little princess from the G family. TSK, if you die here, the entire G family would probably go crazy, right? Hearing the words of the foreign worshipper, Ji Qinghan's face turned cold. In her hand, she had unknowingly clenched a deep blue whip. Her gaze was fixed on the leader of the foreign worshippers. The remaining members of the genius training camp gathered together, huddling up. They nervously looked at the foreign worshippers around them. Some people were even so scared that they were on the verge of tears. I, I don't want to die. Mom, help. Is there anyone who can save us? What should we do? What should we do? I just wanted to mix in the genius training camp and get some extra points for the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University. I don't want to die here. Many people with weak mental endurance couldn't help but burst into tears. Shut up. Fang Chiochio snorted coldly. 
His bloodshot eyes coldly stared at the few people crying and shouting beside him. Then he looked at the leader of the foreign worshippers. What's so great about bullying the weak with numbers? If you have the ability, come and fight me one on one. Fang Chocho pointed his big knife directly at the leader of the foreign worshippers. On the side, Sumu couldn't help but sigh and rub his forehead. Originally, he had to admit that this Fang Chocho was really daring enough to challenge anyone. It was fine when he challenged him earlier, after all, they were all at the same level. But now, he actually went to challenge the leader of the foreign worshippers who had killed Instructor Ding. Wasn't this guy's mind too simple and his limbs too developed? Originally, Sumu thought that this guy was mocking him for being from a trashy high school and later challenging his achievements, which made him quite unhappy. But now it seemed. Well, there was no need to argue with someone who had a bubble in their head, right? Ha ha ha, there's actually someone with backbone. But their brain is a bit lacking. The leader laughed heartily, then his gaze fell on Fong Chou Chou. In the next moment, a tremendous pressure seemed to follow his gaze and press towards Fong Chou Chou. The surrounding members of the training camp also felt as if they were being suppressed by some force. Sumu was not far from Fong Chou Chou. Naturally, he also felt the terrifying pressure. So this was the strength of a Seven Realms martial artist. Sumu felt that even his breathing was becoming difficult. Before, when he was a ninth level researcher, he didn't know if it was because the gap between that traitor of the human race and the highest secret guard was too big, or if Sumu's strength was just too weak. As a result, Sumu didn't even have the chance to truly experience the strength of that traitor of the human race. But now, the strength of this leader of the foreign religion has made him truly feel the gap between himself and some real strong individuals. Put. Veins bulged on Fang Chocho's temple. He struggled to resist, but the immense pressure made him unable to help but spit out a mouthful of blood. Then, with a thud, he fell to his knees on the ground. Bastard. Fang Chocho gritted his teeth and growled. But in the end, he couldn't bear it and was pressed down on the ground. Cho Chio. The blonde woman beside him saw Fang Cho Chio being pressed down and immediately rushed to his side in anxiety. Let go of my little brother. But before she could reach Fang Cho Chio, she was suddenly pressed down by that force. Put. The blonde woman also spat out a mouthful of blood. Bastard. What kind of skill is it to bully a woman? Fang Cho Chio shouted angrily while being pressed down on the ground. Then he looked at the woman beside him again and said, Get away. I don't want you to interfere. It's really deep sibling affection, TSK TSK TSK, so touching, the leader said with an expression as if he was truly moved. Then, he shifted his gaze to the remaining people. Speaking of which, seeing all of you, I suddenly feel that killing you all like this would be too boring. He swept his gaze over the remaining people. How about this, kneel down and beg me, beg me to spare you. If I'm in a good mood, I might show mercy and let you join our foreign religion. Of course, you can also choose to challenge me like him. As he spoke, he raised his hand, and the next moment, he grabbed Fang Chiu Chiu directly and swiftly flew towards him. Finally, he grabbed Fang Chiu Chiu by the neck, rendering him unable to move. Let go of me. Fang Chiu Chiu's face turned red. All right. The leader forcefully threw Fang Chiu Chiu to the side. Pying. The tremendous impact caused Fang Chiu Chiu to plow a long trench on the ground, only stopping after breaking several thick trees. Life or death unknown. All right. Now let's start choosing, shall we? Kneel down and beg me. These five words echoed in everyone's ears. However, for the moment, no one made a decision. It seemed that the leader also noticed their hesitation. He reached out his hand towards one of the camp members. It seems like you need some stimulation before you can make a choice. The leader said meaningfully. The next moment, just like Fang Chiu Chiu earlier, that camp member was grabbed by the leader. Do you want to see fireworks? The leader's gaze turned to the surrounding members of the foreign religion. Yes. The surrounding members of the foreign religion shouted loudly. Pying. The next moment, the head of the captured camp member exploded violently. Blood splattered like fireworks. The leader's menacing mask was instantly stained with a streak of blood. The bloody scene made the remaining camp members feel dizzy in their heads. They had seen blood before. After all, they were all geniuses from the top high schools of various safe zones, and they had undoubtedly entered the hunting grounds of the foreign races and killed them. They had just finished hunting the foreign races. However, the comrade who was standing beside them just a second ago suddenly died in front of them in a gruesome manner. For these 18-year-old young people, witnessing such a bloody scene was still somewhat difficult to accept. However, it was clear that the leader's actions had an immediate effect. Among the remaining 50 to 60 people, several immediately fell to their knees with a thud. Please, please spare me. Please, I beg you. I, I, I want to join the cult. Just spare me. I really don't want to die. Please spare me. I... I don't want to die either. Looking at the kneeling people, the leader smiled with satisfaction. 
Then he looked at the cultists beside him and said, Tie them up and throw them aside. Take them back to headquarters and train them well. They will surely become outstanding warriors in the future. Soon, the kneeling people were tied up and thrown aside. The leader continued to gaze at the remaining people. Is there anyone else who wants to beg for mercy? We, the cult, value talents. My patience is limited. Upon hearing the leader's words, several more people immediately knelt down. In a short while, out of the original 50 or 60 people, only 30 or 40 remained. After confirming that no one else would kneel and beg for mercy, the leader looked at the remaining people. With a meaningful tone, he said, it seems that those who are left all want to die. Well then, one by one, come forward and die. It's a good opportunity for everyone to see how brave and fearless you are. The leader laughed, is there anyone who wants to die and challenge me? As soon as these words were spoken, the remaining people looked at each other. They all had some courage in their hearts. Their pride did not allow them to beg for mercy from this group of cultist traitors. However, when faced with death, not everyone had the courage to face it directly. Since no one is coming forward, I'll have to go myself. The leader was about to speak when a figure stepped out from the crowd before Ji Qinghan could. I'll go. Upon hearing this voice, Ji Qinghan suddenly looked up. She saw that Su Mu had already stood in front of her, holding a bloodstained long sword tightly in his hand. His clothes seemed to be dyed red from slaughtering many cultists. He blocked the sunlight in front of Ji Qinghan, but it also made him seem as if he was bathed in sunlight. Su Mu stared intently at the cult leader in front of him. To be honest, for a moment, Su Mu couldn't think of a good way to stop this group of cultists. The most crucial problem was that Su Mu knew very little about these cultists. In order to survive from their hands, the best way was to die once at their hands. This way, Sumu could not only understand the talents of these cultists, but also go back 12 hours and have more time to plan how to stop them. When he saw the leader in front of him, Sumu let out a sigh of relief. He had become somewhat numb to death, but he didn't know if it was an illusion or not. Just as he had a momentary distraction, he seemed to see a hint of praise and satisfaction in the leader's eyes. Good, another one who seeks death. Just like that guy earlier, you're also a martial master, one of the best among this group, I suppose? I love torturing top talents like you the most. Oomph, stop talking nonsense and come at me. Sumu snorted coldly. In an instant, he had already reached the leader's side with his swift sword steps. In the next moment, the sword technique of fierce winds rushed towards the leader like a storm. Within it, Sumu concealed the sword intent he had comprehended, attacking the leader's weak points as much as possible. However, what made Su Mu feel somewhat desperate was that the leader clenched his fist. In the next moment, roar. In the air, there seemed to be a roar of a tiger. The leader's punch obliterated Su Mu's attack with a powerful force. Immediately after, a solidified tiger pounced towards Su Mu. Su Mu felt a strong force colliding with his chest. Puff. A mouthful of blood spurted out of his mouth. Su Mu was sent flying. Like a kite with a broken string, he fell to the ground, on the verge of life and death. Next. The leader looked triumphantly at the remaining people. Damn it! Ji Qinghan saw Su Mu being sent flying. She bit her lip slightly. Then she directly rushed towards the leader with a long whip in her hand. The whip swung towards the leader like a spirit snake. But it was caught by the leader. Then the leader exerted a little force. Ji Qinghan was thrown to the side by the leader using the whip. Ji family's girl. I haven't killed those brats from the Ji family yet. He raised the war blade in his hand. Intense light gathered on the blade. Try this move. Fiery knife energy condensed on the blade and turned into substance, slashing towards Ji Qinghan. Feeling the power of this attack, Ji Qinghan wanted to dodge. But the knife energy came too fast, and coupled with being thrown just now, Ji Qinghan couldn't get up in time. Just when Ji Qinghan closed her eyes in resignation, she unexpectedly found that the attack didn't hit her. She opened her eyes with some confusion. But she saw that figure again. Su Mu. Sumu was a bit speechless at the moment. Damn it, I'm not dead yet. What are you doing attacking someone else? You made me suffer for no reason. But fortunately, after taking this blow, I should be dead for sure. Boom. Sumu fell backward. In his ears, he could only hear Ji Qinghan shouting behind him, no. Vaguely, he seemed to see the leader running towards him anxiously. Going back in time again. Sumu thought like this. He gradually lost consciousness. What he didn't know was that at the moment he lost consciousness, a sudden anger resounded in the sky. Pause. Assessment paused. Longjing Martial Arts University Second Hospital. Outside the Supreme VIP Ward. An old man looked at the young man lying in the ward. He sighed deeply. Shouting, how is his condition? His physical condition has recovered very well. After all, he had the help of that person's talent for treatment. The only problem is that we don't know when he will wake up. 
After all, the injuries he suffered were too severe. If it weren't for his extremely strong mental power and the timely help from that person, he would probably have no chance of survival. Ah, the old man sighed again, if I had known it would be like this, I would have personally taken action. This Wang Hu guy, he didn't hold back at all. If something really happens to this child, I won't let him off. Such a good seed, if something goes wrong, it will be a loss for the entire human race. Zhang Lao, we can't completely blame Lao Wang. Lao Wang didn't expect that his attack wouldn't directly knock out this child. The reason he swung that knife was because the other party was the Ji family's little princess, wearing a golden silk cloud robe. Even if the attack landed, the Ji family's little princess wouldn't be seriously injured. Who knew that this child suddenly rushed out and took the blow for the Ji family's little princess? The middle-aged man explained. Hoof. Zhang Lao snorted coldly, then looked at the young man lying on the bed not far away with a relieved expression. This is also the preciousness of this child. You know, this child doesn't even know what talent the girl from the Ji family has. They've only known each other for less than a day. He stepped forward to block this attack for Ji Jia's girl, probably because he had a sense of protecting his compatriots and comrades. Indeed, this child's enthusiasm is the first time I've seen it in all my years as an instructor. The middle-aged man looked at Sumu lying in the ward inside, not only that, even before this, he had done similar things. I saw detailed descriptions in his file. He is also a follower of a different religion. He rushed to their school and even kidnapped one of their classmates. When the other students were afraid to approach, it was this child who bravely showed his talent and rescued his classmate from the hands of the follower of a different religion. He even cooperated with the captain of the night walkers there to kill that follower of a different religion. The middle-aged man praised, at 18 years old, to have such courage and be willing to sacrifice for those around him, with such high talent, honestly, when I saw what he did, I even felt that the shining noble quality on him was more dazzling than his talent. If this child's character can develop smoothly, he will definitely become a pillar of the human race. Zhang Lao also nodded in agreement, that's why we have to go to great lengths to save him, and not just save him with lingering effects. We must bring him back to his peak state, otherwise, it would be a huge loss for him and the entire human race. Zhang Lao, you can rest assured about this. We are willing to spare no expense and use the best resources for his recovery. We even invited that person. There are no issues with his physical condition. Under our treatment, his qi and blood values have already reached nearly 400 points, just a step away from entering the mid-stage of a martial artist. As long as he wakes up, he can rest for three more days at most and immediately return to the genius training camp. The middle-aged man paused and said, however, the only problem now is when he will wake up. According to the hospital's response, it could be as soon as today or tomorrow, or it could be as long as a month, two months, or even a year or two. Doesn't Disya have a department specialized in researching mental power? Try to find someone to help. Zhang Lao pondered for a moment and suggested. Zhang Lao, currently, Disya's research on mental power is still in the confidential stage. It is intended to be used as a trump card against the foreign races. It is unrealistic to try to get someone from them, the middle-aged man said helplessly. I will personally go and ask. I don't believe they won't give me face. Zhang Lao's face suddenly darkened. Just at that moment, a voice came from the side. Greetings, Zhang Lao. Greetings, Instructor Ding. Zhang Lao and Instructor Ding turned to look. They saw a figure with a cold temperament standing beside them, seemingly appearing out of nowhere. Xing Han, Instructor Ding smiled. But in return, Ji Qing Han wore a cold expression and said to Zhang Lao, Please excuse me, Zhang Lao, Instructor Ding. I want to go in and talk to Su Mu. Seeing this, Zhang Lao and Instructor Ding could only awkwardly smile and make way. They watched as Ji Qing Han entered the ward, sat beside Su Mu, and began to talk to him proficiently. Instructor Ding said, Zhang Lao, you may not know, but since Su Mu fell into a deep sleep, Ji family's little princess has been coming to talk to him every day. Perhaps this little princess of the Ji family has had a knot in her heart because of what happened back then. If Sumu can help her untie this knot, it would be a good thing for her. Zhang Lao seemed to have thought of something and said, Ah, it's just a pity for this child, Sumu. I don't know when he will wake up. When he does, we must strive to compensate him fully, no less. Captain Ding was a little surprised. Zhang Lao, it seems like you really like this child. Zhang Lao glanced at Sumu inside. Who wouldn't like a child like this? If I were younger, I would probably take him as my disciple. But now I'm old and can't teach anymore, I'm afraid it would hinder this child. Captain Ding said, Zhang Lao, even if those people from other races hear your name now, they would be trembling and running away. Zhang Lao replied, if you can't flatter, then don't. It's just a few words after all. He gave Captain Ding a disdainful look and walked ahead. Captain Ding quickly caught up and said, Zhang Lao, 
By the way, does Su Mu's family know about this? Zhang Lao replied, You know, this matter is quite embarrassing. Su Mu didn't get injured by the other races, but was injured by his own people. So we haven't informed his family for now, we just said it's inconvenient to contact during the training camp. But if Su Mu doesn't wake up after more than a month when the training camp ends, we won't be able to hide it anymore. Well, we can only do that for now. The voices of the two gradually faded away. Meanwhile, inside the ward, Ji Qinghan looked at the sleeping Su Mu without saying a word, but her mind was filled with countless thoughts. Su Mu, why did you save me back then? Actually, since childhood, because of the family's talent, she had always lived under the protection of uncles and aunts around her. Not only her, but every Ji family member had been like this since childhood. In order to protect the Ji family, every uncle and aunt would sacrifice their lives without hesitation. Ji Qinghan had long understood the mission of their Ji family, but she hated it. When she was young, she went out with her father and encountered an attack from a different religion. Uncle and aunt sacrificed themselves one by one to save them, creating a path with their own explosions, saving her and her father's lives. She didn't understand why her uncles and aunts would sacrifice themselves without hesitation for them. Until one uncle told her, because she was a member of the G family. G family member? What happened to the G family member? Was the life of a G family member inherently more valuable than others? She didn't understand, and she also hated it, hated others sacrificing their lives to protect her. But what she didn't understand was why those uncles, aunts, and relatives protected me because I was a member of the G family, because I possessed the exclusive talent of the G family. But why did Su Mu do it? Clearly, Su Mu didn't know anything. Ji Ching Han sighed. She muttered to herself, Su Mu, wake up quickly. Then she got up and walked towards the door of the ward. But just as she reached the door, she heard a voice from behind. Hmm. Ji Ching Han suddenly turned her head and saw Su Mu's eyes slowly opening. Where am I? You're awake. Even Ji Ching Han, who usually had a cold expression, couldn't help but show a hint of excitement. She quickly walked to Su Mu's side. Su Mu, you're awake. Don't move, I'll go call the doctor. She looked at Su Mu, who had already opened his eyes, with a mix of crying and smiling on her face. It can be said that for the past week, hoping for Su Mu to wake up had almost become an obsession in her heart. Otherwise, she wouldn't come every day to talk to Su Mu. Now, seeing Su Mu wake up, the suppressed emotions in her heart for a month also erupted at this moment. While she ran to find the doctor, Su Mu started asking about Deep Blue. Deep Blue, what's going on? Where am I? Master, you were unconscious for 7 days, 7 hours, and 28 minutes. You are currently in the Supreme VIP Ward at the Second Hospital of Longjing Martial Arts University. What? Supreme VIP Ward? Su Mu looked around. It was a huge suite with a warm, yellowish color scheme. In the center was a massive television, and there were some potted plants on the nearby table. Next to the hospital bed, there seemed to be something like a call button. Why did she run out if she could just call the doctor directly? While Su Mu was observing his surroundings, Shen Lan quickly recounted what had happened a week ago. What the hell? This was a test arranged by Longjing Martial Arts University? And that leader of the heretical cult was one of the instructors? How did those people die? They looked so real. Su Mu remembered the guy whose head exploded in the leader's hand. That was an SSS level talent called Mirage. It can create very realistic illusions. Without special talents or strong power, it's impossible to see through the illusions created by Mirage. SSS level talent. Su Mu rolled his eyes. Longjing Martial Arts University truly spared no expense for this test. Based on my analysis, when the leader attacked, he actually held back, intending to make you briefly lose consciousness. However, your mental strength was too strong, so you didn't fall into a coma. The attack on Ji Qinghan was also calculated based on her endurance. Ji Qinghan was wearing special protective gear, so the leader's attack didn't cause any harm to her. At most, it just caused her to faint due to the shock. However, this kind of attack, when it landed on you, who was already injured, resulted in your serious injuries. Normally, with injuries of this level, you should have died. But Longjing Martial Arts University brought in someone who, with their treatment and your strong mental strength, managed to save your life. However, your body fell into a deep sleep. So you mean, my mental strength was too strong, and combined with that person's treatment, I accidentally survived but fell into a coma? After understanding the general situation, Sumu rubbed his temples with a headache. As expected, the situation he had worried about had actually happened. He had wanted to sacrifice himself, but the people around him didn't know and ended up saving him instead. He couldn't possibly tell others about his talent. In the end, he was truly in a difficult situation. That's why he had always been a loner, afraid of this kind of situation. But unexpectedly, it still happened. 
Shenlong, how is my physical condition now? Although he had a headache, Sumu didn't dwell on his emotions for too long. Instead, he focused on understanding his current situation. Soon, his panel appeared before his eyes, accompanied by Shenlan's explanation. Sumu roughly understood his situation. Fortunately, despite being unconscious in bed for a week, Sumu's physical recovery was quite good. Not only were there no aftereffects, but his qi and blood values had also increased. This made Sumu curious about the person who saved him. At that time, he had been on the verge of death, but now, he was able to bounce back. According to Shinlan's analysis, he only needed another two or three days to recover before he could return to the training camp. However, when Sumu asked about the identity of the person who saved him, Shinlan didn't provide an answer. She only said that his current level of access was not enough to know. It seems that once again, it involves a key figure in the extinction of the human race ten years later. Just as Sumu was pondering, Ji Qinghan finally walked in with a doctor and nurse. Following behind the doctor and nurse were an old man and a middle-aged man. The middle-aged man was none other than the instructor Ding who died in front of Su Mu and the others. A group of doctors and nurses hurriedly approached Su Mu to examine him after he woke up. The old man, Ding, and Ji Qinghan stood aside. After a while, the doctors and nurses stopped their examination. Congratulations, Mr. Su, you are no longer in any major danger. After observing for a couple of days, you can be discharged. Upon hearing the doctor's words, Ji Qinghan and the other two breathed a sigh of relief. Instructor Ding, what's going on? Although they already knew everything, they still had to pretend. Seeing this, Instructor Ding quickly and somewhat embarrassedly explained to Su Mu. Su Mu also timely showed a look of sudden realization. Fortunately, Su Mu, you are not seriously injured, otherwise our guilt would be great. Instructor Ding apologized. Then he pointed to the old man next to him and said, Su Mu, this is our current president of Longjing Martial Arts University, Zhang Hao. Hello, president. Looking at Zhang Hao in front of him, Sumu couldn't wait to let Shenlan check his information. At a glance, Sumu was shocked. Name, Zhang Hao, Qi and Blood Value, 27. 8343 billion, early 9 realms martial artist, body refining technique, 9 transformations profound art, breathing technique, Xian Yuan internal breathing technique, talent, to be analyzed, and 9 realms martial artist. Although it was only the early stage of the 9 realms, it was still a powerful existence. This was definitely the strongest person Su Mu had ever seen in his life. Don't be so formal. Just call me Zhang Hao. Zhang Hao smiled at Su Mu. Let me call you Xiaomu, it sounds more friendly. Obviously, Zhang Hao didn't hide his fondness for Su Mu at all. Su Mu responded somewhat flattered, Zhang Hao. Good, good, good. Zhang Hao laughed heartily. Then he asked about Su Mu's physical condition. Su Mu took the opportunity to ask, Zhang Hao, Instructor Ding. When can I return to the training camp to continue training? He was also worried about whether he could be recommended to Longjing Martial Arts University. This was related to whether he could open the notebook ahead of time. Sumu, you should rest well first. As for returning to the training camp, we will consider it when your body has fully recovered. It's not appropriate for you to go to the 10,000 races battlefield right after recovering. Okay. Sumu nodded. After a few more words with Zhang Hao, Sumu was instructed to rest well before Zhang Hao and Instructor Ding left. For a while, only Ji Qinghan and Sumu were left in the ward. Looking at the cold and beautiful woman beside him, Sumu felt a headache. How should he explain why he had saved her from that attack? But before Sumu could speak, Ji Qinghan spoke first. Sumu, I want to ask you a question. Hmm, go ahead. Why did you save me? Ji Qinghan looked at Sumu seriously and asked slowly. Is it because I am from the Ji family? After saying this, Ji Qinghan lowered her head with a complex gaze. Over the past week, because of her identity, she didn't have to go to the 10,000 races battlefield, so she had time to come and visit Su Mu and talk to him every day. And the important reason why she came to talk to Su Mu every day was to find an answer from him. She wanted to know why Su Mu saved her. Was it because he knew about her identity, or was there some other reason? Whatever the reason, she wanted to know. Because Su Mu was the only one, apart from his uncles, who was willing to sacrifice his own life to save her, even though they had just met not long ago. What is the Ji family? Su Mu frowned upon hearing Ji Qinghan's words. What happened to the people of the Ji family? Su Mu said, Don't misunderstand, I saved you not because you are from the Ji family, but because we are comrades in the same training camp. Even if it was someone else, I would still step forward in the face of such a crisis. After saying these words, Su Mu looked at Ji Qinghan strangely. In his heart, he wondered if this girl thought I had some feelings for her because I saved her? Fortunately, I am clever. I said it like this, so she shouldn't misunderstand, right? 
Sumu had no choice. He couldn't possibly say that he went to take that attack for the sake of dying, right? At this moment, after hearing Su Mu's words, Ji Qinghan also stood still. I saved you not because you are from the Ji family, but because we are comrades in the same training camp, Su Mu's simple words echoed in her mind. Just because we are comrades. Not because I am from the Ji family, but because we are comrades? When she heard these words, Ji Qinghan felt as if her understanding of things had been completely overturned in an instant. Because of her experiences from childhood to adulthood, everyone around her, including her family, would sacrifice their lives without hesitation to save them when they were in danger. Everything was just because she was from the Ji family. So, from childhood to adulthood, whenever she encountered someone who would sacrifice themselves to save her, she subconsciously believed that it was because she was from the Ji family that they were willing to give up their lives for her. To be honest, she hated this feeling. She hated that just because of her identity, everyone would sacrifice their lives to save her when she was in danger. But it was at this moment that Sumu appeared. Just when she thought she was really facing death, Sumu stood in front of her without hesitation. He took the fatal blow for her. Although it was also a sacrifice, even willing to give up his own life to save her, Ji Qinghan's intuition told her that Sumu didn't know her identity. After all, she and Sumu had just met for the first time. Sumu shouldn't know her identity. But if that's the case, why did Sumu sacrifice himself to save her? This question lingered in Ji Qinghan's mind for a whole week. Now, she finally got the answer. For the first time, someone told her, I saved you not because you are from the Ji family, but because you are my comrade. Countless thoughts flashed through Ji Qinghan's mind. She looked up at Su Mu, a hint of confusion flickering on her cold face. Comrade, does it mean friend? Friend, Su Mu raised an eyebrow and casually replied, let's just say so. In the future, we might be classmates or comrades, so I won't stand by when something like this happens. Between friends, would you sacrifice your life to save each other? Not because of anything else, but simply because the other person is your friend? Ji Qinghan continued to ask. Sumu nodded, of course, some friends would even make you willingly expose your back to them. Hearing Sumu's words, Ji Qinghan's eyes lit up as she looked at Sumu, then, Sumu, are we friends? Sumu was taken aback by her words, then uncertainly said, let's just say so? Ji Qinghan nodded vigorously. Okay, I understand. I won't disturb your rest anymore. I'll go back to practice. Sumu nodded somewhat confusedly, watching the strange girl leave the ward. Actually, you don't have to come tomorrow, Sumu shouted after Ji Qinghan's departing figure. Immediately, he rubbed his temples with a headache. Why does this girl seem to be in need of friends? With my status, it's not suitable to have too many friends. It's not that Sumu is heartless or unkind. If times were peaceful, he would also want to live a life with a few close friends, enjoying beautiful moments in the company of a loved one. However, now that the human race is on the verge of extinction, personal relationships are too extravagant for Su Mu at the moment. The human race will perish in 10 years, and you're still thinking about trivial matters. Are you out of your mind? With no women in his heart, he naturally becomes a god with a sword. Su Mu, you are the savior of the human race. Su Mu struggled to sit up from the bed. He tried to move his body a little. Although he had been lying in bed for a month, his body didn't seem to have stiffened much. He wasted a week and now he needs to work hard to make up for it. He also needs to find a way to return to the training camp as soon as possible so that he can go to the battlefield of the 10,000 races in advance and try to brush up on some talents. One thing after another seemed to have piled up in just one week of sleep, and inexplicably losing a week of training time made Sumu feel a sense of guilt. He even thought about committing suicide and resetting everything. But then he realized that even if he reset, he would still be asleep. This is the downside of death reset. If he didn't die but fell into a coma, or if he was trapped somewhere unable to live or die, then Su Mu's death reset would be useless. To solve this problem, he must find a way to have a talent that allows him to die and reset when necessary. There are really so many things to consider. Su Mu sighed as he climbed down from the bed. His backpack and clothes were placed nearby. He walked to his backpack and took out a small box. It was the tiger blood pill that Gao Shan gave him. Well, let's start training as soon as possible. Because he hadn't finished using the bone strengthening and muscle nourishing powder he had prepared, the tiger blood pill had been kept in Su Mu's backpack without being used. He originally planned to collect some bodies of the alien races on the battlefield and prepare some new blood and energy medicines. Unexpectedly, he ended up lying in bed for a week due to the entrance assessment. It can be said that he wasted a week of training time. The Dragon Capital Martial Arts University should compensate him, right? Sumu didn't ask for much, just a few thousand tiger blood pills or similar blood and energy medicines would be enough. When he has the opportunity, Sumu will have to talk to instructor Ding about it. 
Shaking his head, now is not the time to think about those things. Sumu took out the tiger blood pill. A faint smell of rust mixed with a strange fragrance entered Sumu's nose. The tiger blood pill was bright red in color. It didn't look very appetizing. But Sumu himself didn't care about these things. Without hesitation, he put the tiger blood pill into his mouth. The next moment, he began to exercise on the ground according to the chapters of the 10,000 races body refining technique. With the tiger blood pill in his stomach, a pure force immediately surged through his limbs. Perhaps because he hadn't been training for a long time, Sumu felt a little uncomfortable when the force first surged in. After about half an hour of training, Sumu was already drenched in sweat and collapsed on the ground. Why does it feel like the effectiveness of this tiger blood pill is more than 10 times that of the blood replenishing powder? Sumu was a little puzzled. At first, he thought it was because he hadn't practiced for a long time. But this feeling was particularly prominent when he was practicing the cloud tiger chapter. He could clearly feel that when he manipulated the movements of the cloud tiger chapter, the medicinal power of the tiger blood pill in his body seemed to be activated all at once. The medicinal power that had to be consumed during the process was almost completely absorbed by Su Mu's body cells. Master, after reaching the martial warrior realm, taking some blood replenishing medicines made by various races corresponding to the chapters of the 10,000 races body refining technique that you are practicing, the absorption of the blood replenishing medicines you take will be greatly enhanced. It seemed to have heard Su Mu's question. The deep blue in his mind provided an answer. Upon hearing deep blue's answer, Su Mu raised an eyebrow. Damn. Why didn't you say that earlier? Master, you didn't ask. A few black lines appeared on Su Mu's forehead. Indeed, Deep Blue was ultimately just a modified book of wisdom, with a limited level of intelligence. It could only respond according to Su Mu's commands and inquiries. If Su Mu didn't ask or give orders, it couldn't respond autonomously. Shaking his head, it didn't matter that he didn't know this before. But now that he knew, Su Mu needed to be more careful when selecting blood replenishing medicines in the future. Deep Blue, help me find some blood replenishing medicines that are most suitable for the chapters one am currently practicing. Note that they should be ones that I can afford. Yes, Master. Start searching the potion formula library. Ding, search successful. Master, I have found two formulas for you. One formula is an enhanced version of the tiger blood pill that is already on the market, the tiger yuan pill. The other formula is a potion formula from nine years later, the profound yuan bear blood powder. In the next moment, the contents of the two potion formulas appeared in Su Mu's mind. After taking a look at these two potion formulas, Su Mu's eyebrows slightly raised. He had never doubted Deep Blue's search ability. These two potion formulas were indeed the most suitable ones for this stage. Moreover, the required medicinal materials were not very precious. The only things that needed to be found were the tiger bones required for the tiger yuan pill and the bear blood required for the profound yuan bear blood powder. Su Mu could purchase the other medicinal materials in advance. As for these two medicinal materials, Sumu could directly go to the 10,000 races battlefield to search for them with a purpose. Once found, he could directly prepare them. Or maybe he could ask Instructor Ding directly, as compensation from the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University? Continue, let's start practicing the visualization method. Sumu sat cross-legged on the sickbed. Three days passed quietly. Sumu, have you thought about it? Even if you don't continue with the next training, the school has already recognized your talent. Zhang Lao is even prepared to promote you directly to an outstanding camp member. Instructor Ding looked at Su Mu with a strange expression. But once you enter the 10,000 races battlefield, there will be no room for regret. You can only come back after the training camp ends, and if you encounter danger, no one will come to save you. This time, no one will really come to save you, after all. The battles in various areas of the 10,000 races battlefield are strictly divided and extremely dangerous. No one can take care of you. If you are not careful, you might really perish on the 10,000 races battlefield. The genius training camp has a certain death rate. It's not just talk. As far as I know, in the previous few sessions, there was a genius who unfortunately died on the battlefield. My suggestion is that you stay behind and focus on cultivating. If you want to go to the 10,000 races battlefield, you will have plenty of opportunities once you enter the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University in the future. You have just woken up, so it hasn't been long. If something happens on the 10,000 races battlefield, Zhang Lao will be heartbroken. Obviously, Instructor Ding doesn't want Su Mu to return to the Genius Training Camp for further training. In his opinion, Su Mu becoming an outstanding trainee is already a certainty. For others, further observation and training may be necessary. But for Su Mu, who is a top talent, there is no need for further observation. Since that's the case, 
There is no need to continue to venture into the 10,000 races battlefield. Instructor Ding, I have already made up my mind. Besides, I haven't officially competed with other trainees. It doesn't feel right for me to directly take the spot of an outstanding trainee. As for safety concerns, Instructor Ding, you can rest assured that I will take care of myself. Even if something happens on the 10,000 races battlefield, it would be a great honor for me. As a warrior, it would be the highest glory to die in battle against the other races. Sumu spoke eloquently and confidently. He must go to the 10,000 races battlefield. He couldn't joke around. If he didn't go to the 10,000 races battlefield, how could he showcase his talents? What's the point of going if there's no risk of death? Looking at Su Mu's unwavering determination and passionate expression, Instructor Ding seemed to be infected as well. He nodded vigorously and said, Good. We men should be like you, Su Mu. Damn it, I remember those few who just left the training camp and were already clamoring to come back. I really want to kick their asses. Su Mu, I will arrange everything for you. Prepare yourself tomorrow. Someone will be assigned to accompany you to the 10,000 races battlefield. Also, I will personally make sure to get you the maximum compensation the school can offer for your request. Tiger bones and bear blood, right? I will personally go and purchase them. You, as a genius, are the hope of the human race. I won't let you suffer. Instructor Ding, well, I feel a bit embarrassed. Sumu smiled, this was an unexpected gain. Thank you, Instructor Ding. What are you saying? Just remember one thing. Come back safely. Okay. Early in the morning, a middle-aged man in military uniform with a limp leg took Sumu onto an armored vehicle. There were still over 50 days left until the end of the training camp. This time was neither long nor short for Sumu. During the journey, the middle-aged man with a limp leg allowed Sumu to take a nap because the journey would be long. Sumu took this opportunity to practice the divine demon visualization method and the innate embryonic breathing technique. He didn't know how long he had been practicing. Sumu even dozed off for a while. When he opened his eyes again, he had already arrived at the eastern battlefield of the 10,000 races battlefield. You're awake. The middle-aged man with a limp leg beside him saw Sumu wake up and spoke. Hmm. Sumu nodded while his gaze fell on the surrounding scenery. Is this the eastern battlefield of the 10,000 races battlefield? Sumu looked around. Every 10 meters or so, there was a watchtower about 20 meters high. Every 50 meters or so, there was a towering building that also looked like a watchtower. Sensing Sumu's gaze, the middle-aged man with a limp leg explained, those are the skyward towers. The watchtowers are used to observe the situation of the entire eastern battlefield and transmit information in a timely manner. The target of the empty tower is mainly the aerial aliens. Only some high-level warriors of the human race can fly in the air without relying on any external forces. Therefore, when dealing with the aerial aliens, they often need the assistance of many things. The middle-aged man with a limp began to introduce some areas of the Eastern War Zone to Sumu. This is the arsenal. The Eastern War Zone has now basically achieved self-sufficiency in weapons and equipment. There are many students and masters from your university's casting department inside. That is the medicine area. Many chi and blood medicines are provided to frontline soldiers, and some are also sold to the human race rear, but the prices are relatively expensive. That is the slaughter area, responsible for dealing with some dying aliens or dissecting the bodies of aliens. That is the cafeteria. The entire eastern war zone is like a small city that has formed a complete system. Along the way, Sumu could see soldiers wearing battle armor patrolling everywhere. The war zone is not like the human race rear. Sometimes, extremely powerful aliens will break through the defense line and attack the war zone. The middle-aged soldier pointed to a broken wall. This was originally a residential area, but a month ago, the Blackwing Mysterious Eagle broke through the West Gate wall and came in and caused a lot of damage. However, it was quickly killed by Lieutenant Colonel Chio Sun with a single sword. It can be said that although the Eastern War Zone looks good now, about 50 years ago, the entire Eastern War Zone was basically in a process of continuous destruction and reconstruction. But since 50 years ago, after the seven saints of the human race killed the god kings of the ten major god races, this situation has been greatly reduced. When saying this, the middle-aged man with a limp seemed somewhat proud. Sumu looked at the ground and buildings in the eastern war zone, which had various traces of war, with a complicated gaze. It is hard to imagine what the situation was like in the eastern war zone more than 50 years ago, when the human race had not yet gained the upper hand. All the soldiers on the front lines lived in fear and worry about when the aliens would attack. But even though they were extremely fearful and worried, they still had to use their own flesh and blood to build a steel wall for the human race rear. The Eastern War Zone now looks much calmer than 50 years ago. The invasion of aliens is also extremely rare, 
and even if they do invade, they will be quickly killed by the experts on the human side. However, others may not know, but would Sumu not know? The current calm is just the calm before the storm. Who could have imagined that the people who had resisted the thousands of races for tens of thousands of years would be destroyed after 60 years of peace? 50 years ago, the human race gained the upper hand, but 10 years later, the human race was heading towards destruction. Thinking of this, Sumu clenched his fist. He took a deep breath. After driving for a while, the car finally arrived at Sumu's destination. The car stopped at a camp, and after Sumu got off the car, he was about to walk into the camp. The middle-aged man with a limp suddenly called out to Sumu. Young man. Sumu was stunned, stopped, and looked at the middle-aged man with a limp. Since you can enter the genius training camp, it means that your talent should be very good. Train well, stay safe. The future of the human race depends on you young people. He smiled at Sumu. I will. Sumu nodded at him. The middle-aged man with a limp also nodded. Then he drove towards the direction of the human race rear. For him, it was almost impossible to go to the battlefield again because of his physical disabilities. He could have chosen to go back to the human rear and do something else, enjoying the rest of his life. But in the end, he chose this job. Perhaps he couldn't bear to leave the battlefield and wanted to contribute his own strength to it. He watched the armored vehicle gradually move away and slowly walked into the camp. After registering his identity, a soldier asked Sumu to wait outside the camp. While Sumu was waiting, several soldiers next to him seemed to be sizing up this newcomer who suddenly arrived at the camp. Although they didn't say anything, the gaze on Sumu made him feel uncomfortable. Sumu could guess their thoughts. The training camp had already started for over a week. It was strange for someone to suddenly join at this time. After waiting for a long time, a young man in military uniform finally came slowly in front of Sumu. You're the new camper? The young man glanced at Sumu. Sumu followed behind the young man. As they walked, the young man began to talk to Sumu about some things. Since you're here, let me briefly explain the rules here. This is a temporary camp set up by the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University's Genius Training Camp. I am Xiao Lin, the military person in charge of the temporary camp, responsible for assisting you in the training and assessment tasks of the Genius Training Camp. In the remaining time, if you don't want to leave in an embarrassing manner, it's best to go to the battlefield a few more times, at least earning 100 merit points. The merit points are the main criteria for the final assessment. While leading Sumu, Shaolin said. Sumu had already seen some members of the genius training camp. And those members obviously noticed Sumu. Suddenly, their faces were full of astonishment, and some couldn't help but exclaim, Sumu. It's Sumu. He's back. You seem quite famous? Seeing the reactions of the members next to him, Shaolin frowned slightly. He didn't know much about Sumu's information. He only knew that Sumu seemed to have been unconscious for a week due to an injury during the entrance assessment, which was why he arrived late. But in his opinion, since he was injured during the entrance assessment, he was obviously not a particularly outstanding genius. However, judging from the current situation, it seemed that he had made a wrong judgment. Thinking of this, Shaolin couldn't help but take another look at Sumu. This is where you will live. There are still empty beds inside. Find a bed and put your things there. Although Shaolin didn't like people like Su Mu who entered through the back door, he didn't forget his duty. He led Su Mu to a dormitory building. Next, let me give you a brief introduction to the main training projects of the Genius Training Camp. As I mentioned before, the assessment criteria mainly focus on your merit points. There are three types of ways to earn merit points, individual, team, and legion. Let's start with the legion. It refers to you being assigned to various legions and participating in large-scale battles. However, this situation is relatively rare. Even for us, we only encounter a few large-scale battles in a year. However, in these large-scale battles, the merit points you earn will be 2 to 10 times more than usual. In daily life, in order to not lose combat effectiveness during large-scale battles, the Eastern Warzone conducts a large-scale battle simulation every month. You missed one last month, and the next one should be in half a month. Next, there are team and individual missions. This is the main way for the Eastern Warzone and the alien races to fight. Launching large-scale battles requires a combination of various factors. On the battlefield of the 10,000 races, the battles between humans and aliens are mostly small and medium-sized battles, which are carried out by various teams and individuals in the Eastern Warzone. The young man paused for a moment and said, In high school, you should have learned that on the battlefield of the Wan clan, when there are no major battles, soldiers operate in small teams. Of course, if there are individuals who are confident in themselves and prefer to hunt down and carry out missions on their own, they can choose to do so. However, we do not encourage this approach because individual power is limited, and the chances of danger and death increase significantly. 
If you join a small team, with the help of experienced veterans, you can grow faster and the teamwork will be more advantageous in completing more difficult tasks. Unless you are truly capable of fighting alone, joining a small team should be your first choice. But unfortunately, you came too late. Most small teams have already completed their recruitment. If you want to join a small team, you can try your luck at the mission hall. Some small teams recruit individuals or members from other teams after losing many comrades during missions. After listening to the young man's explanation, Sumu's eyes lit up. What if I want to go solo? The young man glanced at him, his face showing a, as expected expression. You geniuses from the genius training camp always think of yourselves as exceptional. Almost everyone has this idea. However, after completing a few missions alone, most of them choose to join a small team again. Some even die during missions. If you really want to complete missions and earn merit points as an individual, it's up to you. As an individual, you don't need to register separately, but you must participate in the large-scale battle exercises every month. You can directly go to the mission hall to receive tasks. One thing I want to remind you is that although you are members of the Genius Training Camp, once you step onto the Wan Clan battlefield, you are just ordinary soldiers. The human race is never short of geniuses, but lacks true geniuses. Only those who survive until the end are the real geniuses. Sumu nodded in agreement with the young man's words. Indeed, over the years, there have been countless geniuses emerging from the human race, but many have also fallen midway. If you can't even survive, no matter how talented you are, it's useless. Fighting against the Wan Clan is an inevitable part of every human warrior's journey. For the geniuses of the genius training camp, they will inevitably face even more terrifying alien races. Therefore, they need to experience the horrors of the aliens earlier and fight against them on the Wan Clan battlefield. Death is inevitable. If you don't fight because you fear death, then no matter how talented you are, you are just mediocre. I have said almost everything that needs to be said. This is the exclusive badge of your genius training camp. It will be troublesome if you don't have it when returning from the Wan Clan battlefield. You should wear it on your chest on regular days. If the patrol team finds that you are not wearing the badge, they will investigate. The badge also has automatic positioning, distress signal, and poison functions. I won't explain the first two in detail. The last one is for emergencies. If you are captured by the Wan clan and don't want to suffer too much, you can directly shout the password behind the badge, and the badge will inject a powerful poison into your body. That's why the badge is usually worn on the left chest. This function is not exclusive to your badge. Every soldier's badge has it. As for why it is designed this way, I believe you should have learned it in high school. In addition, wearing this badge is also to distinguish you from ordinary soldiers and to provide some privileges for you geniuses. The young man took out a green badge and directly placed it on Sumu's chest. Sumu also examined the badge. What he was concerned about was the poison function of this badge. If necessary, this function would be very useful for Sumu. Before finding the talent for suicide, this badge could serve as a temporary substitute. This also provided Sumu with an idea. Before finding the talent for suicide, he could also make some throat sealing poison and carry it with him. If he was caught, he could die and reset. Sumu was not afraid of death, but he was afraid of being caught and not being able to die. However, this problem should be solved when Sumu finds the talent for suicide in the future. As for this talent for suicide, Sumu had already found a lot of information from the deep blue side. After the 10,000 clan battlefield, it would be the first thing he would do. He couldn't afford to make the mistake of being unconscious for a week again. I've said what needs to be said, now it's up to you. The young man glanced at Sumu and then turned and left. Just after the young man left, Sumu quickly found a place to put his luggage and then walked out of the dormitory building. But as soon as he stepped out of the dormitory building, he noticed countless gazes falling on him. Many people were wearing blood-stained battle armor, obviously just coming down from the 10,000 clan battlefield. After seeing Sumu, many people looked at him in disgust. Sumu didn't care. He just looked at a huge screen in the center of the temporary camp. On the screen, it seemed to be the ranking of the current merit points of all the genius training camp members. First place, Fang Chochio, merit points, 1652. Second place, Wan Jia, merit points, 1025. Third place. Just as he was watching, a familiar voice sounded. Su Mu, you finally came back. As soon as these words came out, not only Su Mu, but many people around also turned their gaze towards the speaker. The person who came was Fang Chiochio, carrying a head of a different race, his face covered in blood, and a battle blade inserted in his waist. Judging from his appearance, it seemed that he hurriedly rushed over from the 10,000 clan battlefield after hearing the news of Su Mu's return. Fang Chiochio? Su Mu raised an eyebrow. Although this guy was brainless and impulsive, he was still a courageous man. 
During the assessment, he was the first to step forward and confront that Wang instructor. But unfortunately, his strength was not enough and he was bloodily defeated. When Fang Chocho heard Sumu call out his name, his eyelids twitched, and then he stared coldly at Sumu, Sumu, the duel between you and me is not over yet, but I won't take advantage of you. You came to the training camp more than a week later than me and missed the golden week. So I'll wait for you for a month and a half. After a month and a half, we'll have a one-on-one -on -one fight. After saying that, he didn't care whether Sumu agreed or not, and turned and walked towards the camp. Beside him, the golden-haired woman who followed him sighed and touched her forehead, then nodded at Sumu and quickly caught up with Fang Chocho. Sumu looked at the two figures walking away and smiled helplessly. This guy Fang Chocho was really stubborn. If he said he wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one fight, he would have a one-on-one -on -one fight. Judging from his posture, Sumu probably couldn't refuse. But to be fair, although his behavior was impulsive, his talent was quite good. Just now, Sumu also briefly checked his panel. Name, Fang Chocho, HP, 823. 65, mid-stage one realm warrior, body refining technique, clear wind body refining technique, breathing technique, clear wind breath technique talent, S level, wind god in just over a week, I have advanced from the early stage to the mid-stage of a one realm warrior. This speed can be considered fast. Of course, it may also be due to just entering the training camp and enjoying abundant resources, resulting in a faster initial advancement. What surprised Sumu was that Deep Blue had already analyzed his talent. It was probably because he had revealed a hint of it when facing instructor Wang before. Deep Blue had recorded it. Sumu also obtained an explanation about the Wind God talent from Deep Blue. In short, it is an enhanced version of his B-level talent, Supreme VIP of Wind Manipulation. If someone with only Wind Manipulation talent encounters Fang Chocho, even if they are one realm higher, they would probably be crushed by him. This is the Wind God talent, absolute control over ordinary wind manipulation. If there is a chance, Sumu could try to obtain this talent from him. Shaking his head, he stopped thinking about it. Sumu walked straight towards the temporary camp. He needed to quickly go to the mission hall, accept a mission, and then go to the 10,000 clan battlefield. He hadn't forgotten his first goal of this journey, to find some talents that could help him achieve his own suicide. After Sumu left, the people in the training camp couldn't help but start discussing. Hey, Fang Chiochio wants to challenge Sumu. I wonder who is stronger between Sumu and Fang Chiochio. Previously, Sumu completely overwhelmed all of us. But it has been over a week, and everyone's strength has improved. Fang Chiochio and Guan Jia have already become mid-stage one realm warriors. Sumu doesn't know if he can catch up. That's right. If Sumu had entered with us, I would definitely stand with him without hesitation. Sumu was so amazing during the assessment. Even though he was just an early stage one realm warrior, he was able to score so many points ahead of Ji Qinghan and Fang Chiochio. His strength must be quite impressive. But he spent over a week in the hospital, missing the golden first week of entering the training camp. It's probably unlikely for him to catch up with Fang Chiochio and bridge the gap between them. Indeed, over a week may not be long, but it's also not short. Unfortunately, Sumu missed the well-known golden first week when many of us made significant progress. It's a pity. Obviously, not many people in the training camp had high expectations for Sumu. Meanwhile, as Sumu headed to the mission hall to accept a mission and go directly to the 10,000 clan battlefield, in a dense forest on the battlefield, several people wearing battle armor sat around a campfire, devouring roasted meat. Shabuan, come and have some. This is the meat of the golden thorn boar. It's extremely delicious and very rare. When you return to the human clan, you might not even have the chance to taste it. The red-haired youth resting against a tree nodded. Got it. I'll be right there. He looked at the young man beside him and asked, Is the news true? Sumu has returned? Of course. Didn't our third brother go back to rest after being injured? He sent the news. Sumu seems to have been discharged from the hospital. As soon as Fang Chocho heard the news of Sumu's return, he immediately rushed back from the 10,000 clan battlefield and challenged Sumu to a duel in half a month. The red-haired youth smiled. That's in line with his character. But his vision is too narrow. Although Sumu is a bit more talented than us, he is still limited. Missing the golden first week of the training camp, whether it's his own strength or merit points, it would be difficult for him to catch up with us. When Sumu first entered the camp for assessment, he was indeed very outstanding. However, the assessment was just an assessment, and there was a lot of room for manipulation. Killing a mid-level foreign race could earn a thousand points. Sumu's strength was estimated to be around that level. Now that he has entered the 10,000 races battlefield, it is not easy to earn merit points. You see, during the golden week of the training camp, there is a tenfold bonus on points. Even so, we only managed to earn just over a thousand merit points. 
With about 50 days left, it will take a lot of effort for Su Mu to catch up in terms of merit points. For him, Su Mu's strength is not what he is concerned about. He is concerned about the quota for outstanding camp members. It is said that there are only three spots for outstanding camp members this time, and the G family's little princess is already guaranteed one spot. Fang Chiochio probably won't be able to escape either, so the only spot he can strive for is the last one. Su Mu's appearance undoubtedly poses a certain threat to him. If it were an ordinary person, it would be fine, but Su Mu completely crushed everyone during the assessment. So when he learned that Su Mu had returned, he was a little worried. But soon he reassured himself. Even if Su Mu is amazing, he probably won't be able to surpass him in terms of merit points in the remaining 50 days, right? Xiao Guan, if you don't come, you'll be eaten up. I'm here. At the same time, Su Mu also arrived at the entrance of the mission hall. According to the information obtained from Deep Blue, there are currently three talents that are most suitable for his suicidal talents. And the missions he wants to undertake will also be focused on the three races with these talents. There were many soldiers coming and going in the mission hall. Some soldiers looked tired, while others were full of arrogance. When Sumu appeared, the green badge on his chest immediately attracted the attention of many people. There were even whispers among them. Haven't seen this genius from the training camp before? Yeah, we should have seen those geniuses from the training camp when they were choosing teams. This newcomer seems to be the first time we've seen him. I'm not sure, but he seems to have relatively average strength. His vitality should be just at the early stage of a mid-level warrior. Ha <laughs> ha, I know. I heard it when I was drinking with my brother before. They said that a genius camp member from the human race's rear area would come today. It should be him, right? What's going on? Didn't the genius training camp start more than a week ago? Why are they sending someone now? This timing seems a bit off, doesn't it? Moreover, coming at this time, how can he compare to those geniuses who have already spent a golden week on the 10,000 races battlefield? I know a little inside information. It seems that he was injured and unconscious during the assessment and has been recuperating in the human race's rear area until now. Oh, that's really unlucky for him. But coming now, can he catch up with the others? I heard that the elimination rate in the genius training camp is extremely high. He's already a week behind others in terms of the golden week. It might be troublesome for him to catch up. The discussions of the people around clearly reached Sumu's ears. He could only shake his head helplessly and ignore them. He approached the window of the mission hall, where a somewhat weary middle-aged man was receiving him. The man glanced at Sumu and paused for a moment on the green badge on his chest before pointing to the screen in front of him. Give me your name, and then you can choose the mission you want. The members of your genius training camp can choose missions that are up to two levels higher, and you can take up to three missions at once. After the middle-aged man finished speaking, Sumu reported his name. In front of Sumu's screen, tasks divided by difficulty level began to appear. The difficulty level of the tasks is similar to the talent division. The highest level is SSS, and the lowest is F. Each task also has a minimum recommended strength. Generally speaking, newcomers like Su Mu, who have just entered the battlefield of the 10,000 clans, belong to the lowest level of F in terms of battlefield merit. The only tasks they can take are F-level tasks. However, because Su Mu is a member of the Genius Training Camp, he can receive up to D-level tasks. Completing an F-level task earns between 0, 0 01 and 0, 1 merit points. According to the rules of the Eastern War Zone, in order for Su Mu to advance from F to E level, he must earn a thousand times the highest merit points obtained from an F-level task, which is 100 merit points. If he takes a D-level task, the merit points for one D-level task range from 1 to 10. In other words, Su Mu must take at least 10 D-level tasks in order to raise his merit level to E and be able to take higher level tasks. Sumu glanced roughly at the tasks on the screen. To his surprise, he found a task that matched his goal. As for the other two tasks, he just randomly chose two D-level tasks with high merit points. All three are D-level tasks? The recommended strength for a typical D-level task is around the second realm warrior. If your strength is not enough, it's best not to be reckless. If you die, no one will come to collect your body. Seeing that Sumu chose three D-level tasks, the man couldn't help but furrow his brows, apparently thinking that Sumu was too overconfident. However, Sumu said, I'll choose these three. Seeing Sumu's insistence, the man didn't try to persuade him anymore, just nodded and said, all right. Soon, Sumu accepted all three tasks. He quickly walked out of the mission hall to collect his battle armor and weapons. As a member of the genius training camp, they can receive battle armor and weapons that are two realms higher than their own level. Currently, Sumu can only receive D-level battle armor and weapons. After selecting a suitable long sword, Sumu walked directly towards the door. In the entire eastern war zone, 
There are special vehicles that can take you directly to certain areas of the 10,000 clans battlefield. Just after Sumu left the mission hall, several soldiers gathered around the window where Sumu had just been, with a playful expression on their faces. Oldly, what level of tasks did that kid choose? As a member of the genius training camp, there should be at least one E-level task among the three, right? The man called Oldly glanced at them and shrugged, you guessed wrong. He chose three tasks, and all three are D-level. All three tasks are D-level. The soldiers furrowed their brows. This kid, he really, isn't afraid of tigers as a newborn calf. He's so desperate to catch up with the others, isn't he? D-level tasks are recommended for second realm warriors. Even they wouldn't dare to choose them casually. If their strength is not enough, they could easily lose their lives. And yet, Sumu just chose three D-level tasks right off the bat. It was somewhat unexpected for them. Sumu naturally had no idea what was happening in the mission hall. At this moment, he was sitting in a special vehicle heading to the 10,000 clans battlefield. There were many soldiers wearing battle armor on the vehicle, but they were mostly moving in small teams. Sumu's gaze turned to the window. In his mind, he was contemplating the three tasks he had chosen. He didn't care much about the other two D-level tasks. They were just about killing some foreign enemies with the strength of second realm warriors. Based on his current strength, coupled with the furious windsword technique that carries the intent of the furious windsword, a second realm warrior of the alien race can also fight. What Sumu cares most about is the D-level mission related to the suicidal talent he wants to find. The location of this mission is a place called Snake Valley on the battlefield of the 10,000 races. There are dozens of snake-like alien races inside. One of the suicidal talents that Sumu wants to find comes from a race called the Venomous Golden Ring Snake. A level talent, Corpse Poison. Hiss. At this moment, Sumu has been searching in Snake Valley for more than 10 hours. Snake Valley is located about 100 miles east of the Eastern War Zone. In some areas that are relatively close, there are generally no powerful alien races, which are also suitable for new recruits with weak strength to adapt and train. Because there are many snake-like alien races inside, it is named Snake Valley by the human race. In Snake Valley, a pungent stench can be smelled everywhere. There are also some alien corpses that have been gnawed on the ground. The biggest difference between aliens and humans is that even if humans are hungry, they generally will not eat their own kind. But for aliens, let alone different races, sometimes cannibalism occurs even among the same race. Except for some large-scale battles, during normal times, most of the middle and low-level aliens actually fight against the human race or other alien races as a race. Only higher-level aliens, with enough wisdom, will clearly regard the human race as opponents. And the middle and low-level aliens generally only launch large-scale battles against the human race under the command of these higher-level aliens. Sumu frowned. He used his arm to slightly cover his nose and walked slowly towards the depths of Snake Valley. Hiss. Just after taking a few steps, he encountered a long snake with black markings all over its body. Race, Black Striped Ring Snake Race, Life Force, 435, Mid-Stage Second Realm Warrior, Talent, D-Level, Poison Fawn, Habit, Living in Snake Valley on the Battlefield of the 10,000 Races. Weakness, 7 inches. Swish. Sumu raised his hand and slashed with his sword. The long sword drew a cold light in the air. In the next moment, this black striped ring snake was directly cut in half by Sumu. Sumu picked up the corpse of this black striped ring snake, took a look, and then threw it aside, continuing to move forward cautiously. He would definitely have to rewind at least once. Although the corpses of these snake races are quite valuable and can be used to make many medicines, for Sumu, they are just fleeting illusions. So he simply threw them aside. Generally speaking, among the snake-like alien races, the venomous golden ring snake is an extremely special existence, with a venom so fierce that it can even poison itself. There should be no other snake-like alien races where it is located. Swish. He raised his hand and dealt with another snake. Sumu began to recall the information about the venomous golden ring snake in his mind. After thinking for a while, he raised his hand slightly. With the raising of his hand, a green power spread slightly into the surrounding air. With the dispersal of the green power, a gentle breeze blew from all directions around Sumu. Along with the breeze, Sumu closed his eyes. Various smells in the air entered his nose. The stench of corpses, the faint smell of earth with a hint of blood, and the special smell emitted by various snake races. There are fewer snake races in these directions. Sumu opened his eyes and looked in one direction. Then his figure flashed and quickly moved towards that direction. It's unknown how long he walked. Sumu arrived at an open area. There were still some traces of blood on the ground. Obviously, aliens had just eaten here. Sumu waved his long sword. With a movement of his mind, flames suddenly ignited on his sword. Still hiding, Sumu swung his sword fiercely. 
A tree fell down with a loud crash. In the next moment, a black-scaled snake, about three to four meters long, covered in a faint glow, with a sharp horn on its head, appeared in Su Mu's line of sight. Race, Black Horn Scale Snake, HP, 835, Late Stage Martial Master, Talent, Grade A, Poisonous Mist, Habit, Lives in the Snake Valley of the Battlefield of 10,000 Races. Weakness, Horn. After seeing the appearance of this snake, Sumu felt somewhat disappointed. The Black Horn Scale Snake could be considered a king level race among the snake tribes in this snake valley. It was no wonder that there were no other snake tribes nearby, just like the venomous Golden Ring Snake. Although he was somewhat disappointed, since he had already come, and it was a great A talent, he couldn't just come here for nothing, right? Come on, little black horn scale snake, show me your talent. Great A talent, poisonous mist, poisonous mist, generates a deadly mist around the body that can poison enemies one realm higher than oneself. The power and range of the mist will increase with strength. The reason for duplicating this talent was mainly because Sumu considered killing enemies on the battlefield in the future. If he had such a large scale offensive talent, it would definitely be much more convenient for him. In addition, Sumu also had the ability to control the wind. The combination of the two could definitely maximize the power of the poisonous mist. After duplicating the poisonous mist talent, Sumu began to slaughter the foreign races in the snake valley on a large scale. Wherever the poisonous mist went, even the venomous snakes themselves fell one after another. Sumu didn't know how long he had been wandering in the snake valley when he duplicated another grade B talent, Poison Enhancement. This talent was mainly used in conjunction with the Poisonous Mist. With the combination of these two talents, the Poisonous Mist, which could originally only poison one enemy one realm higher, could now at least poison one enemy one realm higher plus one or two enemies one realm lower. In other words, the current Sumu had the power to fight against enemies in the early and middle stages of the second realm. Just as Sumu was sitting tiredly leaning against a big tree, a breeze blew by. A strange fragrance mixed in the breeze and entered Sumu's nose. With Sumu's super acute senses, he immediately sensed the extraordinary nature of this fragrance. Just by smelling a hint of it, Sumu felt a slight fluctuation in his blood. This discovery made him instantly happy. You see, there are many treasures and precious herbs in the battlefield of 10,000 races. Sumu stood up abruptly. He forcefully took a few breaths in the direction the breeze was blowing. After confirming the source of the fragrance, Sumu picked up his long sword and headed towards the direction of the scent. He didn't know how long he had walked. As Sumu got closer, the fragrance became stronger. Besides this fragrance, there was also a gradually intensifying stench mixed in the air. Following this direction, after walking for about 10 meters, Sumu finally vaguely saw a long bush hanging on the side of a mountain wall. On the bush, there were several strings of crystal clear, blood red fruits. Just as I expected. After seeing the fruits, Sumu's mind immediately recalled the introduction about them. Treasure, snakeberry fruit, effect, enhances HP. Location, often found in places where snake tribes roam. Just as Sumu discovered the snakeberry fruit, a voice interrupted his joy. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Sumu looked in the direction of the voice. A bigger smile appeared on his face. I saw a five meter long snake with a brown body and golden rings around it, making a sound. The snake slowly crawled from beside the snakeberry, arching its body and staring at Sumu. It was a venomous golden ring snake. Race, venomous golden ring snake, HP. 2586, early stage of second realm warrior, talent, B-level, death entanglement, habit, lives in the snake valley of the 10,000 races battlefield. Weakness, eyes. Although it wasn't the talent Sumu needed, the appearance of the venomous golden ring snake meant that there were others nearby. As long as he found the habitat of the venomous golden ring snake, everything would be easier. Sumu laughed out loud, lifted his sword, and flames instantly ignited on it. In the next moment, he directly slashed towards the venomous golden ring snake. Gale Sword Technique. Rolling Wave Sword Chant. A-Level Talent, Mental Manipulation. A-Level Talent, Poisonous Miasma. Although the venomous golden ring snake's strength had already reached the early stage of the second realm warrior, it wasn't much different from other snake races for Sumu. In just a moment, the venomous golden ring snake had already died under Sumu's sword. At the same time, another venomous golden ring snake appeared in Su Mu's line of sight. This was the habitat of the venomous golden ring snake race, and there must be more than just one. Su Mu's face lit up with joy. The faint blue interface appeared in his eyes again. Race, venomous golden ring snake. Talent, D-level, poisonous fangs. No, die. Race, venomous golden ring snake. Talent, C-level, poisonous blood. No, die. After killing more than a dozen venomous golden ring snakes one after another, Sumu still hadn't found the suicidal talent that suited him. 
Just when Sumu was feeling a bit troubled, a new interface suddenly flashed before his eyes. Race, Venomous Golden Ring Snake, HP, 886, Late Stage of First Realm Warrior, Talent, A Level, Poisonous Corpse, Habit, Lives in the Snake Valley of the 10,000 Races Battlefield. Weakness, Eyes. No. Wait, yes, yes. Sumu looked at the Venomous Golden Ring Snake. This Venomous Golden Ring Snake wasn't strong, which was evident from its size. It looked to be only about 2 meters long and about 3 fingers thick. However, it didn't matter whether it was strong or not. I've decided on you. Contribute your talent to me. The venomous golden ring snake obviously didn't notice the excitement in Sumu's eyes. It just stared angrily at Sumu, then arched its body and pounced towards him. In its line of sight, this human who seemed like a god of slaughter suddenly threw away his long sword and lay down on the ground. The venomous golden ring snake didn't care about that and went straight for Sumu's neck. As Sumu was gradually corroded by its venom, his breathing gradually disappeared. Phew. He raised his hand and casually cut down a snake race member. Sumu opened his attribute panel to check. Name, Sumu, HP, 451, 75, mid-stage 1 realm warrior, talents, EX level, post-mortem replication, SSS level, death rewind 12 hours, book of wisdom, sword insight, A level, change appearance, mental manipulation, true sight, healing light, enhanced 5 senses, crimson flame bloodline, poisonous miasma, poisonous corpse, B level, mental enhancement, Wood manipulation, wind manipulation, toxin strengthening A-level talent, poisonous corpse poisonous corpse, can be activated, voluntarily. After activation, life force will rapidly drain, and the body will be filled with terrifying toxins in a short period of time. The individual will die completely while being covered in toxins, becoming a poisonous corpse. This process is irreversible, and once triggered, death is certain. The toxins produced can kill enemies up to two realms higher than oneself. It's here. It's here. It's following the venomous golden ring snake. Finally obtained the desired talent. Sumu's mood is great. With this talent, Sumu doesn't have to worry about being captured or restricted in his actions. As long as Sumu has a thought, he is basically doomed. With this talent, Sumu can act more boldly in the future. Previously, there were many things he didn't dare to do. On one hand, he considered the possibility of provoking others and being captured, tortured, and imprisoned instead of being killed. On the other hand, he was worried about implicating his family. Sumu didn't mind suffering himself, but if it affected his family, he would feel guilty. But now, with this A-level talent, poisonous corpse, everything is different. Sumu is not afraid of being captured or dying at all. He takes a deep breath. This suicide-type talent is just the first talent Sumu prepared. Moreover, this talent is not perfect. If Sumu falls into a coma due to severe injuries like before, this talent will be useless so Sumu has to obtain a second suicide-type talent. However, at least today's mission is completed. Just take the snakeberry fruit directly, then complete the other two D-level missions, go back and prepare some medicines to enhance my strength, and quickly raise my merit level. Sumu quickly arranges the next steps in his mind. The reason for quickly raising the merit level is also to prepare for the second suicide-type talent. Sumu's figure swiftly shuttles through the snake valley. The poisonous miasma surrounds him. Countless members of different races have their lives harvested by Sumu unintentionally. In just a moment, Sumu arrives at the location of the snakeberry fruit. After killing some venomous golden ring snakes, Sumu successfully obtains the snakeberry fruit. Due to the size of his backpack, only the more precious parts are put inside. Even so, his backpack is already piled up like a small mountain. It's time to go back. Two hours later. Mission Hall. Oldly, do you think that kid will die on the battlefield of the 10,000 races? Hard to say. The man shook his head. D-level missions are not easy. Last time, didn't we lose a person just to complete a mission of killing a venomous golden ring snake? That kid is alone, and one of the D-level mission targets is also a venomous golden ring snake. If he encounters someone stronger, it's probably dangerous. Hopefully, this kid will be sensible and ask for help in time. After all, he's a genius. Indeed, the venomous golden ring snake is truly terrifying. Back then, our team of 10 people, with one warrior in the early stage of the second realm, fought against a venomous golden ring snake in the early stage of the second realm. We ended up losing a person to it. That poison is truly deadly. As they were chatting, the two suddenly felt that all the light in front of them was blocked by something. Hello, I'm here to submit the task. The two looked in the direction where the light was blocked. They saw a young man carrying a backpack that was four or five times bigger than him, like a small mountain. He stood in front of them and threw a huge backpack, then gestured towards the man with his mouth, the proof for the three tasks is all here. Please help me register them, 
and then I want to take three more tasks. Okay. Seeing the cloth bag thrown by Su Mu, the man didn't waste any words and immediately started checking it. The venomous gallbladder of the 10,000 poison golden ring snake. The teeth of the iron back flower tiger. The horns of the red eyed black bull. No problem, all three tasks are fine. Su Mu, right? I'll register them for you right away. The man didn't waste any words and quickly registered the tasks for Su Mu. Su Mu received a total of 28 merit points for the 3D level tasks. At this rate, he estimated that he could be promoted from F level to E level in a day or two. He quickly took three more D level tasks. Sumu was about to leave the task hall. But just as he took a few steps, he turned back, Excuse me, can you please tell me where to sell these corpses of the different races? There should be a special place in the war zone to handle them, right? After leaving the task hall, go north for about 300 meters, the man replied. Okay, thank you. Sumu nodded. Then he strode out of the task hall. Just as Sumu left, more than a dozen people suddenly crowded around the man's window. Damn, Lowly, who is that kid? The corpses of the different races in his backpack, my god, there are at least a dozen 10,000 poison golden ring snakes. That's right, his backpack is about to burst. Many corpses of different races are directly tied to the outside of the backpack. Do you know what I saw? The corpses of three silver-tailed leopards. And their strength is at least in the early second realm. But that kid only looks like he's in the mid-first realm. Stop talking, I'm a bit overwhelmed. Lao Li, we really underestimated him. This kid is really amazing. He even used the corpses of 10,000 poison golden ring snakes as ropes to tie other corpses of different races. He used at least a dozen of them. It was so difficult for me to kill a 10,000 poison golden ring snake, but in front of this kid, it's like slaughtering them effortlessly. Lao Li, sitting in front of the window, also nodded in shock. Stop making noise, all of you. He glared at the dozen or so people crowding around his window. Instead of chatting, you might as well practice more and take more tasks. As for that kid you're talking about, he's truly a genius. Lolly looked at the screen in front of him and then said, Do you know how long it took him from accepting 3D level tasks to completing them? Lolly's words immediately caught everyone's attention. When everyone's gaze turned to him, Lolly slowly said, Less than 3 hours. And, he completed them as an individual. Less than 3 hours. Completed as an individual. Every soldier present had taken D-level tasks before, so they naturally understood the difficulty of D-level tasks. The recommended strength for D-level tasks was at the early second realm. However, when it came to actually completing them, everyone would choose to do it together with a team. Even so, combining the steps of exploring the terrain, finding the mission targets, completing the tasks, and successfully retreating, it would take several days. Sometimes, just finding the mission targets alone would take a day or two. But that kid. He completed three D-level tasks in three hours. An average of one hour per D-level task. What the hell? The soldiers present felt like they had been slapped hard in the face. This is too outrageous. For a moment, the soldiers present were speechless. After a while, a soldier finally spoke up and asked, Oldly, what's the name of the genius trainee in this training camp? Damn, I think this guy will definitely be one of the top figures among the human race in the future. Everyone's gaze turned to Old Lee once again. Old Lee said, talking too much, aren't you? Don't ask what you shouldn't. Ah, uh, am I too excited? Everyone looked at Su Mu's departing figure, knowing that one day in the future, they would definitely hear this young man's name from somewhere. At the same time, after selling all the bodies of the foreign races, Su Mu bought some medicinal materials and rented a training room in the war zone. The tiger bones and bear blood requested from the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University had not yet arrived. Before that, Sumu had to find a way to prepare some chi and blood medicine himself. Fortunately, Sumu obtained a lot of snake berries in the Snake Valley, which should be enough for him to use for a while after being prepared into chi and blood medicine. Upon arriving at the training room, Sumu quickly prepared the snake berries he obtained, along with some medicinal materials and bodies of foreign races, into chi and blood medicine. There were about 10 pairs of chi and blood medicine prepared with snake berries, which should be enough for Sumu to use for 3 to 5 days. After 3 to 5 days, the compensation from the school should also arrive. This time, Sumu had been lying in bed for a week, missing the golden week of the training camp. The compensation given by the school was extremely generous. Sumu even had some anticipation. Shaking his head, he didn't think about it anymore. Sumu directly took a pair of chi and blood medicine made from snake berries and then began practicing the all races body refining technique. Inside the training room, Sumu's heavy breathing soon resounded. It was unknown how much time had passed when Sumu somewhat weakly lay on the ground. These snake berries truly deserved to be called heavenly treasures for enhancing chi and blood. Sumu couldn't help but exclaim while lying on the ground. 
In just a short while, Sumu's chi and blood value had increased by nearly 20 points. At this rate, when Sumu finished consuming all the chi and blood medicine made from snakeberries, he estimated that he would not be far from the late One Realm Warrior. After practicing the All Races Body Refining Technique for a while, Sumu began practicing the Divine Demon Visualization Technique. The improvement in his mental power still surprised Sumu. It seemed that every time he reset, the Divine Demon Visualization Technique would have miraculous effects. After practicing for several hours, the improvement in Sumu's mental power was even greater than the increase in his chi and blood value from consuming the chi and blood medicine made from snakeberries. After finishing practicing the Divine Demon Visualization Technique, Sumu began immersing himself in the training room, studying various knowledge about the different races. After coming to the battlefield of the different races, he increasingly realized the saying that knowledge gained from books is shallow, and true understanding comes from personal experience. Although he had deliberately studied some of the racial habits of the venomous gold ring snake before, it still took him a lot of effort when he actually went to search for it. The knowledge he learned from Shenlan was indeed comprehensive, but it could only be better applied through more practice. Twelve hours passed quietly in Su Mu's study. He looked at the time, stood up, and stretched lazily. Then, he picked up the long sword placed aside. It's about time to brush up on my talents. At the moment he picked up the long sword, Su Mu's appearance visibly changed at a rapid pace. In just a moment, he had transformed into a tall man over two meters tall. After all, it was his first time doing such a thing, so Sumu was a bit hesitant for a moment. But even if he couldn't let go, he still had to do it. After changing his appearance with a new face, Sumu walked out of the training room with big strides. The long sword in his hand quickly covered with a layer of crimson flames. Watch where you're going. A soldier crashed straight into Sumu. But before he could finish speaking, a slap swiftly came towards him. Smack! The soldier was caught off guard and flew out. Thud. He landed heavily on the ground. At the same time, Sumu raised his hand and stabbed his sword towards the shoulder of a person beside him. Sorry. Sumu silently apologized in his heart. Immediately, his hand didn't stop. Furious wind sword technique. Rolling wave sword chant. Spiritual enchantment. Crimson flame bloodline. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. One after another, the attacks poured crazily towards the people around. Although it seemed powerful, Sumu tried to avoid hitting anyone vital, releasing most of the force on the ground or nearby building walls. After the initial panic, the soldiers quickly reacted and launched attacks towards Sumu. Sumu was strong, but among the nearby soldiers, there were also second-stage martial artists. Soon, Sumu started to get injured. This won't work. The talents of the surrounding soldiers are too weak. If it continues like this, this rollback will be wasted. Seeing that some ordinary soldiers were about to grind him to death, a green mist quickly spread around Sumu's body. A level talent, poisonous miasma. This wasn't the end. A black light flashed across Sumu's body. The black light poured in, and the green mist instantly deepened in color. B-level talent, poison enhancement. At the same time, a breeze appeared out of thin air behind Sumu. With the green mist, it quickly rushed towards the surrounding soldiers. These poisons were a method Sumu had planned in advance, capable of quickly immobilizing people, even making them appear dead. However, as long as they received timely treatment within 24 hours, there would be no major harm. It's, it's poisonous. Some soldiers felt uneasy when they saw the green mist. But under Sumu's control of the wind, the mist spread rapidly. By the time they saw the mist, it had already rushed towards them. Watching the soldiers being poisoned one by one, a trace of reluctance flashed in Sumu's eyes. But it quickly disappeared. Sorry, everyone. After all, it was his first time doing something like this. Sumu still felt somewhat guilty. However, in order to brush his talents, this should be the fastest method. Under Sumu's poisonous mist, soldiers fell one after another. With Sumu's current poisonous miasma enhanced by toxins, even a late-stage second-stage martial artist couldn't withstand it. Even a third-stage martial artist would find it difficult to move freely under this poisonous miasma. And under Sumu's bold actions, he quickly attracted the siege of many human soldiers. In the rounds of battle, Sumu eventually died at the hands of a third-stage martial artist with a B-level talent, water manipulation. His condensed water arrow pierced Sumu's heart while he was distracted. At the moment the water arrow pierced him, Sumu felt his vision gradually darken. The pain of death had become somewhat numb to him. His last thought in his mind was, damn, B-level talent, what a waste. Who? Sumu suddenly raised his head, gasping for breath. To be honest, when he first started injuring and knocking out human soldiers outside, Sumu was a bit clumsy. But towards the end, he was able to accurately control his strength. However, even so, Sumu still sat against the wall with some lingering fear. 
The guilt of being enemies with all his compatriots made it difficult for him to accept for a while. He originally thought that he could easily accept standing against everyone, but when they really stood in front of him and continuously attacked him, Sumu always had an indescribable feeling. I'm sorry. Sumu pressed his temple. He stood up again. In order to quickly improve his strength, Sumu had to duplicate more talents. And in order to quickly attract attention in the war zone and attract some powerful people to kill him, he had to make things bigger. Sumu walked out of the training room again, this time without even changing his appearance. Watch where you're going. Bang. Sumu. Why did you betray the human race? Fang Chiochio, haven't you always wanted to fight me? I'll give you this opportunity. I'll kill you, you murderer. Put. Fang Chiochio, although you're not very smart, it's not bad for the human race to have a talented fool like you. Watch where you're going. Bang. Sumu, surrender quickly. What kind of heresy have you been influenced by? Capture him alive. A dazzling genius, actually massacring in the war zone, there must be some secret behind this. Catch him and see who is behind him. He, he's dead. He poisoned himself to death. Watch where you're going. Bang. Genius of the genius training camp? Unfortunately, you betrayed the human race at such a young age. You, such a person, should kneel to death in the martyr's cemetery. Remember, the one who kills you is Cho Sun. Watch where you're going. Bang. Sumu, traitor of the human race. Lu Yuan, sophomore student at Longjing Martial Arts University. Please, please. I didn't expect that the human race still has a genius like you. It's not a loss to die in your hands. You're strong, stronger than me a year ago. It's a pity that if you weren't a traitor of the human race, we might have become good opponents, good friends. Ha, ha, you're also the strongest opponent I've encountered at the same level so far. Clearly only in the mid-stage of the second realm, but your strength far exceeds that. Let's be friends next time. Next time, don't be a traitor. If possible, who would want to be a traitor? But whether you believe it or not, my hands are not stained with their blood. Take care. It's unknown how long has passed. Sumu sat against the wall in a daze. His face was a bit pale. Scenes flashed through his mind like a movie, quickly passing by. I am not a traitor. He stood up absent-mindedly. I am not a traitor. Shenlan, do you think I will collapse if things continue like this? Master, your mental strength is strong enough. Even if it's ten times more painful, you can bear it. But I suggest you try to find a talent that can erase memories. That should effectively alleviate your pain. Hearing Shenlan's response in his mind, Sumu shook his head. Let's talk about it later. He took a deep breath. These memories are reminding me to improve my strength quickly, aren't they? He stood up. With a simple sentence, it seemed to smooth out his emotions just now. He sat on the bed next to him. He began to count his gains. With his current mental strength, he could probably rewind more than 60 times. And he had already rolled back nearly 50 times before. From the initial discomfort, and sometimes, after rolling back, he would unconsciously retch in the corner. Now, he has gradually adapted. And the benefits brought by these 50 deaths and rollbacks are quite significant. Sumu has replicated more than 20 talents. Among them, more than 10 talents are B-level or below, and even 4 or 5 of them are redundant talents with little use. This is mainly because Sumu was a human traitor for the first time and was not accustomed to it. At the beginning, he basically went out and killed people, trying to attract attention. Then the soldiers all rushed forward. In addition, although some soldiers had mediocre talents, they had been practicing for more than 10 or 20 years and had barely reached the third or even fourth realm. If they accidentally killed Sumu, after dying more than 10 times, Sumu became slightly more purposeful when seeking death. The first stop was the genius training camp, not to mention that he died in the hands of everyone, but as long as it was an S-level talent or an A-level talent, Sumu basically replicated them all. Among them, Sumu replicated two S-level talents, several A-level talents, and as for B-level talents, there were quite a few. Sumu estimates that he could write a book about this experience called How I Died in Various Ways in the Hands of Others. However, after coming out of the genius training camp, Sumu's path of seeking death encountered some obstacles. He was caught several times and forced to transform into a poisonous corpse. Of course, there were also some unexpected gains. One of them was meeting a major named Cho Sun, the strong man mentioned by the middle-aged man with a lame leg who Sumu had heard before. Major Cho Sun's strength has reached the fifth realm. If it weren't for Sumu holding a hostage back then, he probably wouldn't have been able to reach Major Cho Sun. But fortunately, the outcome was good. Sumu successfully made Major Chiyo Sun contribute his talent. As a young man who became a fifth realm powerhouse at a young age and even rose to the rank of major in the war zone, Major Chiyo Sun's talent did not disappoint Sumu. 
His talent is the highest level talent Sumu has obtained since replicating in the war zone. An SS level talent. In addition to Major Cho Sun, Sumu also encountered a character that surprised him during these rollbacks. Lu Yuan, the first place in the second year of Longjing Martial Arts University, a genius student. Although Lu Yuan's talent is only S level and his strength is only in the mid second realm, he is not as good as Cho Sun, but Lu Yuan's combat instinct is outstanding. Before encountering Lu Yuan, Sumu always believed that at least under the circumstances of giving his all, martial artists below the third realm should not be his opponents. But Lu Yuan completely shattered this idea. Although Lu Yuan only has the strength of the mid second realm, Sumu was almost overwhelmed in the battle against him. Lu Yuan's body refining technique, breathing technique, and even martial skills may not be top notch. Even his talent is not top notch. But Sumu can clearly feel during the battle with Lu Yuan that Lu Yuan always manages to maximize every advantage he has. This is not only related to his talent but also to Lu Yuan's deliberate training. As for Sumu, although he has many talents, because of this, Sumu will need more time to practice and familiarize himself with each talent. Fortunately, Sumu has the talent of rolling back death for 12 hours, so during the 12 hours of waiting, he can use it to learn knowledge and practice the use of these talents. The road may have fought hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands of times to reach this point. So Sumu can also fight hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of times. It may be difficult to defeat Chosun, after all, the gap in strength is too great, but Lu Yuan, before leaving the training camp, I must defeat you fair and square. Sumu took a deep breath. In order to stop himself from recalling his experience of resetting nearly 50 times, Sumu had to set a goal for himself and gradually fade away those experiences during the journey towards that goal. Sumu took out a notebook and quickly started writing on it. Anyway, he was going to reset again later, so he wasn't worried about leaving anything on the notebook. This newly acquired talent. D-level talents, strength enhancement, speed enhancement, enhanced sense of smell. C-level talents, fireball technique, water snake technique, vine entanglement. B-level talents, water manipulation, gold manipulation, earth manipulation. A-level talents, talent mist, power of the earth, spatial movement, power of thunder, absorption acceleration. S-level talents, wind god, sun patterns, limitless body. SS-level talent, annihilation body. Numerous talents filled the notebook. Not a single page was left empty. Among these talents, the B-level talents were not of much use to Sumu at the moment. Sumu didn't plan to spend too much time on them. His main focus was on A-level talents and above. This time, he obtained 5 A-level talents. Talent missed, this talent was obtained from a soldier. Sumu originally thought it was an A-level or higher talent. But after obtaining it, he realized it was talent missed. For ordinary people, talent missed might be somewhat mediocre, but for Sumu himself, it was not bad. This talent, as the name suggests, prevents others from seeing through your talents. If talent mist encounters talents like true sight, it can prevent being seen through. However, talent mist also has its limits. A level or S level talents cannot see through talent mist, but if it's an SS level talent similar to true sight, then it's hard to say. Talent mist has a significant effect on Sumu, not too big, not too small. Strictly speaking, Sumu's replication of this talent can't be considered a misstep. However, Sumu is more concerned about the other four talents among the A-level talents. First is Power of the Earth. This was obtained from one of the camp's talented members. It is an enhanced version of Earth Manipulation, but compared to Earth Manipulation, Power of the Earth has a more powerful ability. When your feet are on the ground, you can continuously restore stamina. Of course, this stamina restoration also has its limits. It's roughly equivalent to restoring about 20% to 30% when you've consumed 100% stamina. Don't underestimate this 20% to 30%. In battle, it's like increasing your endurance by 20% to 30%. The second is spatial movement. This talent is extremely useful for Su Mu. He can carry a space that can expand as his strength grows. The space is about 100 cubic meters and cannot hold living creatures. Previously, Sumu had to carry a backpack and painstakingly bring back the bodies of the killed aliens, tying them up one by one with the bodies of Snake Clan members. Now, with this spatial movement talent, he can easily bring them over. Sumu can bring the bodies of the different races he kills into his space at any time. The only regret is that when Sumu first obtained this talent, he wondered if he could exploit a bud by putting things in the moving space and then reverting back in time, with the things still inside. However, he tried it and it didn't work. When reverting back, Sumu can only bring his talent and memories, but nothing else. 
If his talent could personify, Sumu would have liked to curse at the rewind of 12 hours, saying that he couldn't even reach the EX level, as he can't even rewind items. After that, there is the power of thunder. This power actually belongs to the same type as the power of the earth, the power of thunder manipulation, combined with obtaining power from thunder and lightning. However, it is clear that it is not as practical as the power of the earth. But compared to the power of the earth, the power of thunder is obviously much stronger. After the power of thunder, the last A-level talent is absorption and acceleration. At first glance, this talent seems ordinary. But when Sumu truly understood its information, he realized how powerful this talent is. Absorption and acceleration, as the name suggests, he can fully absorb and accelerate the absorption of the chi and blood medicine he takes, as well as the meat of different races. Originally, you could only take a maximum of three doses of chi and blood medicine in a day, and your body probably couldn't absorb anymore. But with this talent, you can take 10 doses of chi and blood medicine in a day, greatly increasing the rate of increasing your chi and blood value. Originally, you could only eat dozens of kilograms of meat from different races in a day, but with this talent, you can eat hundreds of kilograms of meat from different races in a day. With this talent, it is definitely a huge help for Su Mu to improve his strength. After organizing the A-level talents, Su Mu roughly wrote down the training directions for each A-level talent in his notebook. Then he shifted his focus to the S-level talents. In nearly 50 rewinds, Su Mu only found three S-level talents. Two of them came from the genius training camp, and one came from the opponent Su Mu wanted to defeat, Lu Yuan. Among the S-level talents, the first one is the Wind God, which comes from Fang Chiocho's talent. Su Mu had already made up his mind to obtain it. Naturally, Su Mu had already understood this talent. The second one is the Sun's Mark. To be honest, this talent not only has an effect on Su Mu personally, but also has an effect on the people around him. Su Mu can imprint the Sun's Mark on others, with a maximum of three imprints each time. As his strength increases and is stimulated, the imprints will disappear, and only Su Mu's can remain. When the sun's mark is stimulated, his strength will greatly increase, entering a special state where his reactions, strength, speed, and other aspects will all improve. Sumu has tried it and with his mid-stage first realm strength, he can easily defeat opponents in the late stage of the second realm. It is also with the sun's mark that Sumu was able to barely withstand Lu Yuan's attacks for more than 10 moves. Speaking of Lu Yuan, Sumu was filled with sadness. This guy is a pervert who has fought countless times. Lastly, there is Lu Yuan's limit body. The greatest effect of this talent is that every time you improve, it will push your strength, speed, physique, and defense to the limit that your body can bear. However, in return, the difficulty of improvement will also increase. It is probably because of this limitation that Lu Yuan is currently only at the mid-stage of the second realm. But this limitation is nothing for Su Mu. His promotion speed was already fast enough, and with the absorption acceleration, even though it was difficult to enhance the limit body, that difficulty was just a small obstacle for Su Mu. Lu Yuan's talent allowed him to have the strength comparable to the early stage of the third realm, even though he only had the mid-stage chi and blood value of the second realm. Combined with his seemingly countless battle training experiences, Lu Yuan had fully explored the potential of this talent. This talent, if placed on someone else, might only be an S-level talent, but on Lu Yuan, it could even be compared to an SS-level talent. When Su Mu first saw this talent, he didn't plan to replicate Lu Yuan's talent. He noticed that in the limit body, when enhancing, it would also enhance the defense to the body's limit. Defense was the least needed by Su Mu, and during his cultivation, he had been avoiding replicating talents that greatly enhanced defense. On one hand, he wanted to sacrifice all defense and focus on attacking, and on the other hand, it was also for the convenience of sacrificing himself. Fortunately, Deep Blue provided him with a solution. This solution involved the SS-level talent he obtained from Chiyo Sun, Annihilation Body. The Annihilation Body had the power to destroy everything, and once the power was activated, it could attach the Annihilation Power to everything he could touch, including weapons. However, at the same time, his own body would continuously deteriorate under the effect of the Annihilation Power. When the strength reached a certain level, the Annihilation Power could even annihilate time and space. According to Deep Blue, Sumu could use the limit body to enhance his strength as much as possible during normal times. But during battles, once he activated the Annihilation body and used the Annihilation power, Sumu's body would enter a state of continuous deterioration. Sumu estimated that if not for this limitation, the Annihilation body could be considered an SSS level talent. Unfortunately, when using the Annihilation body, the Annihilation power would continuously deteriorate his own body. If it deteriorated to a critical point, his body might even reach a state that couldn't be repaired. This point didn't matter to Su Mu. 
As long as it didn't reach the critical point, he could repair it, and even if it reached the critical point, he would just die. After organizing all the talents in his notebook, Sumu took a deep breath. He began to familiarize himself with and practice these talents. After approximately 12 hours passed, Sumu walked out of the training room again. This time, his target was Lu Yuan. In the Eastern War Zone, Lu Yuan was the most suitable person for him to practice his talents and hone his combat skills. When there were only about three to five more chances to rewind, Sumu finally decided not to rewind anymore. Instead, he started taking the remaining chi and blood medicine made from snakeberries. With the absorption acceleration, Sumu felt that in at most two days, he could step into the later stage of the first realm. When Sumu stepped out of the training room again, his strength had already reached the later stage of the first realm. His chi and blood value skyrocketed to 786. 58. During this time, besides practicing body refining technique, he also practiced visualization technique and breathing technique. Besides the improvement in chi and blood value, his spiritual power also increased rapidly, reaching 865. 58. Also stepping into the later stage of the first realm. At this rate, it was uncertain whether his spiritual power might even step into the second realm of warriors before his chi and blood value. However, what puzzled Su Mu was that currently his mental power seemed unable to initiate attacks. Besides relying on his talent, he seemed to have no other means of attack. Su Mu didn't have any good references regarding this point. At least, among both the human race and the myriad races, those who could use mental power to attack, apart from talent, generally only had an effect after reaching the third realm of martial artists. As for the myriad races, many races, especially those naturally inclined to use mental power for attack, were born as strong individuals at the third realm or even the fourth or fifth realms. As for the human race, it might be even more difficult. Anyway, there hadn't been any progress until 10 years later. Currently, Sumu could only explore the aspect of mental power on his own. After his strength improved, the first thing Sumu did was to quickly complete a D-level mission. It took him less than a day to complete 9 D-level missions again. His merit smoothly reached 112 points. Sumu's merit level directly reached E-level. With the merit level reaching E-level, it meant that Sumu could undertake missions up to the highest level of C. This was also Sumu's goal. Sumu's suicidal talent hadn't been fully collected yet. In his plan, the suicidal talent still needed at least two more talents. One of them came from a race called Blood Mad Cat. This race had an A-level talent called Burning Life Madness. Unlike the suicidal talent of the A-level talent Poison Corpse, Burning Life Madness involved a rapid increase in one's vitality, but once the time for the increase passed, one would immediately die. The principle of the highest secret guard's fatal needle before was somewhat similar to this burning life madness. The poison corpse talent Sumu previously obtained was used for suicidal resistance when he was captured and unable to resist. On the other hand, burning life madness was prepared for a desperate fight against the enemy when there was no escape. The advantage of poison corpse was that Sumu didn't have to fear being captured. Even if he encountered opponents with much stronger strength who directly restricted his movements, he could still commit suicide. The advantage of Burning Life Madness was that Sumu could have one last burst of strength. If he encountered opponents who didn't crush him in strength and wanted to capture him alive, Sumu could give it his all. If he succeeded, it would be a test of his combat experience. If he failed and was killed by the opponent, it would be even better. With Poison Corpse and Burning Life Madness, Sumu could basically say that he could attack when necessary and defend when necessary. He didn't have to worry about not being able to die. However, the only flaw was that if someone directly knocked Sumu unconscious, just like last time, Sumu might be in trouble. At this time, Sumu needs to choose the third suicide talent. The third suicide talent is found in a race called the Life and Death Worm. This race only has one talent, an S-level talent called Life and Death Bond. This talent allows one to imprint a bond on oneself or another creature. If the bonded individual dies, the other will also die, even healing talents cannot save them. The only flaw is that when imprinting the bond, the other party must not have any resistance and one's own strength must be stronger. However, this is not a big problem for Su Mu, as he possesses the talent of mental manipulation and is not afraid of resistance. After obtaining this talent, Su Mu needs to capture a species called the Day and Night Worm. As the name suggests, this worm only lives for a day or a night, laying eggs and dying. The time difference between each stage is no more than 12 hours. Sumu's task is to imprint the bond on the day and night worm and then imprint the bond on himself. Before the worm dies, he must remove the previous imprint and imprint a new one on another worm. If the imprint is not renewed, the worm will die within 12 hours, possibly even less than an hour. In that case, even if Sumu encounters an accident and falls into a coma, he can immediately die and return to the state before the coma. 
Although imprinting twice a day may be troublesome, on one hand, Sumu's bond can sense the state of the other bond, so he doesn't have to worry about missing the imprint. On the other hand, this method ensures that Sumu will not experience a month-long coma like before. When choosing this talent, Sumu has already considered various situations, mainly based on his talent of dying and returning 12 hours back in time, just in case. Once these three suicide talents are arranged, Sumu can almost act recklessly without any worries. Is the enemy restricting your actions? Poison the corpse directly. Does the enemy want to capture you alive? Activate the life and death bond and go into a frenzy. Did the enemy knock you unconscious? Wait a few hours or even 12 hours, then die together with the day and night worm. And the last life and death bond can not only be used on Sumu himself but also on others. Through the life and death bond, Sumu can even subdue some other races or convert some followers of the cult of the other world. However, with Sumu's current strength, he can only imprint a maximum of 10 pairs of bonds. Besides his own bonds, he can imprint up to 9 pairs on others. Of course, this will gradually increase as Sumu's power grows. Just like before, Sumu's ability to die and return in time could only be used a few times, but now, with his growing mental power, he can use it dozens or even hundreds of times. The tasks related to the two races chosen by Sumu are mostly C-level tasks. That's why Sumu planned to take on these tasks after reaching E-level. After accepting the three C-level tasks in the mission hall, Sumu hurriedly headed to the war zone of the myriad races. He quickly obtained the talent of life and death frenzy from a blood mad cat. After obtaining the talent of life and death frenzy, Sumu quickly headed to the location of the third talent and the day and night worm, the forest valley of myriad insects. Inside the forest valley of myriad insects, there are densely packed ancient trees that reach into the sky. Sumu's gaze fell on these ancient trees. The habitats of these insect-like races are on these trees. Sumu needs to determine the type of insect based on the traces left by the insects on these trees. Sumu had studied this knowledge specifically during the previous rollback. With the help of Deep Blue, after about 10 hours, Sumu finally found the purpose of his trip. Life and Death Insects The life and death insects are black and white in color. They are highly poisonous and should not be touched by ordinary people. If not treated in time after being bitten, they will gradually die within an hour. However, for Sumu, this is the best news. It's another rollback. Sumu's S-level talent now includes a life and death contract. Next, I will go find the morning and evening worm. Sumu had already learned about it before. The morning and evening worm is located deep in the Wanchong Forest Valley. However, before catching the morning and evening worm, Sumu planned to see if there were any talents suitable for him among the insects in the Wanchong Forest Valley. Sumu slowly moved towards the deep part of the Wanchong Forest Valley. It's unknown how long he walked. Suddenly, he found himself in a hidden valley. This valley was hidden in the Wanchong Forest Valley. Sumu used the long sword attached to the Crimson Flame bloodline to kill a group of insects while walking towards the valley. However, just a few steps in, he heard a strange voice through his enhanced senses. General Tsong, with your help, this operation will surely go smoothly. In the deepest part of the hidden valley, a huge swollen tree was rooted in the soil. On the tree, there was a deep green insect. The insect's body was huge, resembling an enlarged flea. In front of the insect stood a figure wearing a black cloth bag. What was somewhat alarming was that the voice did not come from the insect, or rather, not entirely from the insect. It was a faintly emerging human face on the insect's skin. The figure wearing the black cloth bag seemed to have already become accustomed to it. He simply said, well, in that case, let's do it this way. But at that moment, the figure in the black cloth bag suddenly frowned. It seems a little mouse has sneaked in. Upon hearing these words, the skin on the deep green insect's body suddenly began to move. Then, a human face desperately tried to break free from the deep green insect's body, making a grim sound. TSK TSK TSK, General Tsong, it's you human mice again. In the distance, Su Mu, who was listening to everything with his enhanced senses, suddenly felt a sense of danger. The next moment, he felt a sharp pain in his neck. Immediately, he lost control of his body and fell down. Su Mu suddenly felt that he had lost his ability to move. Although he could still see the scenery in front of him and hear the sounds around him, his body was completely immobile. Seeing this situation, Sumu quickly activated his poison corpse talent. At the same time, just as Sumu fell, the figure in the black cloth bag instantly appeared in front of him, grabbing his body. Then, the figure appeared in front of the deep green insect. Thank you for your trouble, General Tsong. I particularly enjoy eating young people like you humans who are 18 or 19 years old. The flesh is tender and elastic. The human face that appeared on the deep green insect's skin was excited. Then enjoy it slowly. The person in the black cloth bag coldly glanced at Su Mu, who was gradually losing consciousness. 
The figure disappeared instantly into the hidden valley, and after the person in the black cloth bag disappeared, the dark green bug slowly crawled down from the big tree. When it came in front of Sumu, its mouth suddenly enlarged, revealing rows of sharp teeth. Sumu looked at it with extreme disgust as it swallowed him whole. Sumu lost consciousness completely. Ding, you have been killed by the human-faced bug, successful replication, congratulations on obtaining SSS level talent, same species fusion, SSS level talent, same species fusion, same species fusion, able to fuse talents and bodies of the same species, fusing talents can promote talent evolution and improvement, fusing with the same species requires consuming them to obtain their body parts and replace one's own, the more body parts of the same species fused, the greater the improvement. Sumu gasped heavily. Damn, died so many times. This way of being eaten was the first time Sumu experienced it. However, the harvest this time far exceeded Sumu's imagination. SSS level talent. And its same species fusion. You see, something that has been bothering Sumu for a long time is that he has replicated too many talents. They are diverse but not refined. Some talents are actually of no use to him because they may overlap with higher level talents. But never did he expect that he would unexpectedly obtain an SSS level talent, same species fusion. The upper limit of this talent is extremely high. It can not only help Sumu solve the problem of having numerous and diverse talents, but also improve the level of some talents. For example, Sumu's true sight. Previously, when Sumu replicated talents, he had to consider whether the talent was redundant or of low level and not worth replicating. But now, as long as it's an eye-related talent, Sumu can completely replicate it and then fuse it with his true sight. As long as Sumu fuses enough eye-related talents, his original A-level talent, true sight, has a great chance of further evolving into an S-level talent. Sumu had previously searched specifically for this type of fusion talent using Deep Blue. However, this type of talent is too rare. Even among the myriad races, there is no certainty as to which race will awaken this talent. So in the end, Sumu could only choose to give up. Unexpectedly, today he stumbled upon it unintentionally. However, for Sumu, the most useful aspect of this talent is its fusion function. If it's for that big green bug, the most useful thing would probably be fusing with its own kind. No wonder, theoretically, there should only be a human-faced bug the size of a small dog, but it has now become larger than an elephant. Besides obtaining an SSS level talent, what concerns Sumu even more is the man with the black cloth bag. He heard the bug call that man General Tsong. General Tsong? Sumu frowned and started thinking. He didn't know much about the Eastern War Zone. Deep Blue, do you know a general surnamed Tsung in the Eastern War Zone? Master, there is no information about this in my database. Well, Deep Blue is not very helpful when it comes to searching for people. His database is full of information about the myriad races, talents, and some martial arts and body refining techniques. Information about the human race is scarce. Obviously, it was a modification made by his future self specifically for this intelligent bug. He'll inquire about it when he goes back. Since he's a general, he shouldn't be unknown. Sumu quickly put this question aside. He has death rollback. And that general Tsong, it seems that he did not take many measures to conceal his identity. It is only a matter of time for Sumu to figure out his identity. Compared to figuring out general Tsong's true identity, Sumu is more interested in what this general Tsong and that person faced worm are doing. However, one thing that gives Sumu a headache is that with his current strength, it seems difficult to eavesdrop on the conversation between General Tsong and the person faced worm. Both General Tsong and the person faced worm are quite powerful. It is like a dream for Sumu to eavesdrop on their conversation right under their noses. Although his super senses can hear their conversation from a distance, that distance can also be discovered by them. What should he do? It's okay, keep trying and find a way. Sumu's figure quickly disappeared into the woods. It seems that a little mouse has sneaked in. Tsk TSK, General Tsong, it's a little mouse from your human race. I really appreciate it, General Tsong. I love eating young people like you from your human race. Tender and elastic meat. Once again, it entered the belly of the person-faced worm. It seems that a little mouse has sneaked in. Once again. Ding, you have been killed by the traitor General Tsong of the human race, successful replication. Congratulations on obtaining S-level talent, spatial teleportation. S-level talent, spatial teleportation. Spatial teleportation, move freely within a range of 10 meters, each movement requires a 10 second wait before the next movement, the range of movement and waiting time will gradually optimize with the improvement of strength. Once again, whether it was entering the belly of the person faced worm multiple times or being killed directly by General Tsong, things finally began to change slowly. It seems that a little mouse has sneaked in. This little mouse's reaction is quite keen. 
It actually evaded my anesthesia worm. I am inconvenienced to act, so I'll trouble you, General Tsong. If he spreads the news, it won't be good for you, General Tsong. At this moment, Sumu swiftly shuttled through the jungle. The General Tsong chasing after Sumu frowned. He never expected that this little mouse running ahead would also possess the talent of spatial teleportation just like him. Not only that, but he always managed to evade the position where he would move to next at critical moments and instantly move in another direction. It was as if he had already sensed that he would move to that position to catch him. After chasing Su Mu for about half an hour, General Tsong seemed to finally become angry. Originally, he thought that with his strength, it should be easy to catch a martial artist in the late One Realm. But this One Realm martial artist in front of him was too strange, forcing him to use some special means, even if it would cause some damage to his body. But at this moment, the little mouse that was originally running ahead suddenly stopped. Finally stopped running, huh? General Tsong snorted coldly. But then, something that terrified him appeared before his eyes. He saw the little mouse in front of him slowly turning around. That face, it was exactly the same as his own. That's enough. The face that looked exactly like General Tsong spoke. Who are you? General Tsong furrowed his brows. He was somewhat terrified to find that this person in front of him, who looked exactly like him except for the clothes, was the same in every other aspect. Not only that, the aura emanating from him was also the same. Mid-5 realm. And, he also had the same talent as him, spatial teleportation. Impossible. General Tsong snorted coldly. A cold light flashed at his waist, and a large knife appeared in his hand. Without hesitation, he swung the knife towards the identical General Tsong in front of him. However, the General Tsong in front of him did not dodge. Splurt. The knife directly struck the imposter General Tsong. The imposter fell down, revealing a strange smile on his face. His appearance slowly returned to that of a young man. Indeed, he is a talented imposter, with abilities similar to mine. But how did his appearance and aura change? Could it be that he awakened two talents? That's impossible. General Tsong observed the gradually cooling corpse, speaking to himself in confusion. Who? Sumu gasped heavily. Death had been rewound nearly 80 times. If it weren't for his recent increase in mental power, Sumu wouldn't have been able to rewind so many times. Sumu felt that he had made the necessary preparations. His goal was to figure out the plans of General Tsong and the person faced Worm. However, no matter how he tried to find out, he discovered that both parties deliberately avoided discussing their plans. Helpless, Sumu decided to take a different approach. That's how the previous scene came about. Sumu had already experienced it more than 40 times. That's why he was able to repeatedly escape from General Tsong's teleportation. Through multiple rewinds, Sumu had already figured out General Tsung's teleportation location. Because he always escaped using the same route, General Tsung's teleportation location hardly changed. Combined with the spatial teleportation he copied from General Tsung, he managed to escape from General Tsung's clutches multiple times. And this escape was not aimless. Throughout the many rewinds, Sumu had been observing General Tsung's words and actions, and he had also figured out when General Tsung and the person faced Worm would meet. Next, it was time for his performance. He would use his talent of disguise to become General Tsong and discuss the plan with the person-faced worm. Then, he would extract the full details of the plan from the person-faced worm's mouth. Russell. A gentle breeze blew through the leaves, making a faint sound. A man wearing a black robe instantly disappeared from one place and quickly reappeared in another. After taking a few steps, his figure disappeared again. Soon, the man entered a hidden valley and stood in front of a huge ancient tree. Not long after the man appeared, the leaves on the massive tree began to tremble violently. A deep green insect appeared in front of the man. The man looked at the huge deep green insect in front of him, squinting his eyes. No one knew that at this moment, a light blue interface had appeared in the man's line of sight. Race, person-faced worm, mutated, life force, 8,725,423, late stage 5 realm warrior, talent, SSS level, assimilation with the same kind, habit, lives in the Wanzu battlefield in the valley of a million insects. Weakness, tongue. General Tsong, it seems you've come earlier than the agreed time, said the deep green person-faced worm, its skin revealing a human face. The face was indistinct, but its mouth moved and produced sound. Coming out wasn't as easy as you imagined. Besides, you should also know that now is the time for the plan to begin. We must be cautious in everything. General Tsong is right. The person-faced worm seemed to agree with Su Mu's statement. Before the plan is officially implemented, I feel that there are some issues with the timing of the implementation. The previous timing was not suitable. I just received the latest news that at that time, there will be eight powerful experts accompanying. General Tsong, are you joking with me? 
The face on the skin of the human-faced worm seemed to break through his skin and rush towards Sumu. You're telling me this important news now. The plan is about to be implemented in less than half a month, and you're saying there will be eight powerful experts accompanying. Sumu suppressed the urge to vomit. He said coldly, I don't want to either, but accidents always happen suddenly. We need to redeploy the plan. General Tsong, I suddenly thought of a question. The face on the skin of the human-faced worm suddenly spoke. Tell me, which day is the day we plan to implement? 20 days from now. You're not General Tsong. Who are you? 21 days later. You're not General Tsong. Who are you? 33 days later. Hmm, it seems General Tsong's memory is still good. Sumu finally saw a change in the attitude of the human-faced worm. He breathed a sigh of relief. Damn it, you bug, you're quite alert. He said coldly, if you don't trust me, then we don't need to continue talking. General Tsong, don't be angry. A sinister smile appeared on the face on the human-faced worm's body. You also know that this matter was arranged from above, in order to completely eliminate the Eastern Front's Dragon Legion. Now, most of the top forces in the Eastern Front have been restrained in the endless battlefield. If we fail to eliminate the Dragon Legion within the specified time, we won't be able to bear the wrath of the higher-ups. Hoof. Sumu didn't say much, he just snorted coldly. Rest assured, the accompanying eight powerful experts won't stay for long. We just need to make some slight modifications to the original plan. That's good. After nearly half an hour of conversation between Sumu and the human-faced worm, a voice sounded behind Sumu. Who are you? Why are you here? Sumu turned around. He saw General Tsong, dressed in a black robe, who knows when he had appeared behind him. The real General Tsong's pupils contracted when he saw Su Mu's appearance. The person-faced worm behind him also realized what had happened. That face instantly became extremely angry. You dare to deceive me. Su Mu saw that he had been exposed. Helplessly, he drew his sword and wiped his neck. Until next time. Su Mu raised an eyebrow at General Tsong. Phew. Su Mu pressed his temples, coupled with the several times he died in order to obtain the plan. Within a short day, Sumu had already rolled back nearly a hundred times, but the result was finally satisfying. Sumu had a rough understanding of the plan between the human-faced worm and General Tsong. Their target was one of the ace legions in the Eastern Front, the Dragon Legion. In each war zone, besides forming various small teams of soldiers, there are actually some ace legions specifically formed for medium and large-scale battles. The achievements of the ace legions mainly depend on medium and large-scale battles. They do not undertake tasks on their own their daily tasks are training. Compared to the soldiers in those small teams or individual soldiers, the soldiers in the legions receive training mainly focused on medium and large-scale battles. Their promotion in rank is slower, but if they want to increase their military rank, they must join the legions. Generally speaking, individual soldiers in small teams can only improve their merit level, and the higher the merit level, the better the treatment and the higher the level of tasks they can undertake. However, in order to obtain a military rank, which means seeking higher positions and power in the war zone, it is necessary to achieve a certain level of merit and also undergo training in the elite core. The merit level sometimes only represents your personal strength or your ability to coordinate operations within a team. The granting of military ranks often represents how many soldiers you will command. The higher the rank, the more soldiers you can lead in the core, and the greater your power. This is the role of military ranks. Sometimes, even if your personal strength and merit level are high enough, if you have not achieved enough accomplishments in the elite core, your rank will not be high. After all, the merit level does not fully represent your ability to lead soldiers in battle. So sometimes, people with strong abilities may not have high ranks, but people with high ranks generally have good abilities. Just like the encounters Su Mu had with Major Chiyo Sin and General Tsung. Although both are at the fifth realm, one is a major and the other is a general, which mainly depends on the time they joined the core and the accomplishments they achieved. General Tsung and the Hidden Dragon Corps, which is the target of the human-faced worm, are a reserve force for other elite corps in the Eastern Theater. Many outstanding senior officers, after training in the Hidden Dragon Corps, will be transferred to other elite units. If the Hidden Dragon Corps is really wiped out according to General Tsong and the human-faced worm's plan, it will be a heavy blow to the Eastern Theater. Fortunately, Sumu now fully understands their plan. The next thing to consider is how to prevent their goals according to their plan and counterattack them. Sumu frowned, then quickly relaxed. He thought of someone, Zhang Lao. The current Su Mu is just a talented genius, but talents are not lacking in Disya. After all, as the young soldier Shaolin said before, only those geniuses who survive are the real geniuses, and what Disya lacks is the real geniuses. When Su Mu truly becomes a dazzling genius in all of Disya one day, and has enough strength, 
then he will truly have a say. But the current Sumu probably can't even find someone to talk to in the Eastern Theater about this plan. Even in the nearly 80 times he has returned to the previous battle zone, the highest position he seems to have encountered is Major Cho Sun. If we really want to compare, Sumu can't even see General Tsong's level. Moreover, Sumu certainly cannot choose to report layer by layer. With General Tsong, a traitor of the human race, even if Sumu reports it, who will choose to believe a trainee from the genius training camp who has just been on the battlefield of the 10,000 races? And not believe the general who has been fighting on the battlefield of the human race for many years? So, Sumu must choose someone who can directly communicate with the high-level officials of the Eastern Theater. And it's best if they are higher ranking. With this in mind, among the people Sumu knows, the only one who can do this is probably Zhang Lao. With Zhang Lao's strength and identity, it is probably not impossible to meet the highest person in charge of the Eastern Theater. If he can gain Zhang Lao's trust, then with the identity of General Tsong as a traitor of the human race and their plan spoken by Zhang Lao, there will naturally be higher credibility. The only question Su Mu needs is whether he can successfully contact Zhang Lao and gain his trust. Shaking his head, Su Mu prepared to go back and start executing. Now, let's go catch some morning and evening bugs first. By the time Su Mu returned to the Eastern Front, it was already evening. Su Mu managed to obtain Zhang Lao's private contact information from Instructor Ding. It was fortunate that Instructor Ding had a very good impression of Su Mu, and Su Mu also received attention from Zhang Lao. So after consulting Zhang Lao's thoughts with Instructor Ding, Su Mu was given Zhang Lao's private contact information. After obtaining Zhang Lao's private contact information, Su Mu immediately called Zhang Lao. Beep dash, hello? Zhang Lao. Hmm. Su Mu. Ha ha ha, what's up? I heard from Xiao Ding that you seem to have something urgent to discuss with me? Did you encounter any trouble in the Eastern Front? Indeed, there is something very important that I want to talk to you about, Zhang Lao. I don't know if you have time recently, but if you do, I would like to ask you to secretly come to the Eastern Front, preferably without anyone noticing. What happened? It's a very important matter, Zhang Lao. Please trust me this once. I am willing to guarantee it with my life and future. Please, hang up the phone. Su Mu breathed a sigh of relief. It had to be said that Zhang Lao valued him quite a bit. After Su Mu spoke, Zhang Lao immediately agreed. He promised that three days later, in the evening, he would find a way to secretly come to the Eastern Front to meet him. As a Nine Realm expert like him, every move he made would likely attract a lot of attention. Without knowing if there were other human traitors, it was the safest way to let Zhang Lao secretly come and see him. As for why it was three days later, Su Mu didn't really care about that. Three days in one day didn't make much difference to him. As long as Zhang Lao could come and see him before the plan was carried out, he would have full confidence in stopping General Tsung's plan. Take advantage of this time to integrate my talent and improve my strength. Su Mu took a deep breath. Since returning from the Wan clan battlefield, he had been on edge. But now that he had contacted Zhang Lao, the matter with General Tsong could temporarily come to an end. Speaking of which, when Zhang Lao comes, should I apologize to him a little? Su Mu suddenly had an evil thought. How about extracting some talent from Zhang Lao? He was able to reach the Nine Realms, so his talent must be at least S-class, right? Or be bold, who knows, maybe he's an SSS class. If he could really obtain Zhang Lao's talent, it would definitely be of great help to Su Mu. Not only Zhang Lao, but also in the future, when he encounters Instructor Ding, Instructor Wang, and others, Su Mu can try to obtain their talents. Honestly, among the people Su Mu wanted to replicate talents from, Zhang Lao was definitely the first, and besides Zhang Lao, there was only the little princess from the Ji family. However, when he was still in the rear of the human race, Sumu didn't have full confidence in replicating talent from the Ji family's little princess. Plus, at that time, there were no suicide-type talents like the poison corpse. If he accidentally got himself into it and couldn't commit suicide, then it would be over. Now, he didn't have this worry. But damn it, he wasn't in the rear of the human race. Although he coveted Ji Qinghan's talent, he could only plan for it when he returned to the rear of the human race. Since experiencing the mass replication of talents in the Eastern Front before, Sumu seemed to have slowly become accustomed to occasionally acting as a human race trader to replicate talents. With the talents of death rollback and talent replication, he, the fastest way to quickly improve one's strength is to constantly replicate talents and constantly die. Death, for Sumu, is just a way to enhance his strength. Not being strong enough is simply not dying enough. Leaving the place where he made the call, Sumu first went to the mailroom. When he called Instructor Ding earlier, he told Su Mu that, with his utmost efforts and with the silent support of Zhang Lao, the high-level officials of Longjing Martial Arts University had discussed and were prepared to provide Su Mu with a large amount of compensation, at least double what Su Mu had originally anticipated. 
However, such a large compensation would not be delivered to Sumu all at once. Instead, it would be delivered in batches to the Wanzu battlefield within a month. After receiving the compensation issued by the school, Sumu found a place with no one around and put all the compensation into his own mobile space. Then he went to rent a training room. Before officially starting his cultivation, what Sumu had to do was to begin integrating his own talents. Shenlan, help me see which talents can be analyzed and integrated. Yes, master, I am currently analyzing the talents that can be integrated for you. Analysis successful. Now providing you with integration plans, plan 1, SS level talent, annihilation body plus S level talent, limit body plus A level talent, super 5 senses plus D level talent, strength enhancement, speed enhancement, equals SSS level talent, extreme annihilation body, plan 2, S level talent, wind god plus A level talent, crimson flame bloodline, earth power, thunder power plus B level talent, wind manipulation plus water manipulation, wood manipulation, C level talent, Wine Dragon Technique plus Fireball Technique, Water Snake Technique, Vine Entanglement, plus D Level Talent, Wind Blade, equals SS Level Talent, Elemental Sovereign, Plan 3, S Level Talent, Spatial Teleportation plus A Level Talent, Mobile Space equals S Level Talent, Space Manipulation, Plan 4, A Level Talent, Mental Manipulation plus B Level Talent, Mental Enhancement equals A Level Talent, Mental Manipulation, requires another A Level Talent of the same kind or 10 B Level Talents of the same kind or to be able to advance, plan 5, A level talent, poisonous miasma, corpse poison plus B level talent, toxin enhancement, plus C level talent, snake fong, plus D level talent, poisonous sting, equals S level talent, poison god, one by one, the plans, organized by Shenlan, were presented in front of Sumu. The integration plans organized by Shenlan tried to integrate all of Sumu's lower level talents into higher level talents as much as possible. After the integration, the talents not only retained their original abilities but also gained new abilities, some even undergoing qualitative changes. It was like a change in quantity causing a change in quality. Let's integrate. With Sumu's thought, the talents in his mind underwent a tremendous transformation in a matter of moments. In just a moment, all of Sumu's B-level, C-level, and D-level talents had already been integrated into other talents. And Sumu began to examine the talents that had undergone qualitative changes. S level talent, poison god, poison god, possesses the ability to control toxins, all poisons in the world are under control, can control the strength of the toxicity of toxins, as one strength increases, the toxicity of toxins that can be enhanced also becomes stronger, release toxins can turn into poisonous gas, poisonous stings, and poisonous miasma to attack enemies, can also autonomously generate toxins, directly entering the heart, causing death within 3 seconds. S level talent, space manipulation, space manipulation, possesses the ability to manipulate space, can open up a mobile space of 10,000 cubic meters, and initially manipulate space, perform spatial teleportation and manipulate space, the size of the mobile space, the ability to perform spatial teleportation and manipulate space will increase with one's own strength. SS level talent, elemental sovereign elemental sovereign, controls the elements of gold, wood, water, fire, earth, thunder, and wind. All elemental talents are greatly suppressed in the presence of the elemental sovereign talent holder. If the strength gap between the holder and the opponent is not significant, the elemental imprisonment can be directly used to prohibit the opponent from using their own elemental talents. Once the elemental imprisonment is used, unless the elemental sovereign voluntarily releases it, the opponent's talent will forever be in a state of imprisonment. SSS level talent, extreme annihilation body extreme annihilation body, combines the advantages of the Annihilation Body and the Limit Body. With each upgrade, all aspects will be pushed to the limit, including but not limited to strength, speed, senses, able to freely control the sensitivity of the senses. The limits that can be reached will surpass the limits of the human race. The Annihilation Ability is greatly enhanced, capable of annihilating everything, including space. When the strength becomes powerful enough, it can even annihilate time. Looking at these powerful talents, Sumu took a deep breath. He had thought that merging with similar talents as an SSS level talent would bring him some surprises. But he never expected it to bring him such a huge surprise. He couldn't wait to start experimenting with the new talents he had acquired. He raised his hand and a drop of emerald green liquid appeared. With a thought from Sumu, the green liquid gradually turned black and emitted a black poisonous mist. He waved his hand and the black liquid instantly disappeared. Then, his hand continuously transformed into flames, water droplets, sand, melted metal, thunder and lightning, and a small whirlwind of blue. Let's try spatial manipulation. Sumu's figure quickly disappeared in one corner of the training room and reappeared in another corner. 
There was no need for any reaction time. Sumu returned to his original position again. After merging with similar talents, short-range spatial teleportation seems to not require any gap time within a certain number of times. If it's long-range spatial teleportation, Sumu frowned. The next moment, his figure disappeared from the original spot. When he returned to the training room again, he said, if it's within a range of 100 meters, it seems to require a stay of about 10 seconds. The current maximum distance seems to be around 230 meters. It's probably related to my strength. If I remember correctly, when I reached General Tsong's level of strength, his spatial teleportation didn't seem to require any rest or have a distance limit. It's probably because the distance I escaped at that time wasn't far. In any case, the ability of spatial manipulation has tremendous potential. No wonder, even though they are both manipulations, abilities like fire manipulation and water manipulation are only B-level talents. The difference between them cannot be described with just a little bit of difference. After experimenting with spatial teleportation within spatial manipulation, Sumu also tested the ability to manipulate space for cutting and other aspects. After several hours of experimentation, Sumu began to examine the expanded space after the upgrade. The things he had originally stored in the moving space were still lying there, but the size of the space had exceeded his imagination. After testing the moving space, Sumu also had a long sword in his hand. With a shake of the sword, it immediately became covered in a layer of ink-black substance, resembling liquid. Power of Annihilation He had long wanted to test the power of annihilation. Previously, because his strength was not enough, the power of annihilation seemed to have no effect on space. But now, after the fusion and upgrade, the power of annihilation had clearly been elevated to a new level. It can have an impact on space. Sumu naturally wanted to give it a try. He picked up his long sword and slashed forcefully in his own moving space. With the slash, the pitch black ink like power quickly adhered to the moving space like maggots on bones. The adhered space began to crack and shatter at a visible speed, like a mirror. Crack. Sumu seemed to hear the sound of space breaking. Boom. After a moment, Sumu's consciousness was directly squeezed out of the moving space by an invisible force. Gone, it's gone. Sumu's face showed a hint of disbelief. He quickly opened up the moving space again, but the newly opened space was no longer the original one. The power of annihilation actually destroyed that space directly. Sumu concluded. What a terrifying destructive power. Sumu looked at his arm. After swinging the sword, his arm looked like shattered porcelain. It seemed that with a little force, it could collapse at any moment. I wonder what kind of effect it would have if it acted on time. Sumu was somewhat looking forward to the immense power of annihilation after it could act on time once his strength improved. He had a feeling that this power of annihilation could be of great help to him in the future. While marveling at the power of annihilation, Sumu suddenly remembered something. Damn it, the things I put in the moving space. Put. Sumu directly slashed his own neck. After mastering his talent, he determined that he didn't need to rewind again for the time being. Only then did Sumu begin to train. Taking out the supplies provided by the school, Sumu started preparing blood and chi medicines with the tools he had prepared long ago. After preparing more than 50 tiger yuan pills and more than 50 pairs of xian yuan bear blood powder, Sumu stopped. He began to take the tiger yuan pills and xian yuan bear blood powder for cultivation. Three days passed quickly in Sumu's cultivation. Drop by drop, sweat fell on the floor. Sumu, who didn't know how long he had been practicing, sat exhausted on the ground. The progress he made in three days of cultivation was quite terrifying. Due to the talent of absorption acceleration, Sumu absorbed all the more than 50 tiger yuan pills and more than 50 pairs of xian yuan bear blood powder. Sumu's blood and qi value smoothly reached 886. 35. Stepping into the late stage of the first realm warrior. It was just one step away from the peak of the first realm warrior. After resting for a while, Sumu sat cross-legged on the ground. He began to practice the divine demon visualization method. With the increase in his blood and chi value, the speed of his spiritual powers improvement also became faster and faster. In these three days of cultivation, Sumu's spiritual power had already reached 999. 99, only the last layer of membrane remained. As long as he broke through it, Sumu's spiritual power would be able to enter the second realm warrior. However, breaking through this layer of membrane was extremely difficult. Taking a deep breath, Sumu once again attempted to break through. Drop by drop. Sweat dripped from his forehead. His breathing, from initially being somewhat rapid and heavy, gradually became steady and slow. It was unknown how long had passed. In the air, there seemed to be a faint sound of a bang. Sumu opened his eyes in surprise. After nearly two days of effort, his spiritual power finally improved again. He stepped into the level of a second realm warrior. 
The powerful spiritual power not only meant that he could better deal with attacks from the spiritual aspect, but for Su Mu, the greatest significance was that he could rewind multiple times. With his current spiritual power, he had enough support to rewind hundreds of times. Even if he starts to commit suicide from now on, without considering the situation of being unable to commit suicide, it wouldn't be a problem to kill his way back to the day of awakening his talent. A thought flashed through Su Mu's mind. The next moment, a light blue panel appeared in front of him. Name, Su Mu, Blood and Chi Value, 886. 38, Late Stage Martial Warrior, Spiritual Power, 1001. 25, Early Stage Martial Warrior, Talent, EX Level, Postmortem Replication, SSS Level, Death Rewind 12 Hours. Extreme Annihilation Body, SS Level, Elemental Sovereign, S Level, Spatial Manipulation, Poison God. A Level, Face Change. After only a few days on the battlefield of the 10,000 races, Sumu's strength had already reached this level. Sumu himself couldn't believe it. But when he thought about it, he regretted a bit that he had wasted the week he was unconscious before. If there was a chance, he would like to find a talent that would immediately wake him up from a coma or allow him to commit suicide while in a coma, so that he could kill his way back to the day he was unconscious and make up for that week of lost time. However, this idea only flashed through Su Mu's mind. After all, unless something happened during the time he was unconscious that he had to reverse, committing suicide all the way back to that time would be too costly for him. It not only meant that he would have to retrain his blood and chi value to its current level, but more importantly, it would affect to a great extent the things he had already experienced. So, before rewinding, he would have to prepare a substitute for himself lying there, like a clone or an illusion. Each step needed to be planned. So unless it was absolutely necessary, Sumu wouldn't think about rewinding to events that happened so long ago. However, if there really was a need to rewind, Sumu would find a way to plan it out and make up for that week of lost time. He shook his head and stopped thinking further. Sumu stood up. He had already practiced enough. Now, there were about 12 hours left until the time he had agreed with Zhang Lao. Sumu seemed to think of something and apologized to the air, Zhang Lao, I'm sorry. 12 hours quickly passed. On the falling sunset peak east of the eastern front, a figure suddenly appeared. Moonlight spilled onto the earth, as if covering it with a layer of frost. The old man stood on the falling sunset peak, looking somewhat melancholy at the distance. Over there was an endless expanse of land. Over there was the most brutal place on the battlefield of the 10,000 races. Looking at the horizon, the old man seemed to think of something. His expression was complex and worried. Just at that moment, there was a slight sound behind the old man. The old man frowned. Who are you? Where is Su Mu? The old man suddenly turned his head. Under the moonlight, a tall and strong man had appeared behind him, seemingly out of nowhere. Su Mu, humph, if you want to know his whereabouts, you'll have to kill me first. Before the strong man could finish his sentence, he suddenly felt like he was seeing a headless corpse in front of him. Wait, a headless corpse? My corpse? Damn it, I haven't finished speaking, Zhang Lao. You're too quick to act, old man. Su Mu gradually fell into darkness. Ding. You have been killed by the human powerhouse Zhang Hao, replication successful, congratulations on obtaining the SSS level talent, Oath of Life. SSS level talent, Oath of Life, Oath of Life, I swear with my life to become the power of my martial path. People with the innate talent of the Life Oath can emit a Life Oath in every realm. By fulfilling the content of the Life Oath, their own abilities, including but not limited to cultivation speed, martial arts power, strength, speed, etc will be enhanced by a minimum of one time and a maximum of ten times the number of oaths. If the content of the life oath is violated three times, the person will die directly. The life oath is also the life devourer. Sumu gasped for breath in the training room. Damn, is this the terrifying strength of a nine realm expert? Sumu was cut off before he could even finish speaking. It was probably because when he changed his appearance, he also changed his aura to that of an eight realm warrior, so Zhang Lao didn't waste any words and attack directly, right? However, no matter what, Zhang Lao is really fast when he makes a move. Shaking his head, Sumu looked at the introduction about Zhang Lao's talent given by Shenlan in a daze. What the hell is this talent? Sumu had never seen this kind of talent before. The Life Oath. It sounds really awesome. By fulfilling the content of the Life Oath, their own abilities, including but not limited to cultivation speed, martial arts power, strength, speed, etc., will be enhanced by a minimum of one time and a maximum of ten times the number of oaths. Modified the previous part, this is the correct version, in other words, as long as he fulfills the content of his life oath, his cultivation speed, martial arts power, and other aspects will be enhanced tenfold. If this enhancement applies to all aspects, then it's really terrifying. This talent is somewhat similar to the sword heart enlightenment that Sumu obtained before, 
but the difference is that sword heart enlightenment enhances sword related talents while this talent seems to enhance not just one aspect but all aspects a maximum of 10 times seems to be a bit worse than the hundredfold enhancement of sword heart enlightenment but don't forget this tenfold enhancement can not only enhance strength but also speed not only enhance the power of sword techniques but also the power of other martial arts not only enhance the cultivation speed of sword techniques but also the cultivation speed of other aspects including sumu's cultivation speed in terms of blood energy and spiritual power what's more important is that this multiplier is not fixed according to the introduction the more grand and difficult the oaths made by sumu the greater the multiplier will be the only thing sumu is not sure about is how the decision is made between multiplying by 10 or multiplying by 1 Shenlan, do you know how this life oath is determined? Master, according to my analysis, this multiplier should be related to the grandeur and difficulty of the oaths made. It's related to the grandeur of the oaths made? Sumu frowned slightly. Yes, the grander and more difficult the oaths made by the master, the greater the multiplier will naturally be. Sumu nodded understandingly. This explanation is quite interesting. So, what kind of oaths should he make? Sumu furrowed his brow. Or, should I ask Zhang Lao for his opinion later? A bold idea gradually emerged in Su Mu's mind. On the sunset peak east of the eastern war zone, a figure suddenly appeared. It was Zhang Lao, repeating what he had done in the previous rollback. This time, however, a smile appeared on Zhang Lao's face. Su Mu, you're here. Zhang Lao turned his head slowly. With a smile on his face, he said, you always manage to surprise me. You've only been on the 10,000 clan battlefield for a short time but you've already reached the peak of the first realm. I'm afraid you're only one step away from becoming a second realm warrior. Sumu nodded and smiled, it seems that nothing can be hidden from you, Zhang Lao. Zhang Lao waved his hand and said, tell me, what is the matter that you are willing to risk your life and future for? As Zhang Lao spoke, he couldn't help but size up Sumu, his eyes filled with satisfaction. To have such strength at such a young age, combined with your talent and swordsmanship, I'm afraid that in a few years, you will give this old man an even bigger surprise. Zhang Lao, you flatter me, Su Mu said. This time, there are two things I called you here for. One is about myself, and the other is about the Eastern War Zone. Which one would you like to hear first, Zhang Lao? Zhang Lao raised an eyebrow and said, You're teasing me, kid. Let's start with the matter concerning the Eastern War Zone. Su Mu's face revealed an expression of confirmation. Without hesitation, he revealed everything he had heard about General Tsong and the human faced worm's plan. At first, Zhang Lao had a hint of a smile but after hearing Su Mu's plan, his expression became more serious. However, after Su Mu finished speaking, a smile appeared on his face again. Why did you tell me about this? Su Mu looked at Zhang Lao and said seriously, Zhang Lao, with my own strength, I can't change anything. I can't even report it, because if General Tsong finds out, he won't let me go, and the news won't reach the higher-ups. Even if it miraculously does, as a nobody, no one will believe such a small figure like me. The only person I can think of who can help me is you, Zhang Lao. With your status and strength, if you were to speak about this matter, it would surely attract attention from above. Actually, it doesn't have to be so troublesome. If you are willing to personally take action, this crisis can be resolved instantly. You really? Zhang Lao looked at Su Mu with satisfaction. Aren't you afraid that I am also a traitor to the human race? Su Mu smiled awkwardly. I trust you. If you are a traitor, then I'm screwed. Zhang Lao burst into laughter. What a trust. Sumu, since you trust me so much, this old man will trust you too. Don't worry, I will handle this matter. After laughing for a while, he stopped and sighed. I didn't expect those bastards to have reached this point. Even the eastern war zone has been infiltrated by them. Also, Sumu frowned. Zhang Lao, from what you're saying, it seems that it's not just the eastern war zone that has been infiltrated. Zhang Lao glanced at Sumu and said, you are not ready to know too much yet. The only thing I can tell you is that once you step onto the battlefield of the 10,000 races, you cannot fully trust anyone. He paused and stared at Sumu, including me. Then, he shook his head. I don't know much about this matter yet, just some vague speculations, but remember this sentence from me. Sumu nodded thoughtfully. So, Zhang Lao, can I trust you now? Zhang Lao burst into laughter. Silly child, you're already using it so soon? What do you think? Sumu raised an eyebrow. Zhang Lao. I think even if all the people of the human race are untrustworthy, you must be trustworthy. Zhang Lao was surprised to hear Su Mu's words and then squinted his eyes slightly. Hmm, why do you say that? Next, I will tell you the other thing, about myself, Su Mu said. At this moment, Zhang Lao also seemed interested. Tell me, young man, you've really piqued my interest now. I want to see what this matter concerning you is all about. 
The reason I say this, Zhang Lao, is because I know that your talent is the oath of life. Not only do I know. Sumu took a deep breath. I swear my life to become the power of my martial arts. In the next moment, faint fluorescence began to appear on Sumu's body. Seeing this scene, Zhang Lao's pupils contracted. How is this possible? Even Zhang Lao, who used to be calm, couldn't remain composed now. And Sumu also stopped his own actions in time. After all, if he continued like this, he would really have to make the oath of life. But to be honest, for Sumu himself, he wasn't afraid of the price of the oath of life. If he died, so be it. A real man stands tall, why fear death? He could just rewind. What he worried about was that the oath of life he made might not be grand enough, resulting in insufficient amplification. He wasn't sure if this oath of life came with his talent. If it did, he really couldn't make it lightly. Otherwise, even rewinding wouldn't help, and Sumu would have nowhere to cry. Your talent is the oath of life. Zhang Lao seemed to have guessed something, but still couldn't be certain. Or rather, one of my talents is the oath of life. Su Mu said. In his hand, a flame appeared, which immediately turned into vines, and the vines turned into water droplets. Finally, they disappeared. Watching the power of each element manifesting in Su Mu's hand, Zhang Lao seemed to understand something. His expression became more solemn than when he heard Su Mu talk about General Tsong and the human-faced worm's plan. Impossible? How is this possible? Although Zhang Lao said it was impossible, his gaze towards Su Mu became increasingly complex. At this moment, Su Mu finally spoke. My talent is an EX level talent, after death replication. After I die, I can replicate the talent of the person who killed me and resurrect one hour before. Su Mu slightly modified his talent and told Zhang Lao. As Zhang Lao said, no one could truly be trusted. Although Zhang Lao was already the person he could trust the most. But who could guarantee that others wouldn't use special methods to obtain Su Mu's talent from Zhang Lao? After hearing what Su Mu said, Zhang Lao looked at him in surprise. Are you saying that I killed you just an hour ago? Su Mu smiled awkwardly at his words. Um, Zhang Lao, I used a little trick. Zhang Lao nodded in response. He didn't say much. His expression was very solemn. It was unclear what he was thinking. After a while, he finally spoke. However, it wasn't directed at Su Mu. I swear my life to become the power of my martial arts. With these words, faint fluorescence appeared on Zhang Lao's body. It was exactly the same as Su Mu's situation just now. If I, in any form or with any intention, try to reveal Su Mu's talent, let me perish on the spot. With the fall of his words, the faint fluorescence converged on his brow. Eventually, it condensed into a pure white shackle, hiding within his brow. Seeing this scene, Su Mu was also surprised. Zhang Lao, what are you doing? Zhang Lao smiled at his words. Su Mu, originally, I only thought that with your talent, you would definitely shine on the battlefield of the 10,000 races and contribute greatly to our human race. You would become the top powerhouse and pillar of our human race in the future. But now, I think if there is truly someone who can save the human race, that person must be you. EX level talent, should it be an SSS level talent or above? Zhang Lao clearly understood a lot of things. Death replication. With this talent, your potential is destined to be limitless. Not only do you have unlimited opportunities to make mistakes, but you can also possess countless top talents in this world. Zhang Lao looked excitedly into the distance. Su Mu, do you know why I chose to leave the battlefield of the 10,000 clans and become the principal of the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University in the human territory? Su Mu pondered for a moment. Killing members of the 10,000 clans on the battlefield is ultimately limited, but if we can cultivate more geniuses and stronger individuals for the human race, we can gradually gain an advantage in battle. Zhang Lao smiled, that is just one reason. There is another reason, and it is because I suddenly felt that I could no longer see hope for the victory of the human race. The 10,000 clans are truly too powerful, and among them, from what I understand, there is a terrifying existence. It seemed that thinking of that existence, a trace of horror appeared on Zhang Lao's face. He rarely appears on the battlefield of the 10,000 clans, no one knows what his purpose is, and no one knows what he wants to do. However, from the moment he appeared, it was destined that there is only one invincible person, and that is him. Hearing Zhang Lao's description, Su Mu instantly thought of the person mentioned in the diary who had the ability to rewind death, the person who eventually became desperate and betrayed. Is that person very terrifying? Zhang Lao nodded. Terrifying. If it weren't for some restrictions on him, causing him to fall into a deep sleep every once in a while, and each time he wakes up, he can only remain conscious for a very short period of time, then perhaps the king of the ten great divine clans would not have died at the hands of our seven saints of the human race. Zhang Lao said, it can be said that the biggest reason why the human race has gained an advantage in these 50 years is because of his slumber. However, he won't remain asleep forever. 
Su Mu gritted his teeth. He naturally understood what Zhang Lao meant. Moreover, he knew far more than Zhang Lao did. At most 10 years, that guy will definitely awaken from his slumber. It might even be longer, because it was mentioned in the diary that Chen Bin encountered him once on the battlefield of the 10,000 clans. In other words, his awakening time might be earlier. Although it is unknown whether he will continue to fall into slumber afterwards. But as long as he exists, it seems that the human race truly has no hope of defeating the 10,000 clans. At this moment, Zhang Lao looked at Su Mu and said, Su Mu, if there is someone among the human race who can defeat him, then I believe that person must be you. Because he is just like you. Zhang Lao paused for a moment before slowly saying, Both of you possess more than one talent. More than one talent. Su Mu suddenly understood. Why his future self and the present Zhang Lao both said the same thing? If there is someone among the human race who can defeat that person, then it must be him. So that's how it is. Could it be that person's talent is also replication? If that's the case, how does that person replicate? If not, then how does that person obtain multiple talents? Countless questions swirled in Su Mu's mind. I have only encountered that person once, but in that one encounter, my life vow was broken twice. Jean Lao turned his head to look into the distance. If it weren't for his short awakening time, and it seems that he doesn't have any intention to kill us, I'm afraid I would have died that time. Upon hearing Zhang Lao's words, Su Mu seemed to be able to feel the despair in his heart when he encountered that person. You know, Zhang Lao is a strong person in the Nine Realms. He can make anyone feel despair. He has the talent of the Oath of Life. Zhang Lao probably has his own principles for his whole life. That's why Su Mu chose to tell Zhang Lao about his talent after learning that Zhang Lao's talent is the Oath of Life. Su Mu is betting that Zhang Lao's Oath of Life contains a similar oath to protect the human race. As long as there is such an oath, it means that Zhang Lao will never betray the human race. And Zhang Lao's actions undoubtedly prove that Su Mu's bet is correct. After learning about Su Mu's talent, the first thing Zhang Lao did was to make an oath that he would not reveal Su Mu's talent of the Oath of Life in any form, or even have similar thoughts. The Oath of Life is not something that you can simply avoid breaking subjectively. Even if you unintentionally break the oath, it is likely to bring disaster upon yourself. Zhang Lao's oath undoubtedly blocks all possible ways for him to reveal Su Mu's talent. Even if someone has the talent of memory search or mental control, as long as Zhang Lao reveals it in any form, he will die in that instant. This is not only to protect Su Mu, but also to show Su Mu that he will do his best to help him in the future. I'm just saying all this to let you understand how terrifying he is, Zhang Lao looked at Su Mu. Before you step into the 10th realm, if you encounter him, don't hesitate, just commit suicide directly, Jean Lao said, judging from your talent, it shouldn't be difficult for you to escape from his hands. Su Mu also nodded understandingly. Indeed, with his current strength, encountering that person would definitely mean certain death. However, what if he died at that person's hands? What would happen? It seems that Su Mu's thoughts were understood. I suggest you not to think about dying at his hands for now. Your talent is EX level and his talent is probably also EX level. In the same level, the possibility of successfully copying his talent is actually very small. More importantly, that person is too terrifying to be judged by common sense. So, until you have full confidence and strength to confront him, I don't recommend you to have such thoughts. Su Mu nodded. Understood, Zhang Lao. Zhang Lao also nodded in satisfaction. Su Mu, do you have a sect now? Zhang Lao, what do you mean? Su Mu was a little confused. I mean, before entering the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University, has any teacher contacted you, saying that they hope you will join their sect or something? No, Zhang Lao. Su Mu shook his head. To be honest, although he is a bit of a genius now, he is far from being a genius known to everyone. Zhang Lao nodded at his words. If someone asks, just say that you are my student. Zhang Lao suddenly said. Su Mu was stunned, Zhang Lao, are you suggesting that I join your sect? Zhang Lao smiled inside, yes, and no. I can't teach you, so strictly speaking, I am not your teacher. But I am willing to do everything in my power to help you. After joining my sect, you will have access to the richest resources of the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University, which is beneficial and harmless to you. In addition, I will also claim that you are my closed-door disciple to the outside world, so you should also be spared from a lot of trouble. If you don't mind, in the future, you can also call me teacher. After all, it's just a title but I won't restrict you with a master-disciple relationship. The path you're about to take is difficult, so difficult that you have to walk it alone. No one can accompany you all the way. This also means that you can't have anyone by your side, not your family, not the people you like, not the people who like you, not your teachers, classmates, or friends. Zhang Lao's words made Su Mu lost in thought. Indeed, as he gradually walked further on this path, Su Mu became more aware of this. 
He smiled bitterly and then looked firmly at Zhang Lao. Teacher, I understand. Since I've decided to walk this path, I won't regret it. Although I may not have anyone by my side, there are many people behind me. Hearing Su Mu's words, Zhang Lao sighed. You're going through a lot, child. Zhang Lao said. Since that's the case, let's agree on this. In our sect, you still have several senior brothers and sisters. In the future, I will introduce you to them. Their talents are quite good, and if there's a chance, I will help you replicate them. As Zhang Lao spoke, he began to ponder something. Not only them, but the talents of some old folks are also interesting. If there's an opportunity, I will think of a way to help you. Teacher, how come it feels like you all know each other's talents? Su Mu was puzzled. Before entering the Dragon Capital Martial Arts University, the education he received was that talents should not be revealed to others. Zhang Lao smiled at his words. Do you feel that it's different from the education you received before? He said, in different periods, the requirements for you are different. Many years ago, there was no such thing as not revealing talents. At that time, even university admissions depended on the level of talent awakening. But later, as more and more heretics appeared in the human rear, those geniuses who awaken rare talents might be killed by the heretics before they even stepped into martial arts. In order to reduce such occurrences, it was required not to reveal your talents in the human rear. However, this point will be relaxed after entering university, especially when joining a sect. You will need to inform your teacher about some information regarding your talents so that your teacher can better cultivate you. That's also why I invited you to join my sect. And on the battlefield of the 10,000 races, sometimes it's unavoidable to reveal some information about your talents to your teammates in order to cooperate better in battle. So, in the future, you may inevitably need to showcase some of your talents. The important thing to note is not to display different talents in front of the same group of people. Alright, I've said so much. Let's talk about something else. Zheng Lao waved his hand. Since you also have the talent of the life oath, you should be ready to make the oath, right? Yes, teacher, but I don't know what kind of oath would be best. Upon hearing Su Mu's words, Zhang Lao laughed heartily. If it were any other talent, I wouldn't be able to help you much. But with the life oath, after all, I've used it for most of my life, so I can give you some guidance. You see, if we consider your talent, the life oath, it's essentially a vow without any side effects for you. At this point, Zhang Lao looked at Su Mu with some envy. But then he continued, so the only thing you need to pay attention to is how to maximize the power of the life oath. Starting from the first realm warrior, with each realm you advance, you can make a life oath, and the content of the oath determines the multiplier of your enhancement. If you fulfill or are currently fulfilling the oath, you will continue to enhance. If you do not fulfill the oath, it means breaking the oath that I mentioned before. The first time you break the oath, your enhancement will be reduced by half. The second time you break the oath, the enhancement of your life oath will completely disappear. The third time you break the oath, you will die. When making the oath, your first life oath is especially important. Zhang Lao Dao said, This is something I have discovered through years of exploration. If you choose the first life oath well, it will greatly help your subsequent life oaths and may even form a perfect oath system. So each time you enhance your life oath, you can easily achieve a tenfold increase. Once your realm reaches the ninth or even the tenth realm, your enhancement will be ninety or a hundred times. A perfect oath system. Su Mu was stunned. Fortunately, he asked Zhang Lao about it. Otherwise, if he casually made a life oath, wouldn't it mean missing out on the perfect oath system? That's why having a teacher on the path of cultivation can save a lot of detours. Deep Blue, as a database, is not intelligent enough. Some things are just information and not all-knowing. Often, hidden information is passed down by word of mouth, and that's when a teacher becomes particularly important. Sumo couldn't help but feel fortunate for his decision to bring Zhang Lao into his camp. With Zhang Lao's help, he could not only enhance his strength faster but also avoid many detours. The first life oath must be grand enough and difficult enough. In this way, when making the first life oath, you can achieve an 8 to 10 fold increase. For each subsequent life oath, you need to make another oath based on the first life oath. In this way, each life oath made after the first one can more easily achieve an 8 to 10 fold increase based on the first life oath. Through my experiments, the more difficult the previous life oath, the more connections the subsequent life oaths need to have with the previous one making it easier to achieve an 8 to 10 fold increase. In other words, after making a difficult and grand enough first life oath, each subsequent life oath should be slightly constrained based on the first life oath. This way, there is a great chance of forming a perfect life oath system. Zhang Lao touched his beard and said, however, this perfect life oath system is only based on the experiences of previous people in the book and my own experiences. Even I haven't truly tested it. So the first life oath is really that important? Sumu stroked his chin and started thinking. 
He already had some ideas in his mind about the first life oath. Teacher, do you think if I make a wrong oath and then commit suicide, can I make a new oath? Zhang Lao was also stunned by his words. You little brat, you're already thinking about making a new oath before even making one. He laughed. Sumu smiled awkwardly. I'm just thinking about being able to fulfill the perfect life oath system you envisioned, teacher. Zhang Lao nodded. Based on my experience with each oath, it should be possible. Zhang Lao squinted his eyes slightly and said, Based on my analysis, since your talent is posthumous replication, the only things that can be taken away should be your spiritual consciousness and the talents you have replicated. The establishment of the life oath actually relies on an inexplicable external force. Based on my years of exploration, I call it the heavenly Tao. So, if nothing unexpected happens, the plan you just proposed should be feasible. Hearing Zhang Lao's explanation, Su Mu nodded. I understand, teacher. Su Mu took a deep breath. I swear upon my life to become the power of my martial arts. A faint glow began to gather on Su Mu's body. I pledge to prevent the extinction of the human race, regardless of any cost. With a heart for the world, and to bring peace to the human race, even if I die countless times, I will have no regrets. Dazzling light radiated from Su Mu's body. The entire Luo Xia peak seemed as bright as day. Seeing this scene, even the knowledgeable Zhang Lao couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. However, he quickly reacted. He raised his hand, as if about to make a move, but then thought of something. He gently put his hand down, allowing the white light to shine on Luo Xia Peak. After a moment, the white light turned into a shackle and fell on Su Mu's brow. Su Mu slowly opened his eyes, revealing a smile on his face. Just now, the information about the life oath appeared before his eyes again. The first life oath is established, determining the amplification factor, ten times. Teacher, it's ten times, Su Mu said, the result being similar to what he had expected. However, this also meant that the path Su Mu had to take was extremely difficult. But so what? Su Mu's eyes gradually became firm. Since he had decided to walk this path, he would never regret it. As he had said before, this path was too difficult, to the point where he might not have anyone by his side. But it didn't matter, he had someone behind him, and that was enough. Ah, this kind of thing shouldn't have been born by you, Zhang Lao sighed. To be honest, looking at Su Mu in front of him, his heart was filled with nothing but distress. It was not only because Su Mu had unhesitatingly made the grand vow to prevent the extinction of the human race, but also because Su Mu had previously casually mentioned suicide. He didn't know how many times Su Mu had died, but if he had already reached the point of numbness towards death, then the number of times must have reached a certain level. Death and resurrection. Sometimes, it might not be a good thing. For some people, death could be an opportunity to rest. Having this ability was actually a curse for Su Mu. Only he alone would carry all the memories and bear the curse of life and death. Zhang Lao sighed. But Su Mu was thinking of something. Teacher, do you know someone named Ning Yi? Ning Yi? Zhang Lao shook his head in confusion. I do know a few people with the surname Ning, but I haven't heard of anyone named Ning Yi. What's wrong? Zhang Lao asked, puzzled. Su Mu shook his head. It's nothing, teacher. Just be careful of this person. Also, teacher, do you know someone who has the strength of a level 8 martial artist and exceptional talent in swordsmanship? Su Mu's question once again puzzled Zhang Lao. But after thinking for a moment, he answered, if you put it that way, there is indeed one. There's a young man in the Song family named Song Tianlong. His talent in swordsmanship is quite remarkable. He also graduated from our Dragon Capital Martial Arts University in his early years. Speaking of which, he can be considered your senior. Song Tianlong. Su Mu's heart stirred upon hearing this name. Then, teacher, do you know where he is now? Zhang Lao pondered for a moment and said, I haven't been in contact with him for a long time, but his previous teacher told me that after he spent some time in the Wan clan battlefield, he voluntarily applied to be transferred back to the human race and became the head of the Nightwalker in a certain safe zone. After hearing Zhang Lao's words, Su Mu became excited. Yes, yes. The human race's rear area. Eight realms warrior. Proficient in swordsmanship. All the conditions match. It's a good thing that Sumu asked Zhang Lao. Zhang Lao, as the principal of the top martial arts university of the human race, knows people that Sumu can't imagine. What's wrong, Xiao Mu? What's the problem with this song Tianlong? This time, Sumu didn't hide anything from Zhang Lao. Previously, during the Ningyi incident, Sumu himself couldn't figure out what the situation was. After all, there was very little information about this in his diary from the future. But this song Tianlong was different. Su Mu had personally experienced it. Teacher, this Song Tianlong is very likely a traitor to the human race. Upon hearing Su Mu's words, Zhang Lao frowned. Xiao Mu, you can't say such things casually. 
Even if I want to suspect an Eight Realms warrior without solid evidence, I would face criticism from others, not to mention that Song Tianlong is also a member of the Song family. The Song family, one of the seven major families in the Ninth Safe Zone's central Dragon City. Behind them stood one of the seven top experts of the human race. Fifty years ago, they were the ones who killed the sword Saint Song Ju, one of the seven saints of the human race, who had slain ten gods of the divine race. Sumu also frowned. He had thought that the guy's background might be quite extraordinary, but he didn't expect it to be this extraordinary. A member of the Song family, one of the seven major families, not only awakened an SSS level talent, but also became an Eight Realms warrior. Regardless of their background or talent, such people were top notch in the human race. Even if Sumu had concrete evidence of his betrayal of the human race, it wouldn't be easy to deal with him. Moreover, Sumu currently had no evidence at all. Teacher, although I currently have no evidence. Sumu said, but do you know that I have an SSS level talent, sword heart insight, where does it come from? Could it be that Song family kid? Zhang Lao had apparently guessed the general idea. The specific reasons are very complicated, forgive me for not being able to explain them in detail to you, teacher. Sumu certainly couldn't tell Zhang Lao everything that happened that day. After all, it involved Deep Blue and Sumu's biggest secret, the diary left to him by his future self. Although he now trusted Zhang Lao very much, there were some secrets that couldn't be revealed just by trust alone. Zhang Lao, being an experienced person, wouldn't actively ask Su Mu about what he didn't say. Instead, he pondered for a while before slowly saying, All right, I understand this matter. However, since that Song family kid has already betrayed the human race, with his identity, he shouldn't easily expose himself, and the things he's plotting are probably not small. We can only focus on him for now and find a way to deal with him in the future. Su Mu also nodded in agreement. Currently, it wouldn't be a good choice to show hostility towards him rashly. It would be better to use a strategy, pretend not to know that he has already betrayed the human race, and slowly plan. Shamu, besides improving your own blood and energy values, the most important way for you to improve right now is to be able to replicate some top talents. I can't stay in the Wan clan battlefield for too long, at most half a day. Next, I will tell you a few things. Sumu nodded and listened attentively. Zhang Lao continued, someone is about to arrive soon and I will help you copy a talent from him. Then, I will take you to three different places, each of which has a large number of talents that can be copied. However, I may not have memories of taking you to that place, so you will have to tell me. Now, tell me, have you copied the talent of the person who will come later? Sumu shook his head. Zhang Lao nodded knowingly. How did you deceive me into killing you before? Zhang Lao asked. Sumu understood. His figure gradually transformed into that of a stranger. Zhang Lao was surprised to see Sumu suddenly change his appearance and even his aura and blood values. Your talent is interesting. Even if I wanted to figure it out, it would be troublesome. Speaking of which, I am also curious, teacher. This talent is clearly only an A-level talent. Sumu was also surprised. He had even thought that Zhang Lao might not be fooled. But he didn't expect Zhang Lao to not see through it. Zhang Lao smiled and said, Indeed, the level of your talent is not low. Unless you encounter an S-level or higher talent that can see through it, even ordinary Nine Realms warriors cannot see through your disguise. That's why talent is the biggest factor determining a warrior's strength. Some talents, no matter how much stronger you are than your opponent, if your talent cannot counter their talent or if your talent level is lower than theirs, you still cannot break their talent. Think about your copied talent. Isn't it the same principle? Despite my strength being much stronger than yours, you can easily copy it because your talent level is high enough. And your talent, if it only changed your appearance, might not fool some people, but your talent can even change your aura and blood values, which greatly increases the difficulty of recognition. Then, teacher, if I use this talent to infiltrate certain places, wouldn't it be impossible to judge? Zhang Lao smiled and shook his head, of course not, there are more ways to judge than just that. This talent is not completely unjudgeable. The reason why even I didn't notice it for a while is because the person using this talent is you. Zhang Lao carefully examined Su Mu. Your spiritual power is so strong that it surprised me. If it were an ordinary human, having your talent but not cultivating their spiritual power, it would be easy to be discovered. But you, on the other hand, possess spiritual power that is completely different from your realm. I think you must have deliberately cultivated your spiritual power, right? The last time I saw you, your spiritual power was far from reaching its current level. After Zhang Lao's explanation, Sumu finally understood why Zhang Lao didn't hesitate to attack him when he saw him. Zhang Lao obviously knew what level his spiritual power was before, but he didn't know that his spiritual power would improve so quickly. Coupled with the changes in his appearance, aura, and blood values, Zhang Lao mistook Su Mu for someone else. 
All right, now you should maintain this appearance. Teacher will accompany you in a play and deceive this old guy. With that, Zhang Lao's face suddenly turned pale. Then he collapsed to the ground. Teacher, what's wrong with you? Su Mu was about to say something but was interrupted by Zhang Lao. Damn human traitor. You dare to hide near the eastern war zone and ambush me, an old man. Even if I die, I won't let you set foot in the eastern war zone. Su Mu Duan suddenly understood Zhang Lao's meaning. His expression on his face also became strange all of a sudden. Then he continued speaking following Zhang Lao's words. Humph. Old man, today is your death day. How dare you? Just as Su Mu finished speaking, a voice came from afar. Suddenly, the entire sky seemed to turn into a black curtain, quickly enveloping the entire Luoxia peak. Lin Yi, the old ghost. Quickly, kill him. Zhang Lao shouted towards the sky. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. To be able to beat you like this, this guy must be at least a nine realm warrior, right? Let me handle him. You better deal with him quickly, stop talking nonsense. Zhang Lao couldn't help but curse. I got it, I'll go all out. The next moment, Su Mu Duan felt as if his body was being torn apart by a force. The surroundings gradually turned dark. Ding, you have been killed by the human powerhouse Lin Yi, replication successful, congratulations on obtaining the SSS level talent, extreme night canopy. Phew. Su Mu Duan opened his eyes. There was a hint of helplessness on his face. At first, he was wondering how Zhang Lao would help him replicate the talent. Now it seems. Cough cough, indeed, the simplest is the most practical. In life, it all depends on acting skills. It's fortunate that Zhang Lao personally took action. If it were someone else, it might not have turned out like this. Su Mu Duan quickly began to examine the talent he had replicated. SSS level talent, extreme night canopy, extreme night canopy, creates a domain space within a certain range. Inside the space, the owner can instantly appear anywhere within the extreme night canopy range, can deceive all enemies in external perception within the extreme night canopy, the power of the owner's martial arts attacks will be multiplied by a hundred times, and the range of the domain space will increase with the improvement of strength. Domain level talent. Sumu Duan's face showed a hint of joy. Zhang Lao is really amazing. This replication directly gave him an AoE skill. With this skill combined with the poison mist produced by his poison god, wouldn't he be able to massacre in the extreme night canopy? It should be noted that Su Muduan is currently only a peak 1 realm warrior, but with the extreme night canopy, along with many other talents, a 2 realm warrior can be directly killed by Su Muduan. As for a 3 realm warrior, although he may not be able to sweep them, at least there shouldn't be a problem with opponents in the early stage of the 3 realm. As for the mid stage of the 3 realm, it's hard to say for Su Muduan at the moment. But if he were to measure his combat power, it would be best to use Lu Yuan, someone he has fought many times but has never defeated. Let's do it. Su Mu Duan left the training room directly. Twelve hours later, Su Mu Duan reappeared in the training room. A little bit of bullying, but I like it. In the previous rollback, he directly went to challenge Lu Yuan. Previously, he could hardly get any advantage against Lu Yuan. Now, he is almost crushing Lu Yuan. With the blessing of the extreme night canopy, Lu Yuan can't even touch the corner of Su Muduan's clothes. Coupled with Su Muduan's strength and talents and strength, he is almost crushing Lu Yuan. This kind of crushing is simply because his strength far surpasses Lu Yuan. Su Muduan estimated that with a bit of effort, he should be able to deal with opponents in the mid-stage of the Three Realm. The late stage of the Three Realm is almost the limit. A peak one realm warrior saying that the late stage of the Three Realm is the limit he can reach. This is not just crossing one major realm. It's almost two major realms. The Extreme Night Canopy is definitely the unbeatable talent for Su Muduan at his current stage. He practiced the Extreme Night Canopy again. Su Mu began to rewind and repeat the actions he had done before, bringing the timeline back to when Zhang Lao asked him. Now, tell me, did you replicate the talent of the person who will come later? Zhang Lao looked at Su Mu. Su Mu nodded towards Zhang Lao. As he spoke, he waved his hand, and in the next moment, Zhang Lao was quickly enveloped in a black curtain of space. Seeing this black curtain of space, Zhang Lao nodded in satisfaction. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I really wouldn't believe that there is such a talent in the world. The extreme night sky of the Lin Yi old ghost has extremely high growth potential. As your strength improves, the range of the extreme night sky will also increase. Moreover, there are many things you can do within the extreme night sky. Lin Yi old ghost once killed three nine realm martial artists with this talent. Zhang Lao said, however, with your current strength, if the enemy is stronger than you, they can forcibly tear apart your extreme night sky. When you reach the realm of the Lin Yi old ghost, once the extreme night sky appears, millions of different races will perish. Even if a ten realm martial artist wants to tear it apart, it will take a lot of time. 
Now, put it away. You should also know that the Ling Yi old ghost will be here soon. Sumu put away the extreme night sky and looked at Zhang Lao with some confusion. Teacher, who is this Lin Yi? Lin Yi old ghost? Zhang Lao smiled. He is one of the three commanders of the Eastern War Zone. Eastern War Zone, one of the three commanders. Su Mu's eyes widened. No wonder the last time he rewound, he didn't even get to see him and was killed directly. And it seems that it was to confirm Zhang Lao's words. A man dressed in black armor, with a cold and stern face, appeared in front of the two of them at some point. Lin Yi old ghost, you finally came? Zhang Lao smiled at the man. The man looked to be in his twenties or thirties, with sharp eyebrows and a cold expression, appearing much younger than Zhang Lao. With such a commotion, it's hard for me not to notice, Lin Yi said with a faint smile. What are you pretending for in front of me? This is my closed door disciple, Su Mu, also your junior. Upon hearing this, Lin Yi began to size up Su Mu. Not bad, he slowly uttered two words. He seemed quite skilled. Zhang Lao, on the other hand, couldn't bear to watch anymore. He lifted his foot to kick Lin Yi. Lin Yi quickly dodged and said, Zhang Lao, what are you doing? Do you think it's easy for me to establish an image like this? Cut the crap. I get annoyed when I see your face that never ages. Damn it, I should have eaten that fruit back then. Zhang Lao seemed to be very annoyed by Lin Yi's young and handsome face, cursing. I didn't know back then, Lin Yi finally couldn't pretend anymore and awkwardly smiled. Su Mu looked at the two of them with some curiosity. From Zhang Lao's words, it seemed that this Lin Yi commander and he were from the same period, and they might have been good brothers who had gone through life and death together. And the reason why this Lin Yi commander still maintained a youthful appearance was because he had stolen a fruit from Zhang Lao back then. Cut it out. I'll remember this for a lifetime. Zhang Lao resentfully glanced at Lin Yi. Lin Yi could only smile and then turned his gaze to Su Mu, trying to change the subject. I really didn't expect that you, old ghost, would actually take on a closed door disciple at the end? He is your junior after all. Don't you want to show some respect? Zhang Lao raised his eyebrows and said, Let me tell you, Lin Yi old ghost, if the gift you give satisfies me, I won't expose you when there are many people around in the future. Hmm. Lin Ye's face brightened. Are you serious about this? That's natural, you don't know me yet. Are you saying that I lied to you? Zhang Lao nodded. Lin Yi immediately felt comfortable and looked at Su Mu with a smile. Zhang Lao, you said it yourself. Your closed door disciple is practically my half disciple, right? Su Mu, right? I'll call you Xiao Mu. I'll take you to my personal treasury later. Take whatever you like. You still have some elders' demeanor, Zhang Lao said to Su Mu. Xiao Mu, have you been to the three places I mentioned before? No, Su Mu replied. Zhang Lao nodded in response. In that case, Lin Yi, I can't stay on the battlefield of the 10,000 races for too long. I won't tell you about the reason for the previous light. I'm leaving with my disciple. With that, Zhang Lao and Su Mu disappeared in front of Lin Yi. Lin Yi stood there, looking at the suddenly vanished Zhang Lao and Su Mu. He rubbed his chin and muttered, Why did I just feel a familiar aura? Was it an illusion? He shook his head and put on a stern expression again. Zhang Lao actually made such a condition. It seems he values this closed door disciple very much. Since that's the case, I can't be stingy either. In the next moment, he also disappeared from the top of the falling sunset peak. Teacher, it seems like you have a good relationship with Senior Lin Yi, Su Mu said as he observed the scenes around him rapidly retreating. However, neither he nor Zhang Lao were affected in the slightest. Even Su Mu's hair didn't move. This was the ability of a Nine Realm warrior. Well, he and I have been best friends since our student days. We've saved each other from fatal attacks at least 10 times. He's a good person, but he likes to show off. Sometimes he always says I'm the best, I'm the best. I can't stand that. He insists on establishing a mysterious image in front of the younger generation, Zhang Lao reminisced about his past with Lin Yi inside. It's great to have such a friend, Su Mu said with some envy, but he quickly shook his head. A person like him was destined not to have, and could not have, such friends. Sensing Su Mu's emotions, Zhang Lao remained silent and increased his speed. The first place I'm taking you to is a place called the Devouring Sky Valley. The second place is the Savage Tribe. The third place is the Heavenly Eye Mountain. Generally speaking, the farther away from the human race on the battlefield of the 10,000 races, the closer you are to the core area of the 10,000 races, the higher the ranking of the races you can encounter in the 10,000 races. You should have learned in school that ranked races often have a higher chance of possessing powerful talents, Sumu nodded. But only those who rank within the top 1,000 in the 10,000 races have a ranking. It would be great if I could visit the territory of the Immortal 10 races someday. The Immortal Ten Races are the top 10 ranked races in the 10,000 races. Apart from the Divine Race, which is undoubtedly the first of the Immortal Ten Races, 
The rankings of the other nine races are not in any particular order. Sumu has always suspected that the person he encountered might be from one of the immortal races, possibly from the mysterious divine race. The divine race is undoubtedly the first race among the immortal ten races. Below the divine race, there are many branches, and most of the divine race are born as seven realm warriors, with terrifying strength. Among the divine race, the ten most famous branches are known as the ten great divine races. In the past, it was precisely because the human race seven saints killed the divine king of the ten great divine races that the human race gradually gained an advantage on the battlefield of the ten thousand races. Let go of this idea for now. With your current strength, even if you throw your life away, you won't be able to enter the territory of the immortal ten clans. However, in the future, when you become strong enough, it might not be impossible. Zhang Lao's words poured cold water on Su Mu. Su Mu could only shrug helplessly. Zhang Lao was right. With his current strength, not to mention entering the territory of the immortal ten clans among the ten thousand clans, even the three places Zhang Lao wanted to take him to would be difficult to reach. While he was thinking, Zhang Lao suddenly slowed down. We've arrived, the swallowing heaven valley. Sumu saw a huge valley with an abyss-like mouth that seemed to devour the heavens and earth from a distance. Swallowing heaven valley? Sumu frowned as he looked at the valley that looked like an abyss. Zhang Lao nodded. The swallowing ant clan resides here. The swallowing ant clan. The swallowing ant clan ranked 723rd among the 10,000 clans? Zhang Lao smiled and said, It seems you've learned well in the 10,000 clans. Yes, the swallowing ant clan has a large population. Individually, they may not pose a great threat, but if their numbers are large enough, even I would find it somewhat troublesome. However, the most powerful aspect of the Swallowing Ant Clan is their two SSS level talents, Swallowing Heaven and Optimizing Talent. The former can help you quickly increase your vitality, while the latter usually appears on the Queen Ant, but it's not suitable for you. Optimizing Talent? Just hearing the name, Sumu felt that it was quite suitable for him. With a thought, Deep Blue had already displayed the ability of optimizing talent in front of him. SSS level talent, optimizing talent, optimizing talent. By devouring the talents of the same or different races, one can optimize their own genes and produce offspring with advanced talents. The accumulated energy can optimize the offspring's talents up to the SSS level. After each accumulation of energy is consumed, it needs to be accumulated again. Indeed, judging from the talent alone, this optimizing talent was not suitable for Sumu. He wasn't a rooster that laid eggs. Well, it didn't seem appropriate to describe it like that either. Sumu shook his head. However, from the description of this talent, it could be seen that Zhang Lao had clearly considered it for Sumu. With this talent, there should be no shortage of swallowing ants in the swallowing heaven valley who could awaken SSS level talents. Teacher, this place is perfect for me. Sumu looked at the abyss-like mouth with excitement. As long as you like it. Do you want to try it yourself first, or should I help you and throw you to a suitable place after killing along the way? Zhang Lao laughed. Sumu said, Teacher, let me try it myself first. Hearing this, Zhang Lao nodded. In the next moment, they appeared below. After putting Sumu down, Zhang Lao also disappeared. Before leaving, he left a sentence, Xiaomu, it's up to you now. After falling into the swallowing heaven valley, Sumu held a long sword and quickly scanned his surroundings. And just as he appeared, the surroundings suddenly became restless. From the bushes, a giant ant the size of a wolf dog emerged. The black eyes of the ant seemed to pause for a moment when it saw Sumu. In the next moment, without giving Sumu time to react, it had already pounced on him. Sumu quickly used spatial manipulation and dodged to the side. At this moment, he finally saw the information of the swallowing ant in front of him. Race, Devouring Ant Tribe, HP, 273,223. Early fourth realm martial artist, talent, D rank, frenzied bite, habit, lives in the devouring valley of the 10,000 tribes battlefield. Weakness, jaw. Seeing the information about this devouring ant tribe, Sumu felt his scalp tingle. He hadn't even entered yet, and you're already throwing an early fourth realm martial artist at me? But considering that the devouring ant tribe ranks around 700, Sumu felt relieved. Let me see how big the gap is between me and an otherworldly being at the early fourth realm. Copying talents is certainly something to do, but Sumu wouldn't pass up any opportunity to gain combat experience. His expression became serious. Nightfall Sky Curtain. Activate. A ball of flame, mixed with a power as black as ink, enveloped Sumu's long sword. Sumu's figure flashed, and the next moment, he appeared above the head of the devouring ant. Poochi. Pying. Ding ding dang dang. Ding, you have been killed by the devouring ant tribe, successful copy. Congratulations on obtaining D-rank talent, frenzied bite. Again. Ding, 
You have been killed by the devouring ant tribe, successful copy, congratulations on obtaining C-rank talent, tenfold strength, again, ding, you have been killed by the devouring ant tribe, successful copy, congratulations on obtaining C-rank talent, tenfold speed, after dying countless times, when Zhang Lao asked Sumu again whether he wanted to go by himself or have him help, Sumu decisively changed his words, teacher, please take me with you, there are early fourth and fifth realm beings below, and we won't be able to proceed. Seeing Su Mu's frustrated expression, Zhang Lao couldn't help but laugh heartily. All right, let me help you. Zhang Lao took Su Mu directly into the devouring valley. As soon as they landed, a devouring ant appeared in their line of sight. Su Mu glanced at it. Heh, it's that deranked talent devouring ant. Teacher, go for it. Whether it heard Su Mu's thoughts or the devouring ant made a move on its own, the devouring ant was about to pounce on the two of them. But at a distance of less than 10 meters from them, the devouring ant's body suddenly exploded. On the other hand, Zhang Lao seemed completely unaffected, as if he hadn't done anything at all. Looking at Zhang Lao beside him, Sumu couldn't help but sigh. Truly a ninth realm expert, playing with these devouring ants is like child's play. With Zhang Lao's help, Sumu made steady progress. Ding, you have been killed by the devouring ant tribe, successful copy, congratulations on obtaining B-rank talent, mental penetration. Ding, you have been killed by the devouring ant tribe, successful copy, congratulations on obtaining A-rank talent, mental barrier. Ding, you have been killed by the devouring ant tribe, successful copy, congratulations on obtaining S-rank talent, mental source power. With Zhang Lao clearing the way, Su Mu's number of talents skyrocketed at an extremely fast pace. Seeing the mental talents, Su Mu immediately turned to Zhang Lao and said, Teacher, throw me over there. And his deaths were not in vain. After multiple deaths, he had now gathered all his mental talents. Plan, S-rank talent, mental source power plus A-rank talents, mental barrier, mental manipulation, plus B-rank talent, mental penetration, equals SS level talent, mind control technique SS level talent, mind control technique mind control technique, greatly enhances spiritual power, can use spiritual power to attack the opponent, if the spiritual power is not lower than the opponent's by a large realm, can directly control the opponent, the greater the difference in strength, the shorter the control time. If the spiritual power is lower than the opponent's by a large realm, can temporarily influence the opponent's actions with spiritual power. The greater the difference in strength, the smaller the influence. This talent directly increased Su Mu's spiritual power by nearly 7,000 points, allowing his spiritual power to reach the late stage of the second realm warrior in one fell swoop. Although the vitality of the devouring ant is high, its spiritual power realm should not be high, right? Teacher, let me down, I want to fight 10 of them. Sumu's improvement in the devouring valley was tremendous. Most importantly, through constantly dying at the hands of the devouring ant with spiritual talents, he directly fused an SS level talent, mind control technique, changed the name, the previous one did not fit the level setting. And the mind control technique directly raised his spiritual power to the late stage of the second realm warrior, and also contained many means of using spiritual power. For ordinary people, the improvement of spiritual power may at most be a means to attack others or defend against others' spiritual power attacks. But for Su Mu, it meant an extremely large number of resets. With his current spiritual power, the number of resets has skyrocketed to several thousand times. In addition to the skyrocketing number of resets, Su Mu's use of spiritual power has also reached a higher level. Over 8,000 points of spiritual power. Facing the devouring ant tribe, whose spiritual power generally does not exceed the late stage of the third realm, Sumu can almost directly slaughter them with overwhelming force. Indeed, constantly acquiring new talents is the fastest way to improve strength. However, even with this skyrocketing spiritual power and the attacking method of mind control technique, Sumu only managed to reach the middle area of the devouring valley. The closer to the depths of the devouring valley, the more devouring ants there are. And even with the help of the wave sword song to spread his mind control technique, it is still unlikely to be able to exterminate so many devouring ants in a short period of time. After killing a dozen or so devouring ants and confirming that he really had no way to advance with his own strength, Sumu once again hugged Zhang Lao's thigh. After countless deaths, Sumu finally found his target. Race, devouring ant tribe vitality, 17,527,523, early stage of the sixth realm warrior, Talent, SSS level, devouring heaven and earth habit, living in the devouring valley of the 10,000 tribes battlefield. Weakness, jaw. Perhaps because Sumu had died too many times, Deep Blue had already analyzed some of the talents of the devouring ant tribe during that time. When he saw that devouring ant, its talent was not the usual one to be analyzed. It was an SSS level talent, devouring heaven and earth. 
Devouring Heaven and Earth, as the most famous talent of the Devouring Ant tribe, was naturally Su Mu's main goal for this trip. Teacher, that one. Upon hearing what Sumu said, Zhang Lao directly raised his hand and threw Sumu like a projectile towards that devouring ant. That devouring ant was obviously not an ordinary one. With its black eyes, when it saw Sumu flying towards it, it quickly opened the two large pincers on its head and accurately clamped Sumu's neck. Sumu, deceased. At the same time Sumu died, he also successfully obtained what he wanted. Ding, you have been killed by the ant tribe, and the replication is successful. Congratulations on obtaining the SSS level talent, Devouring Heaven and Earth. SSS level talent, Devouring Heaven and Earth, Devouring Heaven and Earth, can devour and consume everything in the world, with the special ability to devour. It can be used once every certain period of time. After using devour, it can devour attacks from up to three realms higher than oneself and convert them into one's own vitality. Only after complete conversion can devour be used again. The conversion speed increases with the improvement of strength. It also has the special ability to consume. The absorption and digestion speed of food and medicine taken into the body is increased by a hundredfold. After reading the introduction of Devouring Heaven and Earth, Sumu couldn't help but be amazed. This Devouring Heaven and Earth talent is truly one of the most famous SSS level talents of the Ant tribe. Just the devouring ability alone is already incredibly powerful. It's almost equivalent to being able to withstand an attack from an enemy in the early stage of the ninth realm when you're only in the early stage of the sixth realm. Moreover, it can convert this attack into vitality to enhance one's own strength. This not only serves as an extremely strong defense, but also means a great opportunity to take advantage of. Sumu doesn't care so much about defense, but it doesn't hurt to use this ability to take advantage of those who are about three realms higher than him. Let them attack him with all their might then he can activate devour and devour their attacks, slowly digesting and converting them into his own vitality. How much vitality can he save this way? Besides devour, the talent of consume is also very useful for Su Mu. It's simply an enhanced version of the absorption acceleration ability he obtained before. With the help of absorption acceleration, Su Mu's strength has already improved rapidly. Now, with the consume ability of devouring heaven and earth, Whenever he eats something, it will be quickly digested, absorbed, and converted into vitality in Sumu's body. Previously, when he had nothing, Sumu could only take about 3 or 4 doses of vitality medicine in a day to reach his limit. With absorption acceleration, he could take about 10 doses of vitality medicine in a day. And now, with devouring heaven and earth, Sumu estimates that he can take hundreds of doses of vitality medicine in a day without any problem. He will have to train while stuffing his mouth. He's afraid that if he puts it in a little late, it will be completely digested. And this terrifying digestion and absorption speed also means that in the early stage, which relies solely on the increase of vitality, Sumu's improvement speed will be extremely terrifying. As long as he has sufficient vitality medicine and blood food, he even has the confidence to improve his strength to the peak of the third realm before the end of the training camp. You should know that he is currently only at the peak of the first realm warrior. Even for the geniuses of the training camp, it would take several years to go from the peak of the first realm warrior to the peak of the second realm warrior. But for Sumu now, it might not even take 10 days. It has to be said that the talent of devouring heaven and earth, even among SSS level talents, is definitely one of the top existences. He took a deep breath. Once again, the development of the situation was pushed to the stage of devouring heaven valley. After obtaining the talent of devouring heaven and earth, Sumu mainly targeted some ants that could merge with his existing talents in his search for talents. With the help of Zhang Lao, Sumu also made his way to the depths of Devouring Heaven Valley. In the depths of Devouring Heaven Valley, a giant queen ant was surrounded by a group of devouring ants. Most of these devouring ants, who were protecting the queen ant, had reached the sixth realm warrior level. And the queen ant, protected among them, had even reached the early stage of the seventh realm warrior. In addition to strength, what Sumu cares about the most are the two interfaces on the head of the ant queen. Race, Ant Tribe, Ant Queen, Pregnant, Life Force, 123,753,775, Early Stage of Seven Realms Martial Artist, Talent, SSS Level, Optimized Talent, Habit, Living in the Ant Valley of the 10,000 Tribes Battlefield, Weakness, Jaw, Race, Ant Tribe, Ant King, Unborn, Life Force, 1538. 56. Early stage of second realm martial artist, talent, to be analyzed, habit, living in the ant valley of the 10,000 tribes battlefield, weakness, jaw, and king. Sumu clearly remembers that he learned some knowledge about the ant tribe in class. For the ant queen with optimized talent, the ant king she gives birth to will definitely have a top-notch SSS level talent. And according to the information from Deep Blue, 
if the energy accumulated by the ant queen is sufficient, there is even a small chance that the born ant king can awaken an EX level talent. EX level talent. Even among the 10,000 tribes, it is extremely rare. And in the human tribe, it only appeared after the extinction of the human tribe. If Sumu can find a way to obtain an EX level talent from here, it will definitely be of great help to him. Deep Blue, can you analyze when this Ant King will be born? Master, based on the current data, the birth of the Ant King will take at least 1 to 3 years. The speed is related to the energy the Ant Queen continues to devour during this time. The more energy is devoured, the less time it will take. Sumu frowned. According to Deep Blue, the fastest this Ant King will be born is about a year. It is unlikely that he will be able to find this Ant King to brush talents in the short term. He glanced at the surrounding Ant Queens. He found no talents that were particularly suitable for him. Sumu directly asked Jean Lao to throw him down to hone his fighting skills. After killing about a dozen Ant Queens, Sumu finally died miserably in the mouth of a mid-stage 5 realms Ant Queen. He returned to the previous checkpoint and acted similarly to before, when Zhang Lao asked him, Xiao Mu, have you been to the three places I mentioned before? I have already been to the first one, teacher. Hearing this, Zhang Lao nodded. He turned to Lin Yi. In that case, Lin Yi, I can't stay in the 10,000 tribes battlefield for too long. I won't tell you about the previous light. I'm leaving with my disciple. Immediately, Su Mu grabbed onto Su Mu and flew towards the depths of the Wanzu battlefield. Since I have already taken you to the Swallowing Heaven Valley, then next, I should take you to the Barbarian Giant Tribe. Sumu was a bit confused, teacher, is the Barbarian Giant Tribe the place where the Barbarian Giant Clan resides? I remember that although their ranking among the Wanzu is higher than the Swallowing Heaven and Clan, their awakened talents are mostly below the S level, rarely having SS level talents, let alone SSS level talents. Zhang Lao nodded, that's right. Although the awakened talent level of the Barbarian Giant Clan is generally not high, the reason they can rank higher than the Swallowing Heaven Ant Clan and even reach 651st place among the Wanzu, should have been explained by your teacher in class, right? Sumo nodded, it seems like it was said that because of their physical constitution, the Barbarian Giant Clan's blood and chi can increase very quickly. They are a rare race in the Wanzu that relies purely on their own martial arts realm and strength, creating a world of their own. It can be said that they are a race that values their own power and does not rely on talents. Zhang Lao was satisfied, well said you have a solid understanding of theoretical knowledge. I doubt your senior brothers and sisters would be able to answer these questions immediately. Sumu smiled slightly, Teacher, you overestimate me. Joking aside, the knowledge he learned with the help of Deep Blue during his time travel was not in vain. Zhang Lao continued, Although the awakened talent level of the Barbarian Giant Clan is generally not high, and most of them have talents in strength, speed, and physical enhancement, it doesn't prevent them from being strong. They have huge physiques, and just like our human race, they can cultivate various types of body refining techniques, breathing techniques, and martial skills. Even if some other races rank higher than them, they may not necessarily be their opponents at the same realm. Their dietary habits are also very similar to ours. They are one of the few neutral races among the Wanzu. As long as our human race doesn't provoke them, they won't attack us. Zhang Lao took the opportunity to provide Su Mu with some information about the barbarian giant clan. The reason I brought you here is also related to these factors. Sumu listened to Zhang Lao's words and began to ponder. If their dietary habits are the same as ours, then they certainly won't eat their own kind like other races. Moreover, if they are neutral, it's likely that our human race is not their food either. So, what do they eat? Sumu suddenly thought of something and tentatively asked, Teacher, are you suggesting that our target is the food of these barbarian giants? Smart. Zhang Lao laughed. The talents of the barbarian giants themselves are not worth duplicating, but these powerful barbarian giants capture strong members of other races and keep them as food for the entire tribe. And because the number of barbarian giants is huge, they also capture many other races from the Wanzu battlefield every day. Our target is those captured members of other races that the barbarian giants keep. The barbarian giants believe that the stronger the food, the stronger the power it can bring them. So the captured members are either strong in their own right or have strong talents. Sumu furrowed his brows slightly, Teacher, can the barbarian giants see through the talents of other races? Zhang Lao laughed and said, The barbaric giants have a group of beings called the Sacrifices. Their awakened talent allows them to identify which other races possess powerful talents. However, not all races dare to provoke these barbaric giants. At least, the barbaric giants do not dare to provoke any race ranked above 600. It's not just the Sacrifices among the barbaric giants. Whether it's our human race or the various races, there are not many talents that can see through others' talents, 
but it's not considered few either. Zhang Lao looked at Su Mu and continued, but your talent itself belongs to the EX level. The talent that can see through, at the very least, is SSS level. This already eliminates most of the talents that can see through your talent. As for the rest, since we've brought up this question, it's a good time to be cautious when we go to the third place. I'll provide you with a method. Su Mu's eyes brightened. He had been pondering about ways to prevent others from discovering his talent, besides the talent mist. After all, if someone were to discover his talent, although it wouldn't be an irreparable situation for him, it would still be troublesome. Please enlighten me, teacher, Sumu asked. Zhang Lao chuckled, this brings us to the extreme night sky of Lin Yi Old Ghost. With this talent, you can envelop yourself in a layer of extreme night sky, which means even an SSS level talent cannot see through your own talent. You can use this talent normally, but just be careful not to use it in front of Lin Yi Old Ghost. That's why I didn't mention it earlier. After all, Lin Yi Old Ghost has also used this talent for many years and is particularly sensitive to this aura. Zhang Lao added, but even if he were to discover it, it wouldn't be a big deal. I can help you deceive him, and if that doesn't work, you can always revert back. It's not a big problem. As they were speaking, a vast plane appeared ahead. On the line where the plane first emerged, there were dense clusters of stars. Upon closer inspection, they turned out to be fires. There, that's the barbaric giant tribe. Barbaric giant tribe. Sumu's eyes lit up as he looked at the huge tents spread across the entire plain. To be honest, the architecture of the barbaric giant tribe was extremely grand and majestic. Each tent was built with the fur of some unknown race, and even the shortest tent was at least 7 or 8 meters tall. In the center of the tribe, there was a towering and boundless structure that couldn't be seen in its entirety. Sumu knew that the enormous building was the sky tower of the barbaric giant tribe, where the sacrifices of the tribe usually held their ceremonies. Xiaomu, use the extreme night sky to envelop yourself. This is also one of the uses of the extreme night sky. Lin Yi Old Ghost often uses this method to infiltrate the rear of other races, Zhang Lao instructed Su Mu. Su Mu nodded quickly, okay, teacher. Su Mu tried to envelop himself with the extreme night sky. For him at the moment, it wasn't a difficult task to form a layer of extreme night sky outside of himself. After the extreme night sky enveloped Su Mu, his presence instantly disappeared. Apart from being visible to the naked eye, his existence couldn't be sensed through perception alone. No wonder Zhang Lao said that the potential of the extreme night sky was extremely high, it truly had endless uses. It was fortunate that Zhang Lao was by his side. He was a close friend of Lin Yi, the commander who had possessed the extreme night sky for most of his life. If it were someone else, unless it was Lin Yi himself, they might not have been able to teach Su Mu so much about the wonderful uses of the extreme night sky. Under Zhang Lao's leadership, Su Mu quickly infiltrated the savage tribe. Boom! The savage giant was quite huge, about 4 or 5 meters tall, and could make a booming sound as it walked. However, Sumu and the others were not here for these savage giants. As long as they avoided them carefully, it would be fine. Soon, Sumu and Zhang Lao arrived at the feeding area of the savage giant tribe. The entire feeding area was surrounded by trees. Around the feeding area, giants about 4 or 5 meters tall patrolled with huge sticks made from the bones of some unknown creature. Roar! One of the savage giants suddenly roared at the sky for no apparent reason. The tremendous shockwave spread outwards. The loud noise furrowed Sumu's brows. The strength of these savage giants was closely related to their massive size. Even a slight movement could generate tremendous power. Moreover, don't assume that these savage giants are slow just because of their size. Some of them are just as fast as humans of the same level. Humans of the same level would have a small chance of defeating such a massive creature. If such a massive creature were thrown onto a battlefield, it would cause unimaginable destruction. To be honest, the human race should be grateful that this race is neutral. Otherwise, on a real battlefield, this race would definitely be the first one the human race needs to deal with. Sumu even specifically had deep blue release information about the savage giant not far away. Race, savage giant, life force, 3,357,725, mid-stage 5 realm warrior, Talent, D-Level, Strength Enhancement, Habit, lives in the savage tribe of the 10,000 races battlefield. Weakness, Eyes. Fortunately, Sumu and Zhang Lao were not large in size, and they could hide. So they successfully avoided the patrol of the savage giants and entered their feeding area. After entering the feeding area of the savage giants, Sumu truly understood why Zhang Lao chose this place as the second location. Teacher, am I not mistaken? Isn't that a azurite black dragon? This race is closely related to the dragon race, although their strength is far inferior to the dragon race, they are still a race of over 600 individuals. I didn't expect them to be captured by the savage giant tribe. Great ape tribe. 
They are at least two meters tall, but in front of those savage giants, they are like little chicks. Damn, the savage giant tribe is really powerful. They captured so many shadow leopard tribes. The shadow leopard tribe is extremely fast and excellent at hiding. I don't know how these savage giants managed to capture them. After marveling at the strength of the savage giant tribe, Sumu quickly searched for his target. Ding, you have been killed by the shadow leopard tribe, successful replication, congratulations on obtaining the SS level talent, shadow sovereign. Ding, you have been killed by the savage bull tribe, successful replication, congratulations on obtaining the SS level talent, savage bull divine power. Ding, you have been killed by the azurite black dragon tribe, successful replication, congratulations on obtaining the SS level talent, poison sovereign. In less than a moment, Sumu had replicated a large number of talents. Among them, the lowest talent was S level, and some were even SS level. The only thing that disappointed Sumu was that after scanning through, he didn't replicate a single SSS level talent. This could only be blamed on Sumu's bad luck. According to Zhang Lao, the feeding area of the savage giant tribe did not have these races every day. Basically, every now and then, there will be a few different races missing, and then a few more different races will appear. Like those SSS level talented different races, it is very likely that they have already been eaten by the savage giant race before Sumu arrived. Because in the eyes of the savage giants, these talented different races are the best ingredients. They swept through the savage tribe. Sumu returned to the checkpoint when he had to make a choice. Xiaomu, have you been to the three places I mentioned before? Teacher, I have been to the first and second places. Sumu answered Zhang Lao's question. Zhang Lao's face also showed a hint of surprise. This feeling of having no memory at all and can only judge based on the other person's behavior is quite strange even for Zhang Lao himself. But he didn't ask further. Since Sumu said he had been to the first two places, then he would directly take Sumu to the third place. This third place is called Tianyan Mountain. As the name suggests, it is inhabited by the Tianyan tribe. The talent of the Tianyan tribe is very singular, but it should be very useful for you. Their talent is an SSS level talent called Tian Daoshin Tong, which is said to be able to see through all SSS level talents. This trip, I will take you to Tianyan Mountain for this talent. In the future, you will definitely need to copy a large number of talents, and there is no need to waste time on useless talents. But if you have the Tian Daoshin Tong, it will be more convenient to find talents, and the Tian Daoshin Tong also has many other uses. Tian Daoshin Tong. If according to Zhang Lao's words, this Tian Daoshin Tong should be an enhanced version of True Sight. If Sumu could really obtain the Tian Daoshin Tong, it would be of great help to him. Currently, Sumu's main way of checking the talents of enemies is still relying on True Sight and Deep Blue working together. It can be said that it is invincible against A level and below talents, but it becomes somewhat troublesome against S level and above talents. Zhang Lao continued to talk about the situation of the Tianyan tribe. Do you know why I arranged the Tianyan tribe as the third one? Sumu shook his head. For him personally, it didn't matter which order the Tianyan tribe was in, because even without the Tian Daoshin Tong of the Tianyan tribe, he could still judge some talents. As for talents that couldn't be judged at once, he could either wait for Deep Blue to analyze them or simply die. After all, with Sumu's thousands of checkpoints, he had plenty of opportunities to try and make mistakes. But from Zhang Lao's perspective, it was not the same. Although Zhang Lao might guess that Sumu had a talent to explore talents, it was only a guess. And considering this, if he wanted to better copy talents, logically speaking, he should go to Tianyan Mountain first and copy the talent of Tian Daoshin Tong, which would be safer. This way, it would also be helpful for subsequent copying. But Zhang Lao deliberately chose not to put Tianyan Mountain first or second, but last. There must be his own considerations. Seeing Sumu shaking his head, Zhang Lao smiled and said, Silly child, you can't turn the corner all at once. Since the Tian Daoshin Tong is said to be able to see through all SSS level talents in the world, how can you guarantee that when you appear in front of him, your talent won't be seen through by him? You should know that even the extreme night sky curtain of Lin Yi Old Ghost can be seen through by the Tian Daoshin Tong. And for the human race, currently, there are only two methods that have been considered to be able to resist the Tian Yan clan's divine eye. One is to awaken an SSS level talent that can withstand the detection of the Divine Eye's supernatural powers. However, this talent itself is very rare. Among the talents currently awakened by the human race, there is only one called manipulating the heavenly mechanism that can achieve this step. However, achieving this is not guaranteed. The Divine Eye and manipulating the heavenly mechanism are like the sharpest spear and the sturdiest shield in the world. The strength of the two will ultimately depend on the strength of the talent holder. Compared to the first method, the second method is a hypothesis proposed by one of our human race's seven saints, Lord Joalom of the Great Xia Dragon Saint. 
The hypothesis is that if a person's talent surpasses the limit that the divine eye can perceive, then the divine eye will be unable to detect it. This hypothesis has some theoretical basis. Lord Zhou Aolong encountered a powerful member of the Tianyin clan before becoming one of the seven saints. At that time, Lord Zhou Aolong used a method similar to cheating due to previous battles, allowing himself to possess three SSS level talents simultaneously. However, at that time, the member of the Tianyin clan was sent to hunt down Lord Zhou Aolong. Just when Lord Zhou Aolong thought he was about to be doomed, that member of the Tianyin clan completely failed to detect his presence. Afterwards, Lord Zhou Aolong repeatedly recalled that day's experience and finally proposed this hypothesis. Sumu looked at Jian Lao with some understanding and said, So, teacher, you want me to have enough SSS level talents on me to achieve the same state as Lord Zhou Aolong did back then, in order to evade the detection of the Tianyin clan? But teacher, I can rewind time, even if the members of the Tianyin clan discover that I have multiple talents. Jian Lao shook his head and said, That's right, you can indeed rewind time, but I don't dare to gamble. Xiaomu, you should also understand that the Wan clan's understanding of talents far surpasses ours. Before you grow up, I cannot expose any information about your talents to the Wan clan site. It doesn't matter in front of other races, but in front of the Tianyin clan's renowned divine eye, I don't dare to bet that your talent won't be discovered. So I can only do my best to help you avoid the detection of the divine eye. Zhang Lao's words made Sumu slightly stunned. To be honest, Zhang Lao is the only elder who, apart from his family, has shown unconditional concern and consideration for Su Mu. Even Su Mu can't understand why Zhang Lao would go to such lengths for him. Is it simply because he likes him? Or is it because he is the human race's only hope? Or perhaps both? Teacher, actually, you can ask me. Zhang Lao paused for a moment and said, Xiao Mu, since I made that life oath, it not only means that I won't disclose any information related to your talents, but it also means something else. I will try to know as little as possible about you, especially when it comes to your talents. Teacher won't ask, and doesn't want to know. So don't blame teacher. Teacher would rather choose a more troublesome method to ensure that you can obtain talents without any risk of your talents being exposed. Zhang Lao spoke casually and indifferently, as if describing something extremely easy. But only Su Mu, as the person involved, can truly understand to what extent Zhang Lao has gone for him. It can be said that every step has been carefully planned and every effort has been made. Unfortunately, my time on the battlefield of the 10,000 races is limited. Otherwise, I would have taken you around the battlefield. But it's okay, when you return to the human clan, I will make arrangements for you, Jean Lao said with a smile. Sumu was stunned for a moment. After a long while, he finally spoke. Teacher, aren't you afraid that I am a spy for the human clan, or that one day I will betray the human clan? Sumu's words were sharp, causing Zhang Lao to be momentarily stunned upon hearing them. However, it was just a momentary pause. He looked at Su Mu, his slightly cloudy eyes meeting Su Mu's eyes with great seriousness. To be honest, I am afraid. But in life, we must take risks, right? Zhang Lao said, sounding somewhat melancholic and confused. If that day really comes, then perhaps the human clan is truly finished, right? The teacher and students soon arrived at Tianyan Mountain. In order to prevent Su Mu from being exposed, Zhang Lao's plan was for him to attract the attention of the Tianyan clan members. Then, he would lure one or more Tianyin clan members to attack him. At a critical moment, he would redirect the attack towards Su Mu's location. The plan went smoothly. Su Mu successfully obtained the coveted Heavenly Dao Divine Eye from Tianyin Mountain. Ding, you have been killed by the Tianyin clan, replication successful, congratulations on obtaining the SSS level talent, Heavenly Dao Divine Eye, SSS level talent, Heavenly Dao Divine Eye, Heavenly Dao Divine Eye, able to discern and nullify all SSS level and below talents, as well as the mist, concealment, and deception effects produced by all SSS level and below talents. In the presence of the Heavenly Dao Divine Eye, all eye-related talents, except for the Heavenly Dao Divine Eye itself, will be suppressed by 50% to 100% of their abilities, depending on the gap between the two parties. After seeing the introduction of the Heavenly Dao Divine Eye, Sumu could only sigh and say that this replicated talent was truly worth it. With this talent, Sumu no longer had to worry about not being able to see the opponent's talents in the future. Moreover, the effects of discerning mist, concealment, deception, and others that came with the Heavenly Dao Divine Eye were also quite useful for Sumu. If someone had this talent, the SSS level talent Mirage Dream from before probably wouldn't have been able to deceive Sumu's eyes at all. Not to mention the suppression effect of the Heavenly Dao Divine Eye on other eye related talents. With the Heavenly Dao Divine Eye, Sumu had basically reached the end of the road in terms of eye related talents. After integrating the true side eye into the Heavenly Dao Divine Eye, Sumu once again pushed the development of the situation forward to the moment when Zhang Lao asked him if he had been to the three places he mentioned before. 
At this moment, Zhang Lao was still questioning Su Mu. Xiao Mu, have you been to the three places I mentioned before? I have been to all of them, teacher, Su Mu said, his eyes filled with a hint of respect. In countless rewinds, Su Mu not only gained a lot of talents but also sincerely admired Zhang Lao. In Su Mu's eyes, Zhang Lao was truly a great person. His lifelong goal, from beginning to end, was only one thing, to fight for the rise of the human clan. This, even Su Mu himself might not be able to achieve. Su Mu wanted to protect the human clan, and he wanted to save the human clan, but he was not without selfishness. What he wanted to protect was the human clan, and also his home, his small family of only a few people. But Zhang Lao was different. He seemed to have no selfishness when it came to the human clan. It was precisely because of this that when he learned that Su Mu might be the human clan's only hope, he started to give his all without hesitation. After hearing Su Mu's answer, Zhang nodded knowingly. Since that's the case, then it should be about right. Zhang's gaze fell on Lin Yi, who was not far away, with some confusion. You too, teacher and student, why are you playing dumb riddles? Lin Yi asked uneasily when he suddenly noticed Zhang looking at him. Zhang smiled slightly. Lin Yi, there's a great opportunity for you to make a contribution here. Are you interested? Lin Yi frowned at first upon hearing this, then decisively shook his head. At this stage, what's the point of making any contribution? Besides, can anything good come out of your mouth, Zhang? Zhang gave Lin Yi a disdainful look and said, Fine, I was thinking of giving someone a chance to pretend, but since someone isn't interested, then forget it. Seeing Zhang's expression, Su Mu probably understood what Zhang wanted to do. Now that Su Mu's talent had reached its peak, the next thing to solve naturally was the plan involving General Tsong and the human faced worm. And it turned out that Su Mu's guess was correct. Lin Yi had been watching Zhang warily, but when he heard Zhang mention an opportunity to pretend, his eyebrows twitched. Ha, huh, if there's such an opportunity, can you give it to me? Tell me about it. Zhang, seeing this, gave a smug look to Su Mu. The general meaning was, look, it's easy for me to control this guy, right? Then he looked at Lin Yi with a feigned look of distress and said, if it weren't for the fact that I can't stay in the Wanzhou battlefield for too long, do you think this opportunity would fall to you? Zhang quickly explained the plan involving General Tsong and the human faced worm. At that time, they will set a trap in the endless abyss 3,000 miles away in the eastern war zone, temporarily deceiving you. With your abilities, even if you want to come out of the endless abyss, it will take a lot of time. Moreover, they have means to specifically trap you. After you are trapped in the endless abyss, the vast eastern war zone will become particularly empty. At this time, with frequent battles happening in various peripheral areas of the eastern war zone, forcing the hidden dragon legion to participate in some campaign sweeps, coupled with the position of the human traitor in your eastern war zone, do you think the hidden dragon legion will be annihilated as they expect? Zhang's analysis made Lin Yi furrow his brows and start thinking carefully. Originally, he thought Zhang was joking with him. But as he listened to what Zhang said, his expression became serious. That damned Song Yunfei. When I go back, I'll definitely skin him alive. Lin Yi cursed, letting Su Mu know the name of General Tsong for the first time. Obviously, Lin Yi knew the true identity of General Tsong. The foreign races actually came up with such a vicious plan. Their hearts are truly unforgivable. I thought that after the incident 50 years ago, the foreign races had gradually restrained themselves, but it turns out they were just lying in wait, ready to deliver a fatal blow to our human race at any time. Lin Yi muttered angrily. Zhang looked at Lin Yi with a meaningful look and said, Do you really think that the foreign races have gradually restrained themselves since the incident 50 years ago? Upon hearing Zhang's words, Lin Yi's face changed slightly. He glanced at Su Mu first, then his expression rarely became serious as he said, Zhang, what do you mean by that? No meaning, it's just that Lin Yi, you have gone higher than me. You should be more clear about certain things. The calmness of these 50 years is too strange, isn't it? Is the human race really gaining the upper hand? Perhaps, we should have woken up long ago. However, before Zhang finished speaking, the pitch black night sky instantly enveloped Zhang and Lin Yi, leaving Su Mu excluded. Looking at the black curtain in front of him, Su Mu raised an eyebrow. He was about to satisfy his curiosity with the heavenly doubt of Ein Ai. Then, he saw the pitch black curtain disappear. The expressions of the two inside were unusually solemn. All right, Zhang old ghost, I already know about this matter. I will find a way to handle it. As for what I mentioned earlier, Zhang old ghost, you have always been tight-lipped. If you hadn't mentioned that you had already noticed, I wouldn't have brought it up with you. But since you now know, you should understand why we are doing this. You will die a miserable death. Zhang old ghost looked at Lin Yi. As warriors, why fear death? A gentle breeze blew Lin Yi's stray hair in front of his forehead as he smiled indifferently. Seeing the attitudes of the two, Sumu tactfully refrained from asking further. 
In that case, how do you plan to handle the matter of Tsong Yunfei, seemingly to change the topic? We'll use their own tricks against them. Since they can plot against us, naturally, we can plot against them. Lin Yi waved his hand nonchalantly. The biggest problem with this matter was that they had to ensure in advance that this Nine Realms warrior would not participate in the battlefield. That's why Su Mu mentioned earlier that there would be an Eight Realms warrior accompanying them. The reaction of the facebug was so significant because the premise of all their plans was to deceive one of the three commanders guarding the eastern front, Lin Yi, into the endless abyss. Moreover, during this process, Lin Yi must not be aware of their plan. But now that Lin Yi already knows everything, their plan's failure is inevitable. Not only that, when a Nine Realms warrior joins the battle, the balance of victory will almost certainly tilt in favor of the Nine Realms warrior. In that case, it's up to you. However, there is one more thing I want to mention to you, Lin Yi Old Ghost. Zhang Old Ghost thought of something and said, The reason we were able to learn about this plan in advance is all thanks to my disciple Su Mu. Zhang Old Ghost patted Su Mu's shoulder lightly as he spoke. Hearing Zhang Old Ghost's words, Lin Yi laughed heartily. You old ghost. It seems your disciple is not ordinary either. Rest assured, since you said so, I will definitely give him credit later. If this plan succeeds, the merits he will receive will be extraordinary. Should I find a way to keep his achievements low-key for my disciple? No need. Zhang Old Ghost waved his hand. Do it however you see fit. Just tell the truth, that this plan was discovered by my disciple Su Mu. I don't ask you to bend the rules or anything like that. Do it as it should be done. My disciple doesn't seek extra merits, but he must receive the merits he deserves, not a single bit less. As for the fame that comes with the merits, that cannot be lacking either. Young man, what we want is fairness and justice, without any adulteration. What we want is for everyone to know his achievements. Zhang Old Ghost said. Lin Yi frowned upon hearing this but then gave Zhang Old Ghost a meaningful look. Zhang Old Ghost, however, ignored it. Just do as I say, young man. If you can't even bear this bit of tempering, how can you continue on the path of martial arts? Concealing one's abilities is not suitable for my disciple. What suits him better is to show his sharpness. Lin Yi shook his head helplessly when he heard this, sometimes, I really can't understand what you're up to, but since you said so, then let's do it your way. Lin Yi looked at Sumo and said, Xiaomu, get ready. It won't be long before your name resounds throughout the Eastern War Zone. He suddenly had a nostalgic look on his face and said, if I had achieved such a feat like you back then, I would have definitely made a name for myself, right? Zhang Lao rolled his eyes and said, You? You dare to compare yourself to my closed-door disciple? During the same period as him, you were beaten to a pulp by him. Damn, Zhang Lao, you're going a bit too far. You didn't dare to say you could beat me back then, did you? Is your closed-door disciple that amazing? No, when your closed-door disciple reaches a higher level, let's compare and see what you're capable of. Ha <laughs> ha, alright, let's stop here for today. I'll take him back first, and you should go back too. Okay. In the next moment, Zhang Lao took Su Mu back to the Eastern War Zone. After bidding farewell to Su Mu, he quickly left the battlefield of the 10,000 races. From Zhang Lao's words, it could be heard that these nine realm warriors seemed to have some restrictions and couldn't stay in the battlefield of the 10,000 races for too long. After returning to the Eastern War Zone, Su Mu didn't rush back to rest. Instead, he turned and headed towards the training room. He still had a lot to do. Besides understanding the talents he gained in the battlefield of the 10,000 races, it was more important to improve his own strength. For him, he had stayed as a first realm warrior for too long. It was time to see the scenery of a second realm warrior. After arriving at the training room, Sumu first checked his character panel. Name, Sumu, Life Force, 986. 38, Peak of First Realm Warrior, Mental Power, 8028. 58, Late Second Realm Warrior. Talents, EX Level. Death Duplication, SSS Level, Death Rewind 12 Hours, Oath of Life, Extreme Night Canopy, Devouring Heaven and Earth, Heavenly Eye of the Tao, SS Level, Elemental Sovereign, Mind Control Technique, Shadow Sovereign, Poison Sovereign, Barbaric Bull God Power, S Level, Space Manipulation, A Level, Change of Appearance. This time, Sumu gained quite a few talents in the battlefield of the 10,000 races. Among them, the highest level were those SSS Level Talents, Oath of Life, Extreme Night Canopy, Devouring Heaven and Earth, and Heavenly Eye of the Tao. Each of these talents was a top-tier talent that provided great assistance to Su Mu. Among the SS level talents, the main ones were Mind Control Technique, Shadow Sovereign, Poison Sovereign, and Barbaric Bull God Power. Barbaric Bull God Power was relatively simple, there was nothing much to say about it. It mainly greatly enhanced strength and triggered a wave of Barbaric Bull illusions every once in a while, causing one's strength to explode. 
As for the others, mind control technique was mainly obtained by Sumu's fusion of various mental talents. With this mind control technique, Sumu could already grasp some ways of mental attacks in advance. After stepping into the third realm warrior, Sumu planned to find some mental attack methods from Deep Blue. Previously, Sumu had searched for information in this area, and whether it was in the 10,000 races data or the human races data, it was stated that at least a third realm warrior was needed to learn and use some mental attack methods. Now, if Sumu wanted to use mental attacks, he could only rely on mind control technique. Sumu had been exploring mind control technique all along. Compared to mind control technique, Sumu knew less about Poison Sovereign and Shadow Sovereign, which he gained in the battlefield of the 10,000 races. The Poison Monarch, as the name suggests, is naturally talented in the Poison Element. After obtaining the Poison Monarch, Sumu's first action was to integrate the Poison God into the Poison Monarch. However, unfortunately, reaching the SSS level talent is not achieved simply by integrating the Poison God. Currently, the Poison Monarch is still at the SS level, but even so, the Poison Monarch itself is already powerful enough. Poison Monarch, the ruler of all poisons, unique and supreme. In front of the Poison Monarch, all toxins can be easily resolved and controlled. The owner can form a poison pearl within their body, which can contain and refine various toxins. Toxins can be stored in the poison pearl and released or absorbed at will. Additionally, absorbed toxins can be converted into vitality, enhancing strength. The basic toxins of the poison pearl can affect martial artists of the five realms. As the strength and the amount of absorbed and refined toxins increase, the toxicity of the poison pearl will also become stronger. Compared to the poison monarch, Sumu is more concerned about another SS level talent, the shadow monarch. SS level talent, shadow monarch, shadow monarch, able to summon one's own or other's shadows to fight. Summoning one's own shadow can possess up to 60% of one's own strength. Once dispersed, it takes a long time to summon again. Summoning another person's shadow requires them to be on the verge of death and can possess up to 50% of their strength, but their strength cannot exceed 3 realms higher than one's own. Currently, up to 10 shadows can be summoned, not including oneself. The initial strength of the summoned shadows is determined at the moment of summoning and can be hidden within one's own shadow. The strength and number of summoned shadows increase as one's own strength improves. After reading the introduction of the Shadow Monarch, Sumu's first reaction was that there were many limitations. However, it also meant that this ability was powerful. Summon shadows to fight for oneself. With the uniqueness of Sumu's talent, he shouldn't have any teammates by his side. Therefore, he had already prepared himself for solo battles. But now, with the appearance of this talent, Sumu no longer had to fight alone. He could not only summon his own shadows to fight for him but also summon the shadows of his enemies when they were on the brink of death to fight for him. This was definitely great news for Su Mu. The only regret was that there were too many restrictions on summoning the Shadow Monarch. Su Mu wondered if he could elevate the level of the Shadow Monarch to SSS level by integrating a large number of similar talents. If it could be elevated to SSS level, not only would the potential and power of the Shadow Monarch talent be further enhanced, but the restrictions would also be greatly reduced. After understanding the usage of the Shadow Monarch, Sumu stood under the light. He looked at his elongated shadow under the light. Stand up, Sumu said lightly. In the next moment, his shadow seemed to understand his words and slowly began to move. A figure gradually separated from his body, completely identical to his own silhouette, and turned into a pitch black shadow. After taking shape, the figure knelt down slowly in front of Sumu. Aside from this peculiar appearance, what about the other aspects? With Sumu's thought, the black shadow in front of him quickly began to move according to his thoughts. Raise the hand. Lower the hand. Lift the foot. Lower the foot. The movements were very smooth. Sumu narrowed his eyes slightly and could basically confirm that there were no problems with some basic movements. Next, Sumu raised his hand, and a vortex suddenly appeared on the right side. Sumu reached into the vortex and grabbed it. A long sword appeared in his hand. He raised his hand and threw the sword to the shadow's hand. As he expected, the shadow caught the sword. Immediately, the shadow stabbed towards the nearby wall. Furious wind sword technique. Ji Chi sword step. Stacked wave sword chant. The three martial arts techniques flowed smoothly and landed on the nearby wall. There is no problem with the martial arts techniques. Sumu walked to the side and examined the damage caused by the shadow. The basic shape was not much different from when Sumu used it. The only difference was the difference in power. The furious windsword technique used by the shadow Sumu was obviously weaker than the one used by Sumu. However, Sumu had already anticipated this. The strength of the shadow Sumu was about 60% of his own. It might not be exactly 60%. If Sumu used it well, it might exert a strength stronger than 60% of his own. 
If not, it would be the opposite. The martial arts techniques were also tested. The smile on Su Mu's face grew. So far, the shadow summoned by the Shadow Lord had already reached his initial goal. The next thing to test was the most important ability of this shadow. With a thought from Su Mu, the next moment, the shadow's figure suddenly began to grow taller and stronger. Its aura changed from the peak of the first realm to the peak of the second realm. A level talent, change of appearance. Another thought. A flame suddenly appeared in the shadow's hand. The flame transformed into a black bead. This was the Poison Lord's SS level talent, the Poison Bead. On Sumu's side, he also summoned a black bead. Comparing the two poison beads, it was obvious that Sumu's bead was darker and smoother. From this, it could be concluded that even in terms of talent, the shadow Sumu's talent was slightly weakened and cut. Sumu had another thought. But this time, he frowned slightly. He had just wanted to try using the shadow to activate the shadow lord again. But there was no response at all. It meant that the shadow did not inherit Sumu's SS level talent, the shadow lord. Under Sumu's control, the shadow in front of him raised its hand slightly, but quickly put it down. Sumu shook his head slightly. He had just tried the night curtain, but it was useless. This basically confirmed Sumu's thoughts. The shadow summoned by the shadow lord himself probably had about 60% of its own strength, excluding its own talent. The talent was not completely copied, but included other SS level and below talents that did not belong to the shadow lord. This was also within Sumu's expectations. If the Shadow Sumu summoned by the Shadow Lord could have the exact same talent as him, it would almost mean that the Shadow Sumu could possess the powerful talent of replication after death. Even if this talent was a weakened version, the potential of the Shadow Sumu would be extremely powerful. However, correspondingly, the talent of the Shadow Lord itself was probably not as simple as SS level. But now it seemed that Sumu had overestimated it. After all, not everything good could happen to him. The talent of the Shadow Lord itself was already extremely powerful. If the Shadow Sumu summon could have other SS level talents, even if they were weakened versions, it would be enough to make his strength extremely terrifying. If Sumu can further elevate the level of the Shadow Lord in the future, it would be even more incredible. For a moment, Sumu's anticipation for the future of the Shadow Lord grew stronger. After checking his own talent, Sumu took out the remaining medicinal materials and began to prepare blood and chi medicines. Before leaving, John Lao mentioned that he would send him some medicinal materials and exotic beast flesh in a while. But before that, Sumu could only make do with what he had left. He didn't know how long these medicinal materials would last after obtaining the ability to devour the heavens and earth. Time flew by. In the training room, Sumu didn't know how long he had been practicing, only that he kept preparing and consuming blood and chi medicines. When he ran out of the last medicinal materials in his storage space, his strength had already reached the early stage of the second realm warrior. His blood and chi value had reached 1286. 75. With the talent of devouring the heavens and earth, his absorption speed and degree of blood and chi medicines had greatly increased. At this rate, as long as he had sufficient blood and chi medicines, it wouldn't be a big problem for him to improve his strength to the late stage of the third realm or even the peak of the third realm before leaving the training camp. In addition to the improvement in blood and chi value, Sumu's spiritual power had also greatly increased. Previously, due to the duplication of talents, he had died multiple times. Now, given another opportunity to cultivate, his spiritual power directly reached over 9,000 points, reaching the peak of the second realm warrior. Originally, with the talent of devouring the heavens and earth, Sumu's improvement in blood and chi value should have been faster than his improvement in spiritual power, or at least not much slower. However, after Sumu's spiritual talent merged into the god control technique, not only did his spiritual power skyrocket, but the speed of his spiritual power cultivation also greatly increased. Coupled with the numerous times Sumu had rolled back time before, the speed of his spiritual power improvement was faster than that of his blood and chi value. At this rate, it was uncertain whether his spiritual power would step into the peak of the third realm before his blood and chi value. By then, Sumu's spiritual power alone would probably become a terrifying trump card. After taking a short break, Sumu did not rush to leave the training room. Although he had used up all the medicinal materials, after reaching the second realm warrior, Sumu also faced new problems. Whether it was the 10,000 clan body refining technique or his own martial skills, they should all be updated. At the same time, he needed to test some of his talents again. Many talents would improve as his strength increased. Sumu's transition from the peak of the first realm to the second realm warrior seemed like a small step, but in reality, the two were worlds apart. The improvement in blood and chi value was only a superficial criterion. The reason for dividing realms was because there were huge differences between each realm. Stepping into a new major realm not only meant that some cultivation content of the body refining technique would follow, 
but also that talents, physique, and other aspects would improve. So, although it may seem like there is only a difference of a few hundred, tens, or even a few points in blood and chi value between a peak first realm warrior and a newly entered second realm warrior, the difference in their strength is earth-shattering. This change becomes more apparent as one progresses. It may even evolve to the point where the gap between major realms and minor realms becomes increasingly larger. As one progresses, they will find that challenging opponents of higher realms becomes increasingly difficult. Some talents can help you overcome one or two major realms and kill enemies in the early stages, but in the later stages, you may only be able to cross one or two minor realms. It's not that your talent is weak, but the gap between realms gradually increases. While your talent is improving, others may have already improved their realms several times. It's like even if you have great potential and were Bruce Lee in your past life, it would still be quite difficult for you to defeat an adult man when you're 10 years old. Sumu sat cross-legged in the training room. The first thing he did was to ask Shenlan to find a new chapter of the 10,000 clan body refining technique for the second realm warrior stage. Analyzing for you. Analysis successful. Recommended subsequent chapters for you. With Shinlan's help, Sumu could save a lot of effort in finding a suitable cultivation method for himself. Shinlan recommended three chapters of the 10,000 clan body refining technique for the second realm warrior stage. They are the Blood Ape clan chapter, the Black Wind Thunder Leopard clan chapter, and the Devouring Ant clan chapter. The Devouring Ant Clan chapter is mainly for further increasing the speed of devouring chi and blood. The Blood Ape Clan is particularly good at controlling their own chi and blood, moving it to the most suitable places. Practicing the Blood Ape Clan chapter can allow Sumu to more accurately control his own power, achieving the effect of lifting heavy weights as if they were light and vice versa. The last chapter, the Black Wind Thunder Leopard Clan, helps Sumu improve his reaction speed and movement speed. Considering Sumu's current conditions, his strength, speed, physique, and defense have already reached their limits. It doesn't make much sense to rely on practicing a specific chapter of an exotic clan to improve a specific aspect. The chapters selected by Shenlan are more to fit Sumu's talents, allowing him to cultivate every aspect to perfection. This is why different people practicing the 10,000 clan body refining technique have different effects, because everyone's talents are different. Some people may focus on practicing a single chapter until the end. But for someone like Su Mu, whose talents are constantly increasing, the chapters he practices also change continuously. Soon, he familiarized himself with the three chapters of the 10,000 clan body refining technique. Su Mu began to select martial skills that suited him. The three martial skills he had previously practiced were no longer sufficient. It's not that they lacked power, but mainly because he had too few martial skills, making his attack methods too single-minded. After searching with Shenlan, she selected a sword technique, a boxing technique, and a leg technique for Sumu. The sword technique is called 10,000 Swords Returning to the Ancestral Sect, which is quite extraordinary. It is an unparalleled martial skill created by a race called the Sword Intent God Clan within the 10,000 clans. As the name suggests, the Sword Intent God Clan primarily uses swordsmanship as their main attack method. They have countless sword techniques within their clan, and the members of this race generally have excellent talents in swordsmanship. Due to the uniqueness of their race and their talent for comprehending sword intent, they have a strong talent in this aspect. Often, they can comprehend several sword intents at the first realm, and as their strength increases, they can comprehend even more. The martial skill 10,000 swords returning to the ancestral sect has been passed down among the sword intent god clan for tens of thousands of years. It is a martial skill that every member of the sword intent god clan must practice. The special feature of this martial skill is its great potential and high power but it is difficult to cultivate. The main method is to continuously comprehend and refine sword intent. If this martial skill were to be practiced by other races within the 10,000 clans, it might not be possible to cultivate it. However, the human race is different. The human race has unique advantages. Most of the martial arts and body refining techniques of other races can be modified and practiced by humans. This is also the reason why the human race has been able to withstand the attacks of other races for so long. As for the martial art returning to the ancestral sword, at the beginning, when the understanding of the sword intent is not much, its power may be average. But as the understanding of the sword intent gradually increases, its power can become quite terrifying. For Sumu, this is a martial art that can be used up to the ninth or even 10th realm. If he can go to the sword Dao God clan in the future, it is feared that the martial art returning to the ancestral sword will be able to truly unleash its invincible power in his hands.